What is happening, y'all? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday night. That means it's time for Elden Ring with the boys. And no, no, it is not April Fools, as you can see. Maidenless. So yes, um, to get started, big, big thanks to the folks at Vapor95. I should have just waited until it wasn't April Fools to do this. Uh, but they are an aesthetic and apparel store based out of LA. Um, they have a bunch of different things you can do. But right now, they have a maidenless hat that you can get. So there's going to be a link that gets dropped in stream a bunch. Uh, you can pick up your own maidenless hat. They're like 20 bucks, and there's a discount. Um, you can get the hat in either black with white lettering, or you can get the hat white with black lettering custom embroidered they also have a whole bunch of stuff i'm i'm a complete degenerate so i got one of those anime towels that has the girls and they're all like ah, with their little the tongue sticking out i'm gonna bring that to the pool for volleyball this summer because i'm i'm that kind of guy um but yeah a bunch of really cool stuff on the store check it out there's a link in the description the bot's gonna be dropping a link in chat every 10 minutes uh we can also do assuming the it's active let's see there's also the maidenless command. Oh, there we go. Not the bots active. Let's try that again. There we go. If you punch maidenless into chat, you'll get the command. You can get your very own maidenless hat today. So, I mean, there's tapestries, CDs, tees. And right now, with discount code Fighting Cowboy, you get 15% off everything you buy. So, go get yourself a maidenless hat, maybe some other cool merch. 15%, what a deal. What a deal, what a deal. And I mean, 15% off of 20 bucks is like $2 or something. So it's actually only $18 to get this super 10 cool. 10% would be $2, 15% would be $3. Oh, so, so $17 no, for your 3. very $3. own uh, maidenless hat. Oh no, it would be $3. Amazing, absolutely amazing deal. Uh, I don't have the dagger that I wanted to do. I'm making, so we're gonna be making a new build this stream doing some PVP with Tox. And whoever else shows up, um, let me go, um, we're gonna go, where do I gotta go to get this at? Uh, I think it was here, I think it was the Forbidden Lands lift. Got the Platinum, no idea what to do with my life now, I mean, the obvious solution is just play it again. Look like I'm in my mid-twenties with that hat on. Well, you know, you get your own drip, and you can also look like you're in your 20s again. Maidenless. Maidenless. No maidens? Okay, got where I had to go to get it. That eternal youth hat? I mean, with no maidens, you're obviously just leveling up forever, so it makes sense. Cop your own maidenless trip, exactly. All right, so let's, let's do this. I have an idea for, we're gonna make a dagger build. Daggers. Well, let's let's mess with each other a little bit because I need to see how hard one is hitting over the other um, But I have I have a good feeling about this. I have a good a good feeling mad god of the shivering isles upgrading to a booty legend no longer maidenless I already Got that ready to go so the idea here, here's, here's what I'm going for. I'm thinking black knife in one hand, blade of calling in the other hand, and then uh, obviously a parry shield, and then just for good measure, we're gonna have a miser core lined up ready to stab somebody and explode them. I think that'll be pretty cool. These daggers look very similar. 
what if I'm already in my 20s? Then you'll look like you're 10 and no one will sell you alcohol. So you gotta be careful with that one. Uh, what do I want? I mean, if I, I don't know if I even need that. I could put that on though. Hmm. I mean, I should make it that. All right, so levels for this. Let's see. This gets B faith. This gets B dex. This is actually pretty bad in both, but that's okay. That's just there to stab people. It doesn't need to be high. Uh, so this is going to be a faith dex build. Mmm. Do I go for the do I go for the assassin getup as well? Just because like I might as well, right? Oh, that's weird. So the black knife, the black knife armor. Oh no. Well, it looks like it has a hood, but it doesn't. It's a separate hood. If we're gonna do black knife, I need to gender swap. Because black knives are female assassins by default. Let's go for like, I need a similar, no, I need a completely different face. Uh, no, I need altered face and hair, adjust face template. I need to get rid of, rid of my beard and everything. Isn't there like a, I need like a default faces. Should be some. Uh, I'm trying to find where, where do you find them? Mm. I think it's oh, there we go. Reset. Yeah, yeah, choose base template. Let's go um, Draconian. I'm gonna see if any of these have mention of them being assassins. First Truth, the Newman, set to bleed silver. Uh, the Reedlander probably is gonna be the closest to either that. Yeah, probably that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna update update her appearance later. Why is she swole? Because she is, that's why. Okay. Faith needs to be 18 and Dex at 13. Alright, we can hit both of those to just give like a base base text. 419. Okay. Uh you wanna meet meet at Lake North? See what this is. See, see what it's doing. Black knives are from Newman, are they? All right, we're gonna do that to make it make it. We're gonna switch back to Newman. Cause these are pretty close right now. Given I'm not I'm not specced for this at all. By the way, this is just kind of quick, quick and dirty damage tests. Um. Oh, I don't know if I have the talisman on this build. Where is it at? I need the one that boosts critical damage. Do you have the boost critical damage talisman? Mm, let me check. I know where to get it. Let's see if I have that open. Is it like the uh, like axe or twin, split, twin blade talisman looking thing? It, it says boosts critical damage. You get it from Volcano Manor. Uh, you know, like the trick jump. If you if you drop down instead and go around, you can get it. Oh, I don't have that on this character. All right, let me go. I'm gonna go snatch that up. Um. Mm, Temple of Eagle would be fastest. I remember how I. Yeah, it's the dagger, dagger talisman. I mean, all of my builds are 150, but you could do a build like this. That is a maidenless cap, you see. I think I can I'm trying to remember how to. Oh no! Wait, I know. Okay, I know how to get there fast. 
I know the route. Oh, nope, I gotta run. Can't take the elevator there. Is a black knife build. What's your favorite whiskey? I usually just drink Crown Royal Black. I think it has very smooth flavor. And it's not too expensive, but it's not cheap, which makes it an excellent choice for having a decent whiskey that also allows you to avoid hangovers. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Docs, this thing hits fast and hard. Is it bleed buildup or just pure damage? Oh, pure damage. We're not, we're not going bleed. Damn. Okay, I think it's got to run, run through this way to get to where I want to go. I mean, I probably don't even need the dagger, but we're going to get it because we need to test all possibilities. I can't just not test it. Let's see, a snake person. there. I'm also curious on the health restored on critical hit, if that's... Have you played with that at all? Um, I feel like it's dog shit. Hmm. Like, just the damage ain't there. The, the health. health back is yeah, I would, I would need to see. Oh, I want... Oh, some stuff has different values in PvP. So if I can get, like, a massive heal off of it in PvP, like... And it would need to be like probably half half of a health bar to be justifiable. Yeah, or a, just a straight up full heal. Yeah, it'd have to be something crazy like that. I mean, because especially given oh the frame drop, that's just Elden Ring on PC. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Is PVP criticals aren't consistent enough in PvP, I think, to justify using that. Let me actually do, I'm gonna do a quick respec here. We'll take a look at the damage values on this thing. I put some WD-40 on my mark on mic arm and there's no more like WD-40 is magic. It is, it is magic. Okay, so looking at this, let me, let me drop off some stuff here. I don't need any of that stuff. Oh, wow. This is a light load build. Mmm. Iframes. Tasty. Uh, obviously, Dagger Talisman is going to be great. Green Turtle is going to be great. The build does not have poise. So what would be the last thing? Oh, of course. Holy Scorpion Charm. Boost up that holy damage. You have a chunk of holy. You also have a chunk of holy. Um, Or I could do... Oh, I could do a Millicent's Prothesis here as well. That would make your AR go through the roof, depending on how fast you attack. Oh, I attack quite fast. Maybe we double up. We double up on that and Rotten Wing. Just like... Bah, 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 I feel like I'd need poise. Anyway. I feel um, like an anti-great shield build. So, Faith, I only need 18 Faith. And Dex, I need 12. Strength is going to be base. Right, let's have like 60 endurance, 60 vigor. <laughs> uh, well, vigor is going to be 60 at least. That's yeah. health important. Mind. Hang on. Let me check these two abilities before I respect. Like 200 more HP between uh, 60 and 99 vigor. 25 versus 20. So I would like. I want at least 100. At least 100 on mine because I want to be able to use this. Oh, well, here we go. At one, at 25 mine, I can get five casts off of it. That's probably excessive, but good. For 60 endurance, this isn't going to need anything. I'm thinking like 20 or 25, maybe maybe 20 even. Uh, strength, I'm pretty sure I leave at base. 
Intelligence at base. Okay. So I'm getting two points per point there. Ooh, I'm getting a lot out of faith. All right, let's take a look at some of our uh, attack rating scaling. We got at least 20 faith, at least 20 decks. So I have a lot of points to play with here. That's going to take me up three points, two points, two points, two points, three points, two points, two points, two points, two points. Two points. The faith is slowing down. Um, I'm trying to think what spells. Well, I'm just going to put some points here and we'll figure out the specifics a little later. So I could do like 36. I could cast some cool faith spells. Um, and that gives you me. Work some buffs in. Yeah. Yeah, right now this is. Let me, let me see going past that. 500. Goes to 504. 504, 468, 65. So I'm getting more out of faith, adding more into faith. Um, I'll do, yeah. Well, that's fine for now. We'll just do, we'll do that kind of split and I'll figure out the specifics later. Okay, I am coming to Lake North. Of course, Tox says we're getting some buffs. <laughs> First off, fuck you. Just, off. just working some buffs, bro. It's good. Just working some buffs. Unless thou art maidenless, perhaps. Okay, sign is good. down. Sign is down. So AR, these are 510 compared to 473. The 473 one scales more in faith, so I'd have to pump that up more. Um Miser Curd is actually 446. That's going to hit hard. That's going to hurt. What is Maidenless? What most of the people in chat are. Ooh, chat burn. Burn in chat. Oh, burn chat. 446, it's the same. Wow. The uh, Scorpion Charm would be good here. Well, Scorpion Charm is a little bit sketchy in PvP. Let me see. Uh, massively decreases your resistance, right? Not massively. I mean, it's... The values are different. Increase, so it's a 8% uh, damage increase, and you take 15% more. Whereas in PvE, That's it's a... not worth it. PvE, it's 12 for 10 P. PvE is 12 for 10, PvP is 8 for 15. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, so, anyway, I got the sign down at, at Lake North. All right. Let's see what kind of damage we are doing. Morning, you want to see it with or without defense buffs? Well, first we're just gonna look at and some some. Uh, I'm gonna look at the Ashes of War, figure out what should be the map one. Any thoughts on doing PvP on PlayStation? Um, at some point. I mean, I only have one build on PlayStation at the moment. It's the quality build, and that's like 170, so it's kind of hard. Uh, okay, Blade of Death. Ooh, so that popped you for 700, and it's gonna tickle you to 890. Wow. That chunks if it hits. Yeah, go to your other one. Or what? I just heal up. I don't want to kill you. So this one. <laughs> 758. Now what's interesting, did this one knock you on your ass too? It didn't. No. So the other one. So, uh, this one that we can knock you. If that connects, it knocks you down. I mean, obviously you don't gotta roll. You don't gotta roll. I know you can dodge it. That's where yeah, that one knocks you on your bum. Interesting. Okay, now for the next test. Uh, just go on and attack me. No, okay. Or do you want to break my guard? 
No, no, like attack me. I need, I need to get a parry. Yeah, here it comes. Again. How am I Again. missing this? What? Doing it too late. What? I know I'm not doing it that late. All right. All right, go. Oh. Damn! <laughs> oh. Holy That's, shit! That was that was without the dagger talisman, so we might not even need it. Sixteen hundred. Jesus. I feel like it would have gotten higher. Do you have a build with more health? Uh, do, yeah, do, I can swap to like a two eleven. Yeah, yeah. Get get something that has like sixty vigor and the vigor charm on. this armor have a unique effect in? Oh, oh, it muffles your footsteps. I was like, that's interesting. I'm not hearing any rolls. What are we up to tonight? The same thing we're up to every night, Pinky. Trying to take over the world. So that backstab did 1979. That's a lot. Mm, I have 50 Vigor on this one, and I don't have the uh, Crimson Talisman. 1979. Okay, so 1979. Let's put on the Dagger Talisman. Hang on, I'm testing it on stuff that is more health than you do. <laughs> 1979 is our number, chat. Twenty-two nine six. Like a ten percent increase. Sixteen percent more damage. Damn. That's solid, but I don't think you would need it in PvP. Oh. Um. So instead of that, in PvP, what will we use? Crimson Amber, just to increase our health further. I wish Dragon Crest Great Shield worked in Pv PvE. Um, maybe Shard of Alexander so that when I hit you with my thingy, it really hurts. Alright, I'm gonna come put down the sign. Let's see what just, like, a, a combo is gonna do. No Lightning Frost Bleed Poison all in one weapon build? Yeah, no, not, not with this one. Not with this one. I'm actually gonna need to check my moveset with these. Backstep stab is pretty good. I feel like the jumping could be pretty good. What's the level cap for PvE and PvP? There is no level cap in PvE. Go as high as you want. Like 737 or something like that? Yeah, ma literally max stats. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this does just attacking you. Not a ton. Oh, oh shit! I, I accidentally, I kept, I kept going when I should have stopped. I feel like if you catch somebody unaware, that's gonna do a lot of damage very fast, though. Like if you were, if uh, I invaded you and you did not see me because I was stealthed, I'd be like, and I, oops. Uh, let me mix. What would the physic need? The physic needs holy shrouding, and then I could do um. I could swap my uh, great rune over to the bone self one. Hmm. All right. This, if this can, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> In theory, this should kill something like near instantly when I pop my flask, just like ba 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 ba. Like, I think four hits and you're probably dead. I mean, I probably want stamina. Yep, yeah, signs down. You could try blocking too, just to see. 
how how fast it's going to yeah because it's going to do the, so this build wouldn't be that good against the final boss because it does a lot of holy but everything else all right you just want to try blocking Oh, oh, I'm getting up to a thousand AR on a dagger. How's your stamina holding up? Right there. I love how that just does damage even if I want That's such a that. it's such a deceptively timed ability. It's hard to know when exactly to dodge on that. I always see it coming, and I'm like, and I and I dodge. Mess maidenless. Do you not see maidenless? So many people are maidenless in this chat. Tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have no shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. You are fated to die in obscurity. And no one lost forever. Why do you have this hey, monologue? Hey, Godric, 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 I'm doing a heavy weapon build and imbit rust on Souls games. I, I can't, can't seem to beat, beat him. Got any tips dip. on Godric the... Like, Godric the Grafted? Stay close to him and beat his butt. Beat that booty. Oh, Royal Knight's Resolve does work on your critical hits. That's funny. You need to prep it beforehand somehow. Because I don't think that you could get it off if you do the crit. 3,700 damage on a parry, dude! Jesus. <laughs> oh, my lord. There's Ooh. not a build in the game that could survive that. <laughs> nope, there's not. That's, uh, wow. That's like, hey, uh, you're dead. You've you've died. You don't stop. You died. You're super dead. <laughs> oh man, that is oh, wow, wow. Uh, now let's just check some other stuff. On Keen, you get up to three seventy three. On Lightning, you get up to four forty six. Yeah, I'd keep it. I'd keep it holy because that would go even. Literally, you died. I know. Let me go. Um, let me go. I want to see. Just let's see just how silly this is. Even though I'm gonna be murdering it, uh, I won't be able to fight it for the build video. How long does Royal Knights Resolve last for? Is it like until you attack? It's uh, until you attack for about 30 seconds. Oh, that's more than enough time to get a parry. Yeah. Um, sometimes it activates on rolls though, if they like, or if you clip them during a roll. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could parry and get it off and then do my critical, to be honest. If I may ask, I can't get the Ronnie quest. Why is that? Uh, without knowing everything you've done, it's kind of impossible to tell you. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go fight the Crucible Knight in New Game Plus with this. It's like 10? Oh, well, 10 seconds is still enough. Because all I would do is parry, swap, Royal Knights, critical. That's what we're going to test here. I mean, really, the Royal, the Royal, a regular critical is going to kill anyone in PvP with this thing. The real, uh, the only time you would need to use the Royal Knights would be PvE. That's also the only time you would even use the, uh, the dagger. Ah, no. 
Yeah, so you're gonna have to pre-prep it. Seventeen oh one on the Crucible Knight. Still pretty important. Twelve fifty six without Royal Knights. So it didn't deal as much damage as I would have hoped on the Crucible Knight. That's certainly disappointing. But you could definitely kill stuff by parries strictly over and over again. I fight the Wolf Warrior, and now every time he sees me, he will start a fight. Well, that's because you, you've attacked Ronnie's Knight, essentially. Uh, so go to the, uh, you need to go to the Church, Church of Bows. Absolution. Yeah, you gotta get your. Oh, yeah, Church of you gotta go get your sins forgiven because you were a naughty boy. Maidenless behavior. Maidenless, incredibly maidenless. Get yourself a hat to match thine actions. Come, Tox. Come fight me, you maidenless fool. Please. You think you can <laughs> stand up against the power of my daggers? Yeah, that's so. I think this would be like cheeky, like I'm just in your game, just stealthed. Do like I should add like invisible body onto it and just run up behind people and backstab them. My game <laughs> crashed. Hmm, how maidenless. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? PC that cannot run the game properly. Mm, might as well go roll into a ditch and die. Listen here. I got a better PC than you do now. Do you though? Yeah. What do, what are specs are you on now? Uh, thirty eighty with a twelve nine hundred K. Oh, I heard those are actually pretty juicy. I'm I was eyeing up the new uh the fifty eight fifty that's coming out because I was reading something about how like it's been more optimized for gaming. But at this point, I feel like I might as well just wait for the next generation. Yeah, just skip a generation at that point. Yeah, because it's so cl I mean, supposedly fall we're getting a whole new gen, and I'm ready to drop like five grand on a new rig and just pimp it out. I want 4K everything. 4K ray tracing on. On tracing on. All right, let me see. So I don't think you need a hefty investment to put on the invisibility spell. 16 int. That is. That's too much. That's quite low. You may have a better PC, but you are still made in this. What would I... I... Brand new spicy DDR5 RAM and 5800 megahertz. 16. Which is oh. completely pointless because anything above 3000 is just kind of meh. Oh, is it time? Is there an item that makes you invisible similar to or I you know what I should do the crouch ring that one that when you crouch you can't see the person Yeah, that would work mm. The invisible talisman doesn't work. I swear you have to be crouched. You have to be a sneaky person for it to work Concealing veil where are you? Isn't that mimic veil? No, no, it's something separate. Concealing Veil, got it. Oh, that's what the uh, talisman's called? Yeah. Uh -oh. Concealing Dagger, and then uh, I'd probably run a Millicent's for the extra five. I think running both talismans is excessive, but concealing could work. 
What did I say? 16 hint, I think? Dex, I actually only need to go up to 50 since I have Millicent's on. Endurance is fine at 20. Mind at 25. Felt good. Bigger must be 60. Can't have people killing me. I need to kill them. And then that gives me 32 faith. Okay, and then other spells. Let me... What buffs would I run? Golden Vow, I could run. Hmm, I could do Barrier of Gold or Golden Lightning. Or, uh, Flame Protect Me. Any of those buffs. I could also do Flame Grammy Strength. That's excessive, I think. I would run Dragon Bolt. Just have I wonder, it equipped. I wonder if I could sneak up and latch onto someone with an inescapable frenzy. I wonder if it would give me away. Like, who is this person approaching me? Is over healing. I was thinking of Law of Causality. Wait, the Vikes Dragon Bolt buff? A little too risky for a build like this. I also don't think that you could apply it on the Black Blade. Probably not. Black Blade has some pretty, uh, pretty strict requirements. Uh, where is it? You do have it. Oh, oh, what was it at? I would need 29 int. Ooh, that's quite a hefty hefty uh, investment. They make a lore video? No. No, I don't do that. However, Lower videos are rather maidenless behavior. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't. I don't have the patience for lore videos. I mean, I could make a lore video, but it would just be me sitting in front of the camera being like, all right, today I'm going to tell you about stuff. And while I do it, I would just be playing the game the whole time. I wouldn't actually be like editing. I don't like editing. Editing isn't fun. This chick screwed this dude and made this other dude mad about it. So, Pesclave, Johnny, I see you're very... I've, I've seen you say the word Pesclave roughly four times now. I got... What, what about the Pesclave? Is it... Do you want to know where it's from? Do you just want to marry it? What... What... Tell me what it is about the Pesclave that has you like, Yeah, so, uh... Pesclave, brah. Because you seem very, very happy about the Pesclave for... Some reason completely unknown to me. All right, Tox, summon me in. Let's see. Let's see uh, to what extent my stealth works. Hold on, I'm killing Borelius real quick. Darkness if it blinds players in PvP? No, it does not. No, it definitely doesn't, and the duration on it is so short. Want to know if it's good in PvP? Well, there's this easy thing you can do called invading, and then you can determine for yourself. If it is good in PvP or not. Showed you my best glyph, please respond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I showed you my best glyph. Please, please respond. How do you get that armor? Uh, it's underneath a bridge before you go to the Halig tree. Oh, we're waiting on talks. I'm going to turn my character into a Newman assassin.
All right, Burleigh is dead. So do I have time to become a Newman assassin? Uh, yeah, I can go grab a spell first, I guess. I mean, let's just let's just go to, because it's gonna take a minute to become a Newman assassin. The Newman look like cavemen, so I need to like, I'm gonna need to spend some time. Fine tune the hell out of that. Yeah, I mean, how's life post walkthrough? It's amazing. I'm enjoying a beer and had some time to relax Your face today. Is invisible with the uh, the armor? Yes, it is. Godslayer Greatsword is Dex Faith. Unfortunately, it's not very good outside of its Ash of War. Its Ash of War is phenomenal. It's one of the most damaging abilities in the game. But the sword itself is just kind of weak. I actually have a build with it that I was trying to use. We were actually dueling with it earlier. And, uh, like my the poke... sword doesn't hit very hard. No, the, I'd, I'd poke Tox with the Crouch R1 and I'd deal a whopping like 300 damage despite I'm having like 800 sheet AR. Which is like straight sword damage material. Yeah. Yeah, very disappointing. Zero, is your sign down? It's down now. Okay. You keep all your talismans? You do. I hit my thumb with my mini sledge Wednesday and it still hurts. Well, Felix, you should not do that again. Because I'm curious if this is going to be like Heroes of the Storm invisibility pre-patch or post-patch. Summon not your off. I didn't need... Oh, now it is. You're being summoned to another world. Can I buy your hat? You can. You can buy your hat. Join Maidenless Gang yourself. Only the finest players of the game are Maidenless. Okay. Now you see me? What about now? Still... Nope. Right there. Oh, I'm already gone? Just this far away? Yes. Try and see how close you gotta get. A little bit. Right here. Wow. That's intense. Okay, what about, um... <coughs> uh... What did that do? Uh, absolutely nothing. Have I disappeared? Nope. I, see you. I think that only affects you and, like, AI. I don't think it works on people. Do you see me right now? Uh, no, you blinked out for a second. I'm, I'm within range right now. Right no, okay. there is when you disappear. So this could definitely, like, sneak up and, and shank people. Yeah. Especially if they didn't see it coming. Just run up and... Oh! <laughs> that wasn't even the good one. Die to me. Oh, I missed the backstab. Oh, man, I was going to get you there. Yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to pretty much rely on jump attacks. Try hit me with the running R1. Cause that's, that's what I think. <laughs> on, just... Let me parry you. Come on, just hit me with the running R1. <laughs> Do it. Okay, yeah, Do it. The running R1. <laughs> Actually, I don't have the health for it, but I think you can. I saw someone parry the second startup of the combo on Rivers of Blood. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like Rivers started. If you saw my car, you'd immediately know I was made on this. But now you can get a hat to really announce that to the world. What happens if you're not standing next to your car? Like, how is someone going to know? Exactly. But with a hat... 
take it with you. Mm -hmm. And who knows, maybe you will find a maiden out in public that says, Oh, maiden Masawi, I can solve that. And then you will not be such a disappointment to your parents. Host charm is a must for stealth. Mm. Is it time? So we can go 60. We're going to keep that 25 mind. We're going to keep that 20 endurance. Dex is 50. 50. Give me that 50. There we go. And then our faith. We can then reach 44, which is pretty good. If I actually knock this down a little bit, what's the next faith breakpoint? It's 50. If I can get up a little higher. Still at a medium load. So I could pump more and get a high load. AR is now 519 and 489. I feel like you're gonna need the stamina for the daggers though, no? They use almost nothing. Oh. Uh, well. Is buying a hat support a cowboy? I mean buying a hat's gonna support this company, which is like some little company based out of LA, so, you know. Probably still a good thing to do, regardless, because it's part local business or something along those lines. But more, you should buy the hat so that you are not maidenless. Having, you're having a little bit too much fun with that one. I am. I am. You're telling me I can get sponsored to wear a hat and talk in a funny voice all night? Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I now have the buffs I would need to kill you. Man, I'm actually, I'm gonna add on, I mean, why not? I might as well add on fire. There's no reason to not have a buff. Oh, is, is that your ideology now? Well, the thing is more with this build, it's like, I don't, I don't really have much else. So I have enough faith for these weapons. I'm talking from like the PVE sense, you know? Uh, mm, yeah, buff yeah. against whatever you're weak against. Anyway, sign is down. You want to know the hardest boss? Your own weakness. Ooh. What an edgy, de edgy description. Custom embroidered six panel dad hat. I'm honestly, what I like a lot, the back of it. I know I have a couple snapbacks, but this has one of those like adjustable straps where, you know, you like, you tighten it. You get that hat just as tight as you want and then you clip it in. I actually like that a lot because you can fit it exactly to your head and I got a big head and I got a couple snapbacks and like my like so for example my, my favorite hat the one I still wear constantly is this for honor hat it just has like the Viking logo in the middle but the problem is that my head is like just slightly smaller than like the biggest size on it but too small for the size before it so either I have the hat on and it's too tight or I have it and it's too loose and it just kind of has like that big hat look but this hat fits perfect. Which is fantastic for someone mm, made in this. That wasn't the stabby dagger, that was just the normal dagger. Fixing my audio issues.
Ooh, this hurts quite a bit. Oh, I, sorry, I used up all my FP buffing. Womp womp. That rolling attack seems like it could actually be pretty mean. Doesn't have the poise to really fight it out, though. That's for sure. Healing in my dark oh, hmm, Connection error. Such maidenless behavior. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. I think healing in a duel is maidenless. But I mean, we're just testing. Shh, this ain't a serious duel. Yeah, we're yeah. testing stuff out. Because the problem, so. I don't know if this is going to have enough poise to get off the attacks. I need to, like, find something else that's... hefty target. Zamor Ruins. The toughest boss for me? Pre-Nerf Radon. You'll never be able to, to fight him. He's gone forever. I was using the accent of a man with many maidens. Exactly. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, black knife builds are thematically very cool. But in actuality, not that strong, it seems. I'm gonna try putting up my buffs. If you like to take, really take advantage of the fast attacks, you need to have bleed or something. Mm. Well, shall we go to the lake? I'll, uh, I'll swap over to my 150. Yeah, let's go to the temple quarter and see what it can do. Those enemies are ridiculously strong, and it is New Game Plus, but that doesn't change that I need it to be potent. I mean, a common enemy, of course, that would die. Something maidenless, such as this octopus calamari. I'm fighting an octopus right now. Mm, Thirteen thousand damage critical. See, the real thing is, if I really wanted to use this and use it effectively, it would be to pump up my endurance and become super poise man. And then it's bang, 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 bang. Because that is that is the real advantage of something like daggers. Basically, just be seat water stabber, except instead of the ant pokers, it's daggers. daggers. Dagger, yeah. That's literally it. Which, I mean, should be pretty easy to do. How many respect tiers do I have? I have at least three. We'd have to give that up should my. Should just be pretty dog shit. Uh, I'd, what would I have to sacrifice? I'd have to pull my decks and my faith back down, but with the super fast attack, it wouldn't matter. I'm gonna wait till there's two invaders and then sneak up and stab one. Well, it does not see me.
I've been liking Bloody Hellas for its slide back plus low and glunch follow up for bleeding PvP build. It almost always Even throws better. people off. It does almost always throw people off. I don't think he sees me yet. He's running straight for you. For me? Oh, you aggro the plan. I don't think I don't know where the player's at. I see one player near you. Yeah, I'm getting ready to fight him right now. Where'd the other one go? Oh. Silent footsteps. I will wait for him to try and heal and then he will die. You see the other one? He's to your right. I do see him. I'm gonna try and sneak up behind him and see if I can backstab and kill him. Must maintain distance. Do do do. do. How maidenless! Oh, connection error. Ah. Oh. Not using Rotten Wing Sword. We're still figuring it out. I was using Millicent's Prothesis. <coughs> and I got him. Yeah, we need the dagger. Yeah, the other guy that got DC'd. Let me drop some of these talismans out. There's too many. I don't even think I have to, or I had to heal for that guy. I'm gonna put the sign back down. Wrong sign. Right sign. Yeah, so we would need the dagger. We need the dagger. How long is the walk there? 81 episodes. Half an hour each or an hour each? Um, half an hour, sometimes 40 minutes, so just as long as it took to get through what I wanted to get through. I a think, lot of content. <laughs> I think part of the problem is I think there's two different builds here. It's, it's one of them is a... I think the Sacred Dagger build... It failed to join. I think the Sacred Dagger build is one thing. And then I think the Critical build is an entirely different thing. Got invaded, I think. Oh no, it just hasn't given me the message yet. How many years did the walkthrough age you? None. Because I have maidens. Only a maidenless twerp would be aged by stress. Actually, the hat's to cover all the gray hair I got doing the walkthrough. I want to sneak up and try to stab invaders as they come in. Your best bet would just be like going east of me and just being out in the open. Because they always either spawn from the south or west. So you can just like go east, stay crouched, and then just sneak up. Where are they? Tongue active? Uh, tongue is active. Hmm. Must be maiden, unless whelps trying to invade. Try toggling. 
terrible internet is such a maidenless behavior. What does the parry one-shot have to build even do against bosses? Well, <clears throat> that's kind of the idea here. Is bosses that you can parry, you would parry. And bosses that you can't parry, you would instead use uh, something else. You'd use the daggers. But criticals can be good against every boss. Because you can stagger them. And when you stagger a boss, they can be parried. Such... Maidenless behavior. My dear sister freed millennia orphan of cause. Which boss would you like to fight the least? None of them. They're all pretty fun thought fights. I mean, sister freed's kind of just annoying because of the whole invisibility gimmick. I can't go killing a duelist. If he heals, let me know, and I will come in and murder him. Hmm, bloody fingers coming in. Oh, he's a multi buffing. He's always oh, trying to cast a thing. Talks, watch out. Behavior interrupting a duel. You should know better. That was actually very satisfying. You going for the uh, inescapable or? Hmm? Couldn't tell. It looked like he was about to do an inescapable. Oh no, he 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 hit the other host with the frenzy eye. Oh. Yeah, that was his whole gimmick. Was I'm gonna get them when they can't see me. Put it in the fridge because I have beer for now. Oh, it's the same one. Oh, I can't move. He's doing the glitch thing. The wait, the glitch thing? Yeah, if you use two of the same talisman, or I forget which talisman it is, but if you use two of them and then you do Frenzy Eye, you can literally just chain it. I mean, you've always you been able to chain move. Frenzy Eye. I mean, Insta Madness proc plus Frenzy. Ah. It's not supposed to instant madness you, it's supposed to do like 95%. But if you use two of the. Madness Talisman buff or whatever the fuck it makes it so that it just insta tal or uh, instantly. Yeah, you have a madness, madness madness in your offhand when you cast. Yep. Very fun. It's I will say it's comical how since launch it has basically been a weekly rotation of what exploit can the hosts or can, what what exploit can the uh, invaders spam this week? Like first it was. It was machine gun shields, and then it was permadeath shoal, and then it was the carrier and retaliation, and now it's the instant madness lockdown. It's like every week there's a new, sooner or later, there's either- some new gimmick for the scrubs to use. Ugh. Failed to summon. How maidenless. Damn. Oh, 
Oh, man, did miss. Okay, machine gun shield was fun. I mean, I, I don't know. Machine gun shield us were truly an exemplary example of rather maidenless behavior. Filthy invaders. Wonder if I'll get the same maidenless whelp to invade again. Am I fighting here? I don't know. I'm trying to sneak this up behind guy. the one. Because the one is a duelist. my parries. I think a great weapon. Yeah, no, it's a it's a shield. I'm just gonna spell parry him in a second. Hurt. Oh, I died. The dog wing? Yes, the dog left. Did you get the air invader? Yeah, I did. Oh, I had the guy chase me down. Being annoying. See, I'd rather fight that person. Yeah, the invisibility... I don't know. I think a thicker build focused on dagger play was gonna be better. The invisibility one-shots... are... they're funny. But they're hard to really get off. What the fuck is that? I don't think they get off very well. Hmm. Shall we wear heavier armor? I'm going to respec this and try something else. No, Jet, we're not crying. I was oh using God. the fucking Steeth Water Stabber build. <laughs> I don't even have the armor on this build. What? How do I not have the... Hang on a second. What? Do you need to go out? I gotta let the dog out, I think.
The dog didn't have to go out. He just wanted to be let into his uh, kennel. Couldn't get the kennel door open. It's a 75 poise. I feel like fire prelates with daggers would be pretty scary. Hit me at that. Hit me up to 100. Do that. Do the Millicent's Proth. Prosthesis. And then do what? What else? What else besides the Ow. prosthesis? Uh. Probably also the Rotten Wing Silk Insignia. So 63 divided by 0.69 divided by 1.18 divided by 1.08. I need to reach 99.75. Okay, let's do a little bit of respecking here. Is it thy wish? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, getting some good fights in. 99.7. Ninety-nine point seven. That doesn't sound like it makes sense. No, wait. There's no way this. Uh, hang on. My math had to have been off. Already fought that guy. I would birth thee. Because this build doesn't even have anything really. Popping it up the poise boy. I need to reach ninety one point three divided by and then divide that by I need to reach 66.3. Yeah, I don't know where that... I, I miscalculated something. No. 25, 66. I could get by at... 22 endurance with my current setup. Okay. Mine will be 21. Faith would look good at about 40. Dex would look good at about 50. Bigger, I used to go to 60. feel like I should have the bull armor on to really, really pull from this. I mean, Lionel's armor could work kind of good too, though. Divided by 0.69, divided by 1.18, divided by 1.08, 71.6. 25 endurance is our new breakpoint. Does carrying retaliation cost any FP to parry? Um, I think it does. It's eight FP. Okay. 
Okay, boom, boom, boom. And then I'd probably also pull extra poise. Alright. Now I'm more suited for duels. Jimmy Poise build? No interest in it. Alright, sign us down. Yeah, the goat armor would be better, but I don't have it on the mule. Oddly enough, I don't have the goat armor or the om omen armor on the mule. Even though I have builds with those sets, so I'm going to need to move that all over. I mean, I'd probably prefer to do something over Lionel's, but Lionel's isn't bad. What is wrong with my hat? This is the cowboy set. Look, I have spurs. No bull goat talisman on the poise build? I don't know if we're going to need it. We're at 75 poise. See him out in the distance, hiding like some maidenless whelp. <coughs> Wait, where did he come in? I see another one. Oh god, rivers. Yes, if the first rivers doesn't hit, use it again. I'm going to parry. He's also going to kill me trying to get me his parries. Oh! There it is. Maidenless. It's about to interfere. Oh, now this one. This is some real parry bait. Where have I seen this build before? Well, I was thinking maybe his attacks would go underneath me, and they didn't. Snake shield is, in general, terrible. No, <laughs> he got DC'd. That's because poison is, in general, terrible. What do you mean? It's just a shittier whip that does no damage. Now we're at that break point. I would like some heftier armor, but then I'd have to fit even more into endurance and bring my faith lower. Which wouldn't be terrible. I'd probably be better off going for... You don't have bull goats, do you? Um... Not on this build. Mm. Yeah, I would need to wear bull goats to really make this function. Let me go see. You know, I think I'm done. I killed him already. Temple, Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, Tanith, Volcano, Mana Proprietus. Yeah, so that quest line is done. I would need the Bull Goat and I would need the Omen Armor. I mean, I could swap to a different build and drill. I need it for my mule, but. 
need um oh. I'm doing a frost melee build. Yeah, just put your points in strength and free stuff. It was a flask, it wasn't the uh oh, goddamn it. Did I use that earlier? What do we have on this excessive attack power? Oh, that boys. I'm gonna bring this is gonna be my new anti rivers of blood item. Red fire prelate <laughs> armor would be dope. GG. Yeah, prelate armor. I have the helm already, and I have the legs, but I would need the other pieces to be an angry fire prelate man. For the record, that was a flask of physic, not a uh, crimson flask. What happened? Oh, I, um, I was fighting a guy and I popped a flask of wonders physic while I was low HP, and it healed me because it's the, uh, heal when low HP thing. And the guy had swapped to a, uh, crimson tear flask and popped it, and I felt bad because mm. I think he thought that I was using a flask. Yeah, you should maybe use a different flask. Well, I just... I didn't use it going into the duel, but whatever. I still killed him. 30 endurance and great jar would be enough for bull goat. I would need bull goat, though. I'd have to transfer it. You know, fight this guy? Sure, let me, uh... Get out of here. Only walking, sadly. I figured it was gonna mitigate damage out a little bit more. Anything you heard about nerfs today is likely April Fools and bullshit. I don't know. I mean, bull, bull. The thing is, the bull go armor is gonna hit. 100 poise by default, and then I could stack Rotten Wing Sword on top of it. But so far, our poise dagger build seems like it's not quite missing. <laughs> it's not quite hitting the mark. Oh, double teamed. The only legitimate announcement of today is the fact that you can get your own maidenless hat today. With 15% off by using coupon code Fighting Cowboy. Now that. That's a deal. I wish if we're down this ability. A slowing effect. Poised dragon spell build? I mean, the thing is, people can just run up and, you know, they can smack you. If you're right under them, the dragon's not going to hit them. It's all a bit of someone ganked by three bots. That was likely staged. There is no such thing as bots ganking people. This isn't World of Warcraft. 
Thought about running Gargoyle Halberd with Sword Dancer Giant Hunt. Uh, not particularly. My character is wearing whatever he wants to wear. I don't mind being made in this. My wife who body pillow will suffice. Well, now you can get a hat to match that attitude. Morgan's cursed sword is trash. No build. I will handle this. Alright. Volumes. He's trying to trade with me and taking 500 damage plus every time. And now he's running into the squids. Truly maidenless behavior. So now that he has a friend, he will stop us. I will deal with the annoying one. Come. Why is everyone running that now? Because it interrupts you. That rolling in my Elden Ring. This one's just running away. Truly maidenless behavior from both invaders. This one has rotted himself. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Killed by maidenless boys. Oh, I know this kid is not teabagging. Lord. Did it kill the other invader? Oh, I just... I rolled through his shit after I paired the other guy, and then instead of drinking a Cerulean Flare or a uh, Tear Flask, I drank a... No, other way around. Instead of drinking a Red Flask, I drank a Blue Flask, and I faced away from him, and I just gave him, like, the freest backstab ever. <laughs> Ouch. Why are all y'all using Estus? Because these are not duels. These are invasions, as you might have also, guessed from the people that dashed away to heal every time they would take a tickle of damage. Yeah. If the evader doesn't use Estus, my rule of thumb is I also don't use Estus, but um, it's kind of hard to not use Estus when they're a healing and also using. A yeah, do, do, yeah, yeah, like literally blood role. bloodhound stepping away to heal, and the guy's like, "Why would you heal in that fight?" Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Is this, a, is this a serious question right now? Are we watching the same thing? The guy ran south to the buildings and then started doing the helmet glitch to get himself by. Yeah, the hel helmet glitch to heal himself and then bloodhound step to run away and heal. Like, yeah, mm, I wonder why we're healing. I mean, even if it was duels, I mean, you saw him bloodhound stepping away and then using the helmet glitch to full health himself. Yeah. Extremely maidenless behavior. Oh, bloodhound step. Wow, so, so original. I've never seen bloodhound step before. Amazing.
I out traded the claws. What a surprise. Again. Tox, did you just pull out rivers of blood? Well, I mean, he ran away. And Gross. Hot Gross. Hot rivers. Gross. Extreme maidenless behavior, sir. Oh. You're running Bloodhound. What do you, oh. what do you want there? Oh. <laughs> Disgust. I am ashamed. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk up and hit him with the L2, man. A shame. Oh. What incredibly maidenless behavior. Let's see if I can poise through this. Oh, we're gonna go for the Royal uh, Knights I'm Resolve. Go with, no, I don't recommend trying to. Seems you are maidenless with thine hammer. The rivers user who multi buffs shameful talks, indeed. Okay, listen. Our primary weapon is the sword spear, but sometimes people just need to be disrespected, alright? That was funny. I jumped up, hit him with Blade of Death, and then he slowly bled out while trying to heal. Oh, you got him with a tick. <laughs> yep. Nice. Well, not even tech, I just straight used it while I was running and it caught him in the back. No, the, the tick damage. Oh yeah, the tick, not, yes. Not tech. Yes, the tick finished him. He tried to do his R RKR and I was like, how about Black Flame's protection? <laughs> Double rapier. Running mega damage reduction. Well, that didn't work. I feel like parries and like I'm so used to parrying in PvE. And I feel like parrying in PvP. Like the timing's just not there, because I threw that out like as he was starting up his attack and it just didn't happen. Different. Yeah. We need we need Dragon in here to, to backseat my parrying experience and explain to me what I'm doing wrong. The first step is probably to use a buckler, because it has more frames. Knives? The, it's, the reach isn't the problem. The, the problem is me missing my parries and not... I don't actually have a buckler. I don't have buckler on my mule. Oh, buy it. Missed on my screen, but it should have hit. Oh, well. Guy was lagging. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you, you have to, you have to effectively, like... You have to do it too early. Yeah, you have to know when it's gonna come. Which is fine in most circumstances. Every once in a while, you get someone that's a little bit too laggy for to actually land. Just, I think what happened there, that or is just a tiny bit too early, but. Um, you don't have the buckler either. Buckler with Golden Parry. Mm. Need to go buy it. Where do you get it? Uh, Gestock. No. So that's assuming he's even live. Yeah, I don't know if Gestock is around though. He should, yeah, he's over there. We need to get him to leave this spot. Go back to his shop instead of stomping on the head of Godric. Rude. The thing with the buckler is. Oh! He got what I tell you though. He had. Now I can can I. I can can I. I'll just go buy it from him.
Well, he's not at his shop. Why would I play an inferior Souls game when I have this? I don't know what that guy's plan was. Kindred of Rot's Exaltation with the Mushroom Crown. Anything poison, blah, blah, blah. I mean, yeah, but you could also just use Rot, which is strictly superior in literally every instance. Like, I, can, can I? I can't think of a single time where you're better off using poison over Rot. I also believe any enemy that's resistant to Rot is also resistant to poison. We'll stay there. Well, then he leaves me with no choice. Sound like I'm gonna go. Uh, you can cheese the dragon knight or corrupted dragon knight just outside the capital of poison mist if you walk up behind him or sneak up behind him because it doesn't aggro him and you can just take like 15 minutes and kill him that way. If he has debuff after she's dead, you have two blessings. You need to use the radiant blessing. Yes, Rod is the new toxic, so it's just better. Everything about it is better. Um, the stocks. Well, I'm coming back. I'm just going to put Golden Parry on this and I'll try and use that and see how it goes. Because I can. I'll probably try and do setup parry as like attack a few times and then throw it out. Not getting attack off there. Sloppy. I'll need to find where I put Golden Parry. Uh, it's on that. Alright, sign is back down. And I'm gonna grab a drink. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the double daggers. I'm starting to lean more towards... Because I'm doing something very similar to this build on Xbox, but with claws, and it's quite dirty. And I actually think that that version that I'm already doing on Xbox would be really annoying to fight against. Quite deadly. Get him, Tex. Actually, Golden Parry... It looks like it changes the buckler's frames. Yeah, it definitely does. Because it's a set weapon art animation. Melina? Died to your own bleed. How incredibly maidenless. Lord, why did he do that? <laughs> oh, Where is it at? Parrying. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> and I, uh, oh! Gotta do the setup, Barry. Use a better small shield with Golden Parry, I know. I could just put it on this. Nope, oh, don't try parrying that. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Is this a Guts cosplay? Uh, it might be. 
Looks like one. I'm wondering if he's using the host uh, ring of appearance, I would say so. He does no damage, though. That's because I have my thing on. Yes, he even has the crossbow! <laughs> oh my god! God, he has it all. Come on, Guts, dodge. <laughs> go, Guts, go. No. That that was a good that was a good Guts cosplay. Well done, he, whoever yeah, he well is, done. he needs to add the cannon into the build. You need to add Guts' hand cannon in. The jar cannon. Yeah, just, just, uh, off shot. Choo -choo -poo! Throw the cannon into the build, too. Come on, Hitler. That was, that was good. Ugh. I tried to get off Barrier of Gold and I fucked up. Did you, did you carry? Yeah, you did. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me, um... Yeah, I don't think the dagger build's working how we want. It's just, I don't know. It's not there. I'm gonna make the build I have on Xbox instead. Um, but to do that, I'm going to drop you some armor sets to pull on over to the mule. Making builds. ba da ba da ba da boo. We're making builds. ba da ba da ba da boo. We're making builds. Uh, prep. No, there is no cross-platform connectivity. With the exception of same families. So PS4 and PS5 can play together. Uh, do you want to come? Or I'll just, I'll just come out there and drop it. Yeah, I'm just fighting a guy real quick. Um, my runes. I was gonna go for the bull goat armor. Bullgoat is a bit thicker, because I'll hit the 100 points breakpoint naturally. That was the Mr. Bucket theme song you were singing subconsciously. Welcome to, uh, having a kid. I could actually join some duels with this build for a little bit. This build's pretty scary. But let me set up a more PvP-oriented loadout. Uh, let's see... Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I probably want to put Comet on. Comet, that, that, instead of you. You, and then, uh, what else would I even need here? Probably Collapsing Stars. Do a little bit of Mage PvP before I start making a new build. <laughs> okay. I should change up my helmet since I'm not using that ability here. Does that helmet buff? It buffs a uh, comet. Oh. What would I use instead? Intelligence and strength. I don't need that. Intelligence and endurance. I don't need that. 
What would I use? Pretty cool helmet that uh, gives you a little bit of arcane. What would I need arcane for? Oh. Looking sick. There we go. Let's wear this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Come, brother. <laughs> And golden blade. Oh, I've seen this combination before. Be gone with thine maidenless behavior. I don't know what he was trying to do. Actually, pretty impressive dodging. Running rivers. And he's healing. What a nerd. Tanked it to the face! <laughs> oh no, we got rivered! Uh, I'm sad. I couldn't quite get my poke off in time. Syllabus has plus 20 FP and minus 10 stamina. Mm. I might actually be pretty good with this. That's the, uh, the mask with the big hat, right? It is. Yeah, it's actually gonna look good, too. Hang on, I gotta set up some... I gotta redo some spells here. Alright, let me know when you're good to go. Uh, I would need Comet on. I would need that. I mean, I doubt anybody's gonna try and run. Do I keep Moon on for the lulls? Yeah, it seems to hit someone every once in a while, and that's funny when it happens. All right, I'm ready. Is it 170 now? No, this just this is the character that I used for all the walkthrough prep, so I just happen to be 170. It downscales around 150 anyway. Yeah, it's gonna downscale me, and all of my extra points are just pumped into mind. This is a really fun PvE character. You can do a lot of things in PvE. Um, but you can kind of see why I don't like going beyond 150, because already I have int soft cap, vigor soft cap, I have my weapon requirements, and then I have my mind at 40 fucking 9, which is pretty intense. Be able to summon. At 29, at 29, that's enough that I can cast and be smart about it. At 49, that's enough that I am a god caster and I will cast my way through the entire game. Basically just spam cast your way through. Mm-hmm. But if we ever get DLC... Yeah, maybe. If there's ever DLC, I'll likely use this character to go through it. And then respec and use it something else for the walkthrough prep. Keep the same backup save, because I'll end up redoing all my builds anyway. The dual scavengers, typically this build works with a wing of a still, but in PvP that's not gonna be as good. Cold bleed scavengers, on the other hand, are pretty disgusting.
Charles. I'll fight this maiden this well. Oh! <laughs> one shot with man. I did. <laughs> Oh, what delicious. Hey man, delicious. I told you, I had to catch people with it every once in a while. What a poor maiden, this fool. Taking a moon to the face. He really thought he was like, I'm gonna get under him and it's gonna miss. And then, <laughs> boop. No, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> When the moon hits your that was an like 80 int Renala's moon with the full moon sorcery boost. Instant death. I don't even have like the shit on that boost my spells. I should probably put it on. Where's my shit? There it is. We have a friend. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't, I don't, I've decided I don't want to trade with that anymore. <laughs> oh, he's really mad with glitch. What a fucking winner there. What an absolute winner. Look, he had, he had a fucking double katana on, too. Yeah, and full poise armor. What's the madness glitch? Uh, you double up on talismans, and then you keep someone locked in madness permanently so they can't do anything. Incredibly maidenless behavior. Truly maidenless. Fun part is, is that sometimes statuses can affect people through rolls, so you can literally roll catch people with that. Still get the insta chain. Very fun. Right, let me get up there. I want to try and moon somebody when they approach us. Yeah. Yeah. You must come here. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Go fight, Tox. Whichever one interferes, I'll send a moon at him. Yeah. I am the guardian of the moon, here to remove filth from the game. One moon has hit. Two moons have hit. Oh, Kroa wants to fight me. Your spell will not reach, peasant. However, mine... Ooh. 
I inherited the spell from Mistress Rani's mother. Let me show you how a mage plays this game, you fool. I will handle this scrub, Tox. for your maidenless cast. Goodbye. Wait, he's trying to do mist? That ain't gonna work. Oh, oh he's dead. I did not mean to catch him there, but... This is a map. Oh, is he, is he leaving? He's trying to leave? Oh, oh, he got out. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, I'm out of blue flasks. That was a clusterfuck of a fight. It was, though, but that's that's what I like about, like, the 2v2s. <laughs> don't they get tired of using rivers all the time? No. <laughs> no, they don't. He is sitting by a warming thing. Wait, the other guy? He really yes, he, no, he, 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 he tried to move, he was sitting by a warming stone to try and heal up. This is truly made in this behavior. I can't believe he thought that's that's honestly that's just funny my dude was like if i can just buy enough time to get off this warming stone i'll survive <laughs> i'm coming to save you tox unless you don't want to be saved you want to be saved no i'm good Tried to heal. What moon is better for PvE? Rinala's is stronger, but Ronnie's does a lot of frostbite damage. So I tend to like Ronnie's because frostbite will make the target. Dragon incantations. Um, yes, it can be. If that's going to be a large part of your build, running Radagons is going to be good. Radagons? Um, what? Or wait, no, that's not the Roar Talisman, is it? Roar it Talisman does not affect dragons. Neither does Godfrey. The uh, spellcasting time doesn't either? No, the only oh, thing that affects it is flat incantation boosts. Yeah, okay, so no. It's not worth running. Can you dodge the moon? Apparently you cannot. 
<laughs> Why did he just try sidestepping it? He just... Bro. <laughs> mm. um, I got no words for that. Grrrr! Curve sword that is, but those hurt. Is it bleed? No, just raw damage. He yeah, hits hard. He doesn't have a ton of health, but he hits hard. Can you spell parry the moon? I think so. With the nerf to sword of night, what weapon would you recommend instead? I mean, just pick a weapon and use it, man. Listen, almost everything in this game is going to be viable. Okay. This is a mage build. But I'm just using these swords turn to cold, and that gives them B scaling and int. Uh, you know, if you I use this instead of Moonveil and it claps cheeks. This thing is awesome. This is probably one of the best PvE weapons in the game. Like, watch this. Watch what I do to the squid with this thing. So you see the, the big angry squid? You're like, oh man, squid. Squid are scary. Squid are scary. Well, not really. Just... There we go. Squid down. Like, just pick a weapon. I mean, Night and Flame just happened to be really good for that build, but there's no reason you couldn't use a Wing of Estelle. Alright, let me actually drop you the stuff that I need to drop, Tux. There you go. How can you get that weapon from Mage? Bandit curved. They were quite bandity indeed. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I messed him up. What do you think is the current meta? <clears throat> I consider it to be 150. I think there's a separate level that a lot of people are dueling at. There's like a duelist group, but the, the meta, the general meta that most players are going to stop at, I think will be 150. Because at 150, your build is comfortable and you can tackle New Game Plus. Whereas going you're also up. To... Easily hitting 150 if you're just first time clearing the game. Yeah, first. So this character, we spent all of the runes we came across while playing, and I got up to 170 pretty easily, and then I was like, alright, I don't want to go too much higher. So I stopped there on purpose. Um, you know, I'm going to drop a bunch of shit. Not a ton of shit, but a, bunch, a good, a good, good, hefty amount of shit. <coughs> so just be picking it up as it goes. Um, so I don't know if he has everything. This build does. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it has that. I don't think it has that. I know it does not have dagger. Um, as for armor sets. Wait, I don't have the omen set. I know for a fact I have... Ah, oh, fuck me. I never picked up the omen set. I need to go pick it up. Are you remembering all the shit that you're dropping? Because I'm going yeah. to struggle to remember all this. I am. Um, and then while I'm here, I'll also... Already has that. I'll just drop, um... He has those already. Alright, let me... Let me go get the omen set real fast. I, th I thought I picked it up in the... Oh, you know what? I probably didn't do it in the prep, but I did it in the walkthrough. When you stat a build to 150, do you include great runes and talismans? You include talismans. Well, are you talking about... So when you're leveling up... Um, when you're leveling up, the... Uh, any additional stats coming from gear at all, or the great rune, does not show up on your level up screen. So you should be leveling up... You should be leveling up without accounting for those. Additionally... 
in terms of your build itself, I would not count great rune effects in a finished build because great runes are not active in invasions. So that great rune buff is only going to be active basically in, in you know, PVE content. Um, which if you're solo, I mean, honestly, at the end of the game, um, the only great rune that's really relevant after you've hit your stat caps is going to be Radon's. Unless you want to do something goofy and like run Millennia's for fun. Like if Ghostwire? Ah, uh, probably not. It just wasn't really my pace. It wasn't really my sort of game, you know? Since you're dropping loot, can I explain how that works? I mean, it just, I drop loot and then Tox is going to give it to a different character. I was putting it all on a separate character. The one I use to make all my builds. You lose what you drop, you do. But I've backed up my save, so it's irrelevant because when I reload my save, I'll have all this shit back again. Mm, is there anything else I need to put on that tank? That's both of those. I don't think it has that. It might have that. You want me to pull you? Yeah. Yeah, I just grabbed the omen so we can also have that over on the, uh, the mule. You can back up saves on PlayStation. Alright, here's the final set. Probably won't need this anytime soon, but... Might as well have it on the mule, you know. Might as well. Oh, wait, you don't have to go down to that garbage area and get it. Honestly, now that I've, I've done the walkthrough, I don't even mind it, because I know exactly where to go. Like, down to a science. You've done the training. Mm-hmm. You could... I'm, I'm actually like a walking Wikipedia at the moment. You could be like, hey, where is... And I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. do a short vid on on save backing up that's not really i mean I, I could i don't know if it makes all that much sense let me see something uh i did have graven mask and flux canvas already hmm i thought i didn't but i did well that makes this easier so, I dropped you some talismans and some armor, but I don't... Uh, what did I give you? I gave you flocks, I gave you grave, and then something else, but I don't think I, I need them. I think I have them all. Well, I didn't have flocks, so I'll keep that. Uh, more than welcome to it. So yeah, <laughs> I just need the, the prelate. Uh, the dagger. This is the other one that you dropped? Ah, uh, yeah. So dagger, 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 prelates, dagger, prelates, omens, and uh, bull. And I'll put those on Mr. Mule, and then I will make a new build, since the daggers were made in this. Where is Golden Perry? Golden Perry is all the way up the rampart that looks like it's going to lead into the capital, but it doesn't on your left-hand side uh, via a shiny beetle that'll disappear that you need to reload to kill. 
Okay. Um, so. You explain yeah, why dagger. sometimes I can't summon my friends in areas when we have a password set. Um, I mean, if you've killed a boss, that would be why. Was it, uh... Was Omen? it just dagger for talismans? Yeah, because the other ones I have. I didn't think okay. I did, but I do. So just armors. Omen killer. Oh shit, sorry. Tapped back in. Uh, bull. Um, killer. No, there should be prelate gloves as well. Down at the bottom, right? Oh, yeah. I dropped the wrong gloves. No, those are omen killer gloves. There are should you sure? Or no. Those, those were omen killer gloves. These are omen oh. gauntlets. Yes, okay. Omen killer gloves. Here you go. Yeah, it should be. It's all the super heavy loot. That's all. So just you can just tab to the bottom every time and you'll find it. Yeah. Holga and then Prelate Gloves. Or was it the Greaves? No, it was Gloves. Yeah, Prelate. Prelate. I think I I think the... I'm pretty sure this build has the Prelate Greaves, which is why I didn't drop it. Yeah, Prelate Gloves. the Prelate Armor altered. Yep. Yeah. Full we'll good armor. Woman armor. Full we'll good armor. Woman ham. Full we'll good ham. That was it. Now feel my death. Destined death. Can you survive? Crouch book. Oh shit, Tox, I just realized this would be a great build for the Crouch Poke Plassey. Because I could also uh, work in all the Destined Death shit. Ah! 100 to 0 without healing. Real good, bro. <laughs> you didn't give Tox time to buff, I know. That's why I felt bad, I let him kill me at the end there. <laughs> what is Cowboy are you testing right now? We're making a build. A big, juicy build. For all my maidenless gang out there. Maidenless! Maidenless represent. This is literally thanks for the cool loot. I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah. And now we're gonna back it up. Back, back, back it up. Rename Mule Drag it Drag it to the builds and replace it. There we go. Let's make a new build. Our faith dagger's good. Not really, that's what we just tried doing. They uh And a doo doo. Yeah, they didn't quite hit the mark. The damage wasn't as high as I would have liked, which is unfortunately maidenless. Mm. Be right back, though. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're making a new build. Woo! here yo yo how's it going what's going on well you know oh he's pvping <coughs> pvping you guys gank it again um yeah you know <laughs> trying not to <laughs> hey man sometimes people just want the 2v2 yeah it happens how are you doing, I chat? Yes, it's Dragon. dragon. Hello. The perfect representative of maidenless behavior. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about your hat. An excellent avatar for this stream. Uh huh. Come, yeah, there dragon. it is. Tell me the There's... filthy things you have done to level 9 players today. I haven't used my level 9 build in like three weeks. Well, go do it. Send them to early graves. No, I've got my level 50 that I'm. that I just. Mm. 
it's it's so it's so one sided right now. It's either I totally fucking annihilate somebody or I totally fucking get annihilated. Like it, that's the PvP right now. That sounds like rather maidenless behavior. Yeah, I get it. Your hat. Buy the hat, everybody. <laughs> hey, if you want a hat? Go buy a hat. It's there buy for hat. you to buy. Hat. <laughs> get hat. Ha ha! It was Souls meme. Let's pick it up, guys. Fucking let's go. <laughs> hat. <laughs> hat. There it is. Hat. Hmm, Dragon seems in a rather maidenless mood today. Hmm, it's just, it's disappointing. Toxic, this has been it for two hours. <laughs> is this what this has been? Is that it? Dragon that rob build was fun. Uh, yeah, it's not good, but it's, you know, it's gonna run into like 18 rivers of blood and people who were tonguing and ganking invaders gonna run into that and that's gonna be a thing and I've got a different strategy with it that is not using those hammers which has been pretty brutal for a lot of people and does not work on others it, it, it is a total toss-up but uh, did you guys know that mm -hmm. you can get the spears that the uh, mannequin soldiers have did you guys know that you know you can get those spears no they're good uh, they cause bleed mm. They're Indeed. basically worse versions of the cross Naginata. Hmm. So you can Sounds use those. Like a rather maidenless weapon, if you ask me. Those are the ones that look like the pikes from uh, previous games, right? Yeah, they got like a little. Uh... Okay, oh yeah, by the way, I had two poison pikes. That shit was hilarious. They did almost no damage. Yeah, but I poisoned them because I want the 32% uh, attack rating boost with the mushroom cap and the, the talisman. Yeah, then they would do damage. Just... Oh. Oh, I gotta say, you can't be brought on every weapon. What's no, the, um... Right on that. How much is putting poison on something like, screw this game? Oh, like, it, oh it. it fucks it entirely up. It is awful. It is, listen, this is not me saying, Hey guys, this is a really good build from your good pal, the Dropout Dragon. Go in here and meta it up. No, this is, this so is the, purely... The 32% buff so, doesn't catch it back up. So, to, like, so let me, let, well, hold on, well, hold on. Here's, here's the deal, right, with the, with the poison pipes. Here's the deal. I get the buff because it's super easy to poison people. They get poisoned immediately with the poison price. It's hilarious, right? I get the buff that lasts 30 seconds, but I've also got the spear talisman, which allows me to do extra damage on the counter hits. Those are the big beefy hits, which are pretty easy to get when your weapon is, you know, four of your characters long. That's, that's yeah. kind of fun to do. But... I have to set it up that way, and when it gets set up, it's fucking hilarious. And when it doesn't happen, I get rivers of blood and really salty. That's 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 that's, that's how it goes. Hmm. Actually, does this build not have bloodhound step at all? I, like I, I have decided to, have... To, to protest against bloodhound step. Decided just to do that. I don't think this. I don't think I even have access to it here. I honestly never thought you would make it in build either. Well, that's just the Karian Night cosplay video. That's that's a whole other thing. Oh, this is pretty good. Actually, huh? you can drop a weapon with Bloodhound Step, can you? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. No, I'm asking, can can you? Like, do you have one? Oh, um. Uh, looking through, I don't see it. Let no. me go to the blacksmith. Just, just, just go kill I don't the even guy. have Bloodhound Step on this character. I don't think. Just go get, just go kill the guy. You're level what? You're level 80,000? Hey, New Game Plus guys don't mess around, okay? Alright, well. I mean, still just a... Summon nice talks, you can gank him too. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> get up. You, oh, you should have been here earlier. The amount of people catching moons to the face was a oh, sight God. to behold. It was, oh, uh, honestly, out. Connection we, must be real shit tonight. No, no, it we... wasn't even that. It was there was a dude in full millennia cosplay, and he just his, oh well, those are the for... those are the people <laughs> rubbing two fucking brain cells together, yeah. and one of those brain cells is too concerned about how horny they are for that character, so they're not even thinking about the game. It's just his, like, uh... oh, she's so cool, and I saw her naked. <laughs> His method for dodging was walking to the right, and it just ate a 1500 damage moon to the face. Rather maidenless behavior. Yeah, that's yeah. great, man. I'm glad I'm gonna be hearing that. <laughs> I'll PvP you, Dragon. Just buy me a PC with all that tip money CB gave you. Hey, as soon as he gives it to me, well, maybe we could talk about that, Drew. As soon as he gets it, when, as soon as I get it. Actually, 
I might have a PS5 in the coming days. Maybe. It's a long shot, but I might have one in the coming days, so... All you PlayStation people, I'm coming back, baby. And I am still going to complain about this game when I get there. <laughs> when I come back. <laughs> CBD. <laughs> Dragon, did you get your hundred dollars? Oh, from Cowboy? Yeah, I did. I did. A man of my word. He was a man of his word, but I also, Cowboy, to my credit, you said, I don't have to, but you'd like to see the trophy for Millennia as well. And I did that, didn't I? You did. I did mm -hmm. do that. And oh, it took my what? God, that poise. You got, you got, he, he gave me to the next Friday, to do, he gave me seven days to do that, and I did you it. You had it like, done by, like, the next morning. I did. <laughs> hey, man, $100 is $100. I, want, I wanted that money. <laughs> like... hmm. Been, uh, been checking in on another Twitch streamer. He's been attempting Millennia for, like, the past two and a half days of just, like, <sighs> Start streaming, do nothing but fight Millennia, end stream not beating her, and then starting back up the next day, do what the exact they? same thing for like what, six and a half hours. <laughs> what, le what level are they? Um, I think he's like level 120, 130. I did it at 125. But he's doing, he's doing dual maces uh, with bleed frost. Mm. And he hasn't he hasn't tried using a shield or anything, and he doesn't want to do summons or magic or anything. He's like, no. <laughs> that has, the, that has the damage. I'm surprised. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. Bleed, this is actually what we're trying right now is a bleed frost build. Bleed, bleed frost works, cowboy. I don't know what you don't have to try anything. Well, it's I'm I'm talking about for for. It's got his, uh, the, so so the one the one problem with this is bosses that are going to be immune to bleed. Which is why I'm thinking have one weapon that's dedicated to frost and one that's immune to bleed, because you know me. If I'm making a build, it has to also work in PvE, otherwise it is a... Right, so it's, right, right, it sucks, right. Now yeah. I guess. I guess you. We were talking, I, I felt one of my... The guy otherwise I know, he's in... There was a, there's a smaller creator I know, and he had uploaded a build video today. <laughs> and I was like, oh, let me check it out. And like, the first couple of clips were him just shredding bosses, and I'm like, wow, this is like really impressive and the video starts off and he's like so all right what we're working with is probably going to get patched because this is an exploit i'm like god damn it yeah why why even upload that why do that dragon must be hurting if you needed the hundred dollars that quickly no i just could make it that quickly that was that was the because cowboy are you suggesting the acquisition of money is bad sounds like a response from someone that must be made in this. Has this been really... The acquisition of money is always a worthy endeavor. Fox, has this been the last two hours? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't missed anything. <laughs> I don't feel like I have. Mm, but now we can have fun now that you're here. Yeah. How enjoyable. <laughs> Fucking barrels, dude. <laughs> so much fun. Fucking barrels. I'm here. I went and I, look, I went back and looked at one of your videos a little while ago. And even though people say they can hear me clearly, I, I'm listening to it. And I think Tox and I still do the quiet stage in this game. Every time, I think. See, I've got mine. Like times. All sound in my games. And the content that I'm making. So I don't know. Oh, this is rather mavenless. All right, man. Good talk. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> I'll see you later, man. <laughs> Dragon, thanks for dropping by, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. Yeah. I, uh, yeah I was, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, all right. okay, okay man. Walking, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will calm down. My maidenless drivel. Why we literally anywhere else? We know where we heard it, but I can't talk. About it. That's me. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, 
Well, no. Like, I, I was, I was, that. I was there. No, it was, it was. In, it. No, I said that. I know. I heard it somewhere else. Oh. Uh, yeah, I that was no, that was not thief. original. You're just yeah. a thief. What the fuck? What that happened? Was funny, all right. You weren't. You weren't yeah, there. You literally See, this, weren't this there. Is, this is the problem with the night was that you weren't there. I know. I'm asking what happened. I wanna. I wanna know. I can't tell you what happened. And it's gonna bring up a, a conversation on camera that's gonna make me and Tox look like dicks, yep. and it's gonna make me mad at you because you put us in that position. I mean, you're already <laughs> kind of both dicks. Yeah, but this no. one isn't our fault. Mm, does it involve another creator? No. Well then, just go ahead. Be dicks. Let's hear your dickery. No. En engage in your. Dare I say it? Your, I'm not here to make fun of your audience. I'm not here for that. Dare I? You're gonna, it's about the audience. You're bashing the poor audience. That's so. <laughs> yeah. What maiden misbehavior? Uh, I don't know if that one dude's still here. <laughs> Yo, Cowboy, thanks for all the hard work on your videos. They are appreciated, says Jeff Young. He did put work into those videos. I want to clown on him, but he did finish that walkthrough, and it that is no easy work. task. Hmm. $10 for two minutes of maidenless talk. Hmm. Two minutes, you say? <laughs> Roast me, Drake. <laughs> Dragon, it seems you have some fans. Uh huh. I have a few. Mm. I have a couple here. Do you now? Yeah, a couple. Mm, it's rare to see. Isn't it? Someone of uh, how do we say? Such I a thought you're gonna calm. You're gonna calm this down, and you're just back on it within caliber. like two minutes. I was given donations to speak in the voice for two minutes. God, this is gonna be a short. Are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> I should not. <laughs> This is time this short, not. dude. I'm There's nothing damn. wrong with it. <laughs> Why? You sound like a you sound like a Moonvale user. Mm, well, unfortunately, I parry those. Mm, mm, yes, I've gone to the jail tunnel yet again <laughs> on my full character to pick up the Moonvale weapon mm. of champions. Indeed. Only people of high intellect can press L2 and then R2 immediately. It is <laughs> truly. And sometimes they can press L2 and then R1 and whiff. But it's but it's 100% not optimal. So I press two. No, 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 <laughs> no, filthy man. A true mage uses the superior wing of a stale option for its. No, a true mage spams stars of ruin for free damage for fucking ten minutes. That's what they do. Until That's... they kill you. Or and they're like, ha, the they're like, ha, 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 a GG friend. Either you use Karian retaliation and one shot me or you lose the game. <laughs> that is, that is the trade off here. And then when you use Karian retaliation, I'm going to trash talk you for abusing. Exactly. 100%. 85.7 is the number to remember, boys. Hard down. 85.7. Hmm. Dragon, when did you show up to the stream? Uh, I was... On what, like 10 minutes ago? Something like that? Hmm. Is it 15, 15 minutes ago? Why? I noticed a drop in viewership. Truly made in this on your behalf. my <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> Alright, it's Friday fucking night, and I've already told you there's gonna be people who don't this. fucking like me. It's okay, it's okay. God. What do you care? You've made your fucking money You'd selling your... Dumbass hat. It is an excellent shit. hat. It is, in fact, a maidenless hat. Oh, God. I don't think what I want to scale up here. He does not sound like Alan Rickman. I sound like Celibus. You don't. I do. You don't. Wiggity woo. I love having Dragon here. OP stays. Uh-huh. Mm. That's up to Cowboy at this juncture. <laughs> that's, that's, that's up to him, really. Uh, this build is weird. Alan Rickman has talent. Yeah, exactly. 
Mm. Why is this not? These aren't scaling very well. So 348 to 3. Hang on, something is wrong. You know what? I probably need to put points into int to get it up. I do. Uh, gross. Oh, what a fight. I just had an invader chug all of his flasks in front of me and then I followed suit. Mm. What a bro. Oh, it'll happen. Mm. Every once in a while. <laughs> that is... I can respect it. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. I mean, that that's I think that started around the Dark Souls 2 era was just like, I'm not going to heal. Will you join me in not healing? But it takes so fucking long. <laughs> I <laughs> hate when I... Chug I through my 15 flasks. Yeah, like <laughs> I hate I hate seeing it because it makes me feel Dragon's like I have to do it, even though I know I'm not going to heal if I know that they're trying to duel me. So it's not gonna happen basically anyway. Just like, all right, all right, fine. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's like, yeah, okay, gesture, whatever. Let's fight. Can we just get? Listen, I've been Boys. doing this thirteen years. Please just fight me, like just. I, I look, I get it. I, I want to bow and I want to wave and all that. That's why I, the best, the best thing that Elden Ring has, the best one, is the casual wave gesture. Or That's <laughs> that is the best, the casual wave, not the regular wave, the casual wave. Because it takes I don't like think I have the casual wave. Oh, the casual wave is great. You show up and your hand goes up a little bit. And you go, hey. Oh, casual just, greeting. Oh. Yeah, casual greeting. Yeah, whatever. That is the best fucking thing in the game because it's just <laughs> there, and I can just do it, and then everything is done. All etiquette has been fulfilled, and I can fight now. And there's no bullshit. I like that. I think we need to hey. scaling on these isn't. Good. Makes me kind of feel like Buckley from King of the Hill, but it doesn't matter. I still just like, hey. <laughs> hey. You miss the days where you could just, I don't know, buy the video card you wanted. That was such a nice time. Yeah. Wouldn't it be sick to buy things? First time I've ever had money in my life, and I can't buy a goddamn thing because everything's just not there. <laughs> And sucks. All right. Uh, man, Causes sailing. bleed eighty three. Yeah, this sucks, man. It's <laughs> kind of where we're at. This sucks, man. I fucking, I fucking hate this game. Oh, I love this game. Oh shit. I gotta figure out. What the breakpoint is stat wise to maximize this damage? Oh, and you've run full poise too. Why don't you just, hey, just pump your decks up to 20, go grab Cross Naginata? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want Why to not? Because I want to do this with fist weapons. I'm trying to make a close range thing. I don't know. <laughs> I want to make it bad. Hey, don't worry. Cross Naginata is close range. They walk bad. up right in your face so they can guarantee that they proc you for bleed through a roll, which stunlocks you into getting hit for a real one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the one that's actually going to one-shot you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. Everyone loves that. The question is how... Do I uh oh go you up? missed. Good thing you've got Bloodhound's dead. Exactly. 423. Hold on, let me just reposition to the other side of the map real quick. Oh, hold on. Let me just have iframes through the end and beginning of my attacks. That's fair and it balanced and feels good. 405, 429. And then... What's the best area for invading? Depends on your level and weapon level. Those two things come into play there. Do I want any intelligence in this build? Since to have it. Like no, that. I've been invaded. I've been invaded by Ligma 2022. Oh, Ligma. I'm screwed. God, dude, you're about to show up at a Reddit vid. You're gonna look so stupid. Fuck. I'm gonna kill him, and then he's gonna cut me out of the vid. Is that even worse? I can't tell. <laughs> uh. No. Oh, I don't have that on. Mm.
394 and 435. 435 AR doesn't seem bad. The bleed buildup. The bleed buildup on this could be better. That's the problem. I feel, like the, great. I feel like the blood star fists just aren't really worth using here. They're... It's fucking at 83. Yeah, I mean it's, it's high for fists. It's at 83, and you're gonna you're gonna hit them through rolls when they're getting away from your obvious running attacks. Yeah. I mean it's it's good. It's going to happen. And even if they roll through the blood proc, they still stagger, which means you just hit them again. That's yeah. the problem, right? That's why bleed's so bad right now. And why I'm joking about cross Naginata, because dudes are stacking poise running through bleed builds and saying oh hey uh you may hit me but i'm gonna poise through it and guarantee a bleed proc which will stun you long enough for me to do it again because we didn't really trade because i poised through it which means i'm free to do my animation and you're not so enjoy that i saw a, a magnificent specimen on somebody's youtube today i watched a man with a great sword and a fingerprint shield, use Bloodhound Step. Ooh. Oh my god. Kind of defeats the, the goodness of the fingerprint shield, though. I got the sign down, Tox. No, it doesn't. It still has unlimited stability. stability so oh, yeah, but I mean, the fun of, of shield bashing. It's a fantastic shield to bash people with. Oh, well, it's a fantastic shield to do whatever the hell you want with, because it's the best shield in the game by it far. It is the best shield in the game. Ooh, it is the best Lord. shield in the game. Aw, oh, come on. You see well, we're going the spike ball because we want bleed. Let me go try this. By the way, if you can land the R2 on that with your ultra poise, that shit's no joke. R2 on what? The double-handed uh, oh star God. balls thing. Oh balls. yeah, I've been hit by it. It hurts a lot. It, it's no joke. If you can get it off with your core, it's no joke. You can parry a great right? Sure. Oh. No, you can parry only, That's only colossal weapons that you can't parry, I think. Yeah, colossals and two-handed ultra swords. Oh, you can parry one-handed? You can parry the ultra swords with one handed. You cannot. But not the colossal weapons. I haven't been able to get one off. I could be wrong about that, but it's been. But I know I've parried a one handed Joy Hander, and I have not parried a blood stepping Joy Hander with two. When they're two Should I hand. do a blind Sekiro walk through? Or follow your walk through first? Are you asking if you should do a blind playthrough? Because I don't think a blind walk through is a thing unless you're. I mean, well, then again, I've never I, played I know, before, but I know where everything is. I, I know oh, wait, a lot of YouTube was, channels that, that would that would suggest that is a thing. Yeah, that's 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 my channel. <laughs> that's what I right, do, guys. If you'll uh, if you follow me over here, we're gonna find something. <laughs> welcome to I my. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna find something. Welcome to my gameplay walkthrough. I've never played Elden Ring, but I know where everything is because I spoiled myself to everything. So it's technically blind. I always suggest a blind playthrough first, unless you don't mind getting shit spoiled for you, in which case, <laughs> uh, whatever the hell you want. If you're Still interested in the PvE of this game, I would suggest playing it that way on your own. There's no, because you're never going to get back that discovery. The feeling when I found Dragonlord was better than sex, uh -huh. and you can't get that following my guide. There's only one time where you're going to find out that Melania has a second phase for the first time. <laughs> Thanks, Tox. Just throw it out there for him. You just mentioned classes, Sags. Yeah. Shut up. Everybody knows it. It's been out for almost a month. Sorry about that, sport. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the thing that's been trending on Twitter this entire time. <laughs> they weren't, sorry, they weren't sorry, talking sorry about Elden Ring. They were, they were talking about Mia. Yeah. <laughs> some other Melania. Look at those brothers. Oh. <laughs> I went boop. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's like max, max poise. I know. Uh -huh. This is truly a monster. He's really outplaying it. He's Unfortunately, holding forward on the left stick and pressing L1. What's the I'm What's the casual greeting? Uh, it's, it's, the one you got the, it's the one you got literally from the armor man that you're wearing, the bull goat man. 
Okay, well, does this person really want quick. me to chase them into the squid? Yeah, because I I wouldn't be too happy to fight this either. You were in the most easy mode scenario you could be. Oh. Oh, oh damn. You almost got him with that parry. <laughs> and you're healing. I mean, he started it, okay? I was, I was... How did he start it? He didn't heal. Oh, well, that's what I get. You did this to me, all right? That was, that was all you. No, you did that. You did that to you by standing still and letting him kill you. <laughs> I'm so proud of that guy. <laughs> yeah, that dude's like... I'm not fighting max poise baby <laughs> mode fucking I'm not doing that. So here's here's what's happening now. I mean he just seemed like mm, maidenless. Uh-huh. I think that you were the most maidenless one there, Bill. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, not gonna I'm bro? not listen, I'm Plus, not gonna lie. I know you're having fun and you don't care. I get that, but this this kind of shit is cookie cutter cancer. One hundred percent. So you're saying I, I hope you. So you're saying I should I upload you know it that. and do a thumbnail. <laughs> Soup most OP build. No, I'm. I'm saying. Well, yeah. Poise. <laughs> poise OP. Can't believe it. It's only. It's only like everybody in the dueling scene knows this already. And yet again, guys, did you know if you mix bleed with Bloodhound Step and Max Poise, no did one see, can uh, punish you for anything? <laughs> you see, Oro did a. It's one of the dumbest. The dumbest April Fool's video I've seen. Yeah, the eight second fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The this is the biggest trigger. secret. In health. You see that? If you level this, your health goes up. I yeah, know. I've seen, I've seen no that. one seems to know this. But you can that has do nothing it. To, that has nothing to do with what's going on here. I hope you understand that. Well, I know nothing this is a poison monster. I'm not. Poison monster, bloodhound stepping. Oh my god. Um, now I'm not anymore. I'm using my other hands. Bonk! Yeah, I, I Bonk! Bonk! Away. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's cool, guys. I can also heal. Oh, outplayed! Let's see what outplayed looks like. Outplayed looks like using... Stop casting that on Tox! Well, that guy did not. Watch out, Tox. He's, this is a laggy boy. No, he isn't. You kidding me? I went through his attack and then I got hit after the fact and didn't have my no, he Ash of War. He traded trigger. with you. The last, that was a trade. That was a normal trade. The Ash of War never went off. Because you didn't time it right. I did time it right. All right, man. You're right. I, You're PvP expert. You're I right will exactly. not be talked down to by you some maidenless well. You don't, you don't have two characters that literally can't hold through Darks anymore. You don't have that. Tox, was he laggy or not? Um, like I didn't get a chance to fight him. He just hit all of his buffs and then blood fingered away. So. <laughs> well, I'll get my sign again, I guess. I don't know what that was exactly. See, I could be using buffs on this dragon. I'm not. Don't, don't could be anything. I you don't need them. Be. You get your poise. I have a beard made of armor, okay? You don't have, you don't have, any, you don't need buffs. There's no point in buffs. There's, there's, you, you have maximum poise. But I could hit harder with the buffs. Maximum poise with bleed. That's gonna proc through people's rolls, stun them, and then get hit again for fucking 700 damage. That's what's gonna happen. And then you can trade with whatever you want. Because passive poise was the greatest idea that FromSoft ever had. Love it. Yeah, sure, I wonder the blood star. What are these default as? Yeah, he was laggy. Thank you. Actually, that's not even the same guy. Oh. He just put my spear through his chest and he kept swinging. No damage taken. 427. These hit A scaling. B E B B. 438. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go, go ahead and... Oh, shit. 
I mean, I'm heavy at the moment. Oh well. Just go ahead and give it a. What's your What's your arcane and, and your faith right now? Oh, not very high. What is it? Like sixteen and nine. Mm. Right now they're <laughs> heavy. I mean, well, I'm trying to decide because the the whole the cold the cold bloodhound claws are CDC, so you're not really seeing a ton of scaling out of those. Don't so you, uh, part of me is thinking what? I just pump strength up all the way. And then use heavy star fists. So I actually. Why don't you? Why don't you throw on the blood flame blade? Why don't you do that just to make it even worse. Just throw that on there. That's it's like an exploit at the moment. Why don't you just throw it? Well, I'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what? where you draw the line. That's, listen. That's where, that's where we draw the yes, line. that's where I draw the line. All right. There's a difference between. The exploit that I use is fine. The other ones. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, that's baby mode. Max, Max is poised to everyone's attack. That's not. That I'm not even poising. I'm using an Ash of War to... <laughs> I'm using an Ash of War to dodge. I don't even need the poise. Can't say that. That <laughs> I'm not poising. Using poison. Listen, I'm, I'm saying they I haven't have had them. the poise yet. The poise, it's more a threat that they see it. Ignore it. You have any function. I'm going to hit the enemy. Holy shit, dude. Look at how good this is. The guy can't do anything. I haven't even had the poise yet. I need to make these bleed again. Uh oh, the squid's getting involved. Frost not cutting it. Clean. I just think more the Bloodhound stuff isn't gonna be. I need to have bleed on them. Hang on, Toxie. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I broke the log. Fucking squid! Holy shit! I'm trying to kill this fucking squid. Dragon, if you made the parody video of the play Gold Kill? No. I don't think you still play even as a joke. Oh no, listen. Person who can make it. Uh, Bloodhound Step is way worse than Max Force. Bloodhound, Bloodhound Step is baby mode dodge game. So, so the, 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 the shit part that Dragon doesn't like about this build is I already have the poise to trade with everything except for a Colossal to the face. And on top of that, I'm removing any recovery I'd ever have to worry about by having Bloodhound yeah. Step. Essentially, yes. I'm able to... to Imagine, will not, imagine will being in Havel punished. armor, but like having fast rolls and no recovery. You not, yes, you you are worse than the ninja. It's worse than the ninja flip. And uh, yeah, you weren't you are not punished for bad play at the moment. It's just is you, you cannot be punished for bad play. Surprise, Moonfield user with less than a thousand HP. <coughs> <laughs> no, the log is gone. Alright, now I got bleed back on my 
blood star fist. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, I mean, how <laughs> thank, could I thank, play? I mean, that? I mean, thank thank God for that. Now, now you yeah. can really outplay the people. Yeah, I can really outplay them. I would like to know sooner rather than later what matchmaking is in this game for definitive with some of these items because i do not think tongue works in the same way that the other ones do like for, old, for, old, for old, we yeah. could test it uh that would take forever and it would i mean we'd have to go in like increments of like 10 levels and then narrow it down yeah if you had <laughs> if you had a character at every level that would be slightly better but... i do not but i do not not doing that. And you have to go higher than you would think to really tune it down to like a really good percentage. Because mm -hmm. if you just do it at level 10, then you're going to get like a kind of a rough idea. But... Wow, you uh... You just hate that. I was trying to parry it. I don't... You can't parry that. Raptor mists. You can't parry the moon because it negates the moon. Oh. You get the mage. I'll chase down this maiden this well. The mage has a river. Man, that patch is nuts. There we go. Fine Dragon, it's Friday, and we're having fun. I, I'm glad y'all are having fun. I don't mistake me. I'm really glad you're having fun. Let me, let me, um, I, I just, I just saw it. Don't worry. Listen, I just want to throw this out before I stop complaining about it because I'm just tired of it. I'm going to just say that I don't condone this build or this behavior. And, um, this is the, this, this right here is the problem with PVP and it's not going to get better for a long time. That's that is it. That's that's all I'm gonna say. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about fucking the fact that I have to be awake for like twelve hours more than. <laughs> I have to go to a place to get a thing. What's the place and get a thing? I have to go to a place to get a thing. Is it a is it a white box it, that can play it, things it, it may be in the shape of a pope's hat and does it perhaps take place at a certain time it might but it has to be done in a certain way and i have to do that so my job doesn't suck so... Ooh, i'll tell you what raptor of the mists is pretty spicy with this yeah they're gonna spam on you Pretty easy just to smack it down. Uh huh. Just boop, hit ya. Let's that's, see. This and that could tell. That that's another reason. This isn't about you. It's about other people. That's another reason I know that so many new people are playing Elden Ring right now. Because you don't get that in like the actual PvP scene the other game. They hit you. And oh, you have Bloodhound Step. Look, I have Bloodhound Step too. They see how they that, that you how you react to it. But people in Elden Ring, they just they just hit that fucking button. They don't care. Bumper? Oh yeah, there it is. Get your get your shield out. Do a rip, do an R1 running attack. I don't need to. These. Uh, well, actually, should, I might. You <laughs> should you should pre you should practice the timing. Do an okay, R1 okay. running attack into yeah, the parry. I did it to you twice. It's not hard. The easiest parry bait in the world. It's so good. See, I'm not. The parries aren't <laughs> happening. Standing there, standing there. Oh, oh, and, oh, and there, there, there comes in from behind the thirst. There's always a thirsty boy. I mean, see, that doesn't. To me, that looked like. I think that I'm. I'm, only, I'm used to PVE parry timings. That looked like they should have connected. You were. Uh, you were late every time. I know, but it looked like I was starting it up before he even swung, yeah, or as he late. swung. Like it, it may be. In if your that had defense. been. If that had been a crucible night, I would have got that parry. <laughs> that's that's the only thing yeah, I can know how to parry. Yeah, you would have you would have got him. Um. <laughs> Listen, I'm used to PVE parries, and it's different. <laughs> all right, 
I've seen you parry it. it you, it's like you throw out the parry not, before not, they not, even not, swing. Not. Right, right. Yeah, I get you. I know. I know. I, I would. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. I hope you're having fun. And also, um, what I don't get though, why he wasn't taking any damage through his shield, but cold bloodhound claws are supposed to go through shields. I don't know. Great shield. But it doesn't matter. They they have bloodhound claws. I, this, it, it's the same as like attacking with a scythe or a shoulder. They slip past right. guard. Well, I guess not that one. Weird. Might have to be like right on top of him or something. Maybe just. No, I don't know. I feel like I might need uh I might need to put some buffs on this build. Maybe, no, maybe, no, no. You can't do that yeah. after all the shit talking. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need some like physical damage mitigation just to really drive home what this build does. Which is just smack you. Yes, this is a cat build. Meow! Has claws. A chonky fucking cat. Meow! Meow! <laughs> Do not make cat noises. She just be silent. Be a big silent. And not do that. Because I really don't want to imagine that everybody I'm running into is wearing this fucking armor. Like, meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the fucking worst shit. Oh, meow. That sucks. That sucks and you suck. These guys suck. Why why does everybody who invade me? Over here. Yes. I guess that's true. The deal is, I think they have given up on the patients now because they went into the bus and we got to them. Cowboy get a haircut? Is... No! Get a haircut. You have a new fabulous hat for your all It says maidenless. It says maidenless on that. And then you can show everyone you know that you have played a video game before, and they'll be like, "Wow, I heard that game hard. Tell me about it." And then you can be the whole, you know, group in your conversation and show everybody what a cool, definitely not virgin you are. Absolutely. You guys will love it. It'd be fucking great. He's giving me the business. I feel like I don't know. Maybe claws just suck. You're not doing the running thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is that? But I mean, I don't, is that? I won't is, that all there, is, is that all there is to this? Is just a running attack? No, like, listen, up? listen, stop. Look, go back to the fucking bleed stars. Go back to them. The the fucking thing. Bleed Run stars. up. But yeah, the fucking the fucking the I know, balls. I know, I know. Go I'm saying. Well, all right, what about the balls? Go to the balls. Do the fucking running attack. The the fucking running. Where that? he's like bop bop. Okay, he's bop bop. Bop bop. Okay. Okay. Do that over and over again in the chase because you're gonna hit them in their rolls it's gonna bleed proc them they're gonna get stunned even if they roll for the damage and then you just pop up again you just keep doing it believe me it works i've seen it i've, well, I've seen it with my own eyes and if you won't follow that advice to, you can't complain the about the plan shit. is to bop bop and maybe i respect this to not worry oh, about using the claws you. at all and i just go more into strength fine do whatever you want i'm just telling you <laughs> Should I have an iron ball as a backup? No. I'm thinking like one one is a PvE weapon, one's a PvP. Because I like the idea of blood on the star fist, and then I could have the the just the iron ball leveled up as heavy to just really bonk stuff with. Do that. 
of it that way. If I'm fighting something that's bleed immune, I can just punch it until it's dead. All right, do that then. And then drop the claws all together. Guitar is Flails pretty good. Are, oh, well played. Flails are terrible in this game. They can't be parried, though. That's a good thing. <clears throat> so what Ash of War... Well, if I'm going to make my Iron Balls my PvE weapon... I mean, Beast War could actually be pretty cheeky on them. Just put Beast War on them just to smack something. Ooh, I think I got a couple more main, then I'm going to go swap to some War Thunder. War Thunder? Tox, no. War Thunder. They just released these really ground tree, dude. Mm, what a maidenless... War Thunder? What are you, Ron? Hey man, what's your hat say? It says, <laughs> tell me. Maidenless. Tim, tell me again what the hat says. Maidenless. Do you want to hear it again? One, sure, you one, hit it up. Maidenless. Totally unrelated, that hat is for sale, and you guys can you pick can it up You can bike it up today. now for $17 by using coupon code Fighting Cowboy. What? Coupon code? Shit, dude, you're spoiling your chat, man. Wow. That's fucking incredible. He really just walk away without telling me he was walking away, so now I gotta look at his chat. I'm trying to have a smoke here. I'm trying to have a fucking smoke. All right, chat, AMA, let's go. Come on. You know the rules. Shut up. I'm talking to chat. Oh, my God. It's over for you now. How maidenless of you. It's too late now. It's too late. Time has come. Dude, what a steal, exactly. I mean, to be fair, they did have some pretty cool shit. Paige got, Don't Paige you got ever some- you spoil uh, your chat? No. Paige got some shorts and some pants. I got a hat and a tank top that has a cat. It's like a samurai cat. And then I got my Ahageo uh, towel, which is gonna be incredibly What's uncomfortable for a lot of people. My YouTube is The Dropout Dragon. You can find me on Twitch with the same name. The, the Dropout Dragon? No. I don't spoil my chat. My chat doesn't deserve it. My chat is a bunch of wow. disposable income related wow, fucking furries dragon. what they are. My the chat is disgusting. They stink and they try to waft the rafters with it. Wow, that's I'm tired of it. That's um My chat are the kind of people who if you're trying to record a video will fucking crop dust down the hallway laughing about it. That's those that's, people. That's so They'll do that. So they mean. know why. So mean. It's not mean. It's the truth. So what do you think? You really feel <laughs> with these stars? Should I make them heavy? Heavy. They're at 420. Bleed. Oh, because bleed is still B scaling. I feel like doubling the bleed build up is kind of the whole purpose of the blood star fists. These benches, most furries in general. Yeah, a lot of them. I'm still waiting for my turn. Where's 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 my life with with fucking disposable income? Where's that? Well, the other furry's got money, and I gotta be broke. Some bullshit. Uh, so, blood start. Well, let me, hang on, let me respect. So, if we're dropping out decks out of this build, and we're gonna be a ball man. Oh, why don't you just put the... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, though. Be not I would but They're both at fucking 83 bleed, of course they are. <laughs> why would they, why they be? 73... Get a hat dragon and get on YouTube. I've been uploading. I got videos. I got clips and I got live streams and I got uh, a, like a duel, like one duel video because the game just connects me constantly. So I can only manage to get one. Fucking so come on now. I've been doing content. Way more content than normal. Even even Cowboy can, can fucking attest to that. At least. Yes. Let's see. Last week. Not last week. They're there. I've, I uploaded something yesterday and the day before that. <laughs> Live streams on YouTube? No, not yet. It's a breach of contract. Yeah, you have to basically be willing to tell Twitch to screw off if you're going to do that. Well, and they still pay me, so. Yeah. I need the, and I can't, I can't risk it yet, guys. Can't do that. Point six nine times one point one eight times point one point eight. Uh, we want to get one more 
duel in and then I'm gonna head out. Uh, sure, give me one second. I'm just seeing if I can make a math thing here. I think I need 83.5. Thirty-five. Okay, so we're gonna take strength up to fifty-five at least. We're gonna leave Dex at base. We're gonna do vigor up at sixty. Um, can I get strength up to eighty with this? Wow, parried twice in one match. All right. I think I need more than fifty-five on this. Okay. Hey, do you get the two hand bonus when using claws? I don't uh, know. I don't know. Probably. You two handing a weapon, I wouldn't yeah. imagine. Uh, cool. Alright, well, sure. Let's do this. <coughs> I wanted to hit him with the Royal Knight's Resolve, but he just kept Bloodhound stepping, so I ended up just parrying him twice out of his Bloodhound step. <laughs> I love the uh, when people run Ansper Rapiers against me, like I don't know every frame of that weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? I invented that shit. Yeah, like... I guess I could do Bloodhound Claws just for chits and giggles on this. Just as like a backup. I'm, I'm pretty sure I ran into a guy who was using the, the level 9 builds fashion with that as well. Oh, really? Yeah, he had the Bloodhound's armor, but the Mushroom Cap. And I know the Mushroom Cap makes sense with those weapons, so it's not like I blame him for that. But that was like the exact thing I was running. And I'm like, so this dude just said, yeah, this, but 125. <laughs> Let's do it. Fucking go. Dude, the head so him in one shot. <laughs> the heavy, the star fists are just straight up better than the heavy iron ball. Like, in every way. Yeah. They have blood. Even even making them both heavy, they're going to hit higher AR at 474. Yeah. Well, shit. I'll just keep those at heavy, and then I'll make the other ones, like, frostbite or something. Yes. Okay. We doing this? Yeah, hang on, I'm coming. Part time. What do you got? 469. Yeah, I guess that could work. Then I have cold balls and I have bleed balls. Bleeding heavy. Because I don't know if it I makes sense to make them. Four, 474 or 411. Bit me in the groin and then I got bleed balls. 469 sucks, sucks. or. You ever been bitten the nuts by a dog, chat? That shit sucks ass. I can't say that I have. Nine out of ten times, they go straight for the groin. Peggy Hill was right. Because that fucking dog picked nine out of ten. And they got me. What type of dog was it? Oh, fuck. I think it was a boxer. He was outside of his, the house, and I, I thought he was like... I was a kid, and I was like, oh, man. What are you doing outside the house? And he just kind of looked at me for a minute, and he just, just ran right at me and jumped up, bit me in the nuts. Ugh. And I it's was usually, like, oh, uh, that hurts it's real fucking a, bad. It's usually how a dog gets put down. So I punched him in the nose, and he kind of, like, backed off, and I went back inside, and my pants fell a little bit wet, and I was like, oh, fuck. So I went to the bathroom and took a look down there, and I was bleeding a little bit from my nutsack, and I still got Yikes. a scar from it. And that was a real fun conversation with Dad, too. That was great. Hey, Dad, your dog bit me. Oh, man, where at? My nuts. <laughs> <laughs> my nuts are bleeding, Dad. I, I don't know what to do about this. And my dad's like, oh, well, okay. All right, Tox, uh, I'll, come, I'll come duel you so you can leave. And then he was like... 0.879 is the magical number, by the way. 0.879. Yeah, if you're trying to calculate medium rolls. If you're trying to, to hit medium rolls and you're using Earth Tree plus three as well as Arsenal, you can just multiply your Oh well yeah. Or divide it by zero point eight seven nine. Just all of them yeah. pulled together. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh. Tox throwing up all of his buffs before a duel. I've never seen Dude, that. Dude, you look before. at John. No, 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 no. Look at you rolling. I don't want to hear. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Good to go? No, I'm not good to go. I'm putting up my stuff too. 
should have had that in your quick bar. <laughs> <laughs> really? Rude! I'm not oh, even is ready! It, is it rude to hit people while they're buffing? I didn't know. Uh, oh my god. You're that you're that thirsty to get a get a win? <laughs> Go ahead, heal up. Unbelievable. See, I actually have class. <laughs> you would just keep fighting. And you have in the past. Yes. Come here, you big dumb bitch. Oh, we're doing a Roma, are we? Okay. Oh, alright. Yeah. This is... Everybody cue his theme song. JoJo music, here come. <laughs> yeah, fucking rot his ass. Yeah, I've already cured myself. Over yeah, that. rot him. Make it stupid. Box two hand. That's not bad. You can't hit me. <laughs> oh, and you also can't hit me. And you're gonna run out of you eventually. No, I got flasks. I have a hot take. What? I think it is. And this is this. No one, no one likes this opinion for some reason. But I and I've had some people agree with it, but not a lot. But I think in duels, your mind is your mind, and that's what you get. If you can't chug heals, you shouldn't be able to chug blue. Well. For a mage, though, you'd have to have, like, a 170, 180 character to have I said mind. what I said. All right. All and right, I man. stand by it. It's, it's, I'll just chalk it up as a bad, shitty April Fool's joke. Uh-huh. I mean, GG. Sat back, <laughs> spamming <laughs> fucking dragon breath. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, Tom, hey. Way, Good. Way. I've, had, Good. I've had better fights with... Good. with. I've had better races with paraplegics <laughs> than that fight with you was, okay? You just hey. made yourself slow as shit in a sitting target, and then you got mad when I backed up. I'm not saying I got mad. I'm just saying for somebody that wanted a duel, it sure seemed like you were finding the cheekiest shit possible to secure a win. It's in my build. What do you want? I guess you must be pretty salty after I clapped that ass last week. Mm. Mm. Oh, you, you got parried and put down like the dog that bit Dragon's nuts. Actually, that dog got away with it. Go on, you know what? Here, summon. How, or better yet, better yet, Tox. How about you come? How about you come into my world? How about you put down your sign? That that dog. Oh, already, already closed Elden Ring. Oh, oh, already closed Elden Ring. Okay. Go I duel mean, in the. Uh, go do it. I feel like it. it's just kind of pointless, just beating you over and over again. You know. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you want to go hang out with Ron, go for it. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna, I wanna, uh, alright, have a good one. Later. I like the juxtaposition between the differences of, of me and Cowboy talking shit about duels and him and Tops talking shit about duels. That's one of my favorites. If I beat him and I make fun of him, he's like, yeah, yeah, fuck you, whatever. That's his shit. Because he knows I'm better. He knows it. And when it happens with Tox, Cowboy gets real fucking pissed off. <laughs> I mean, he literally every every duel we have. There he, it is. Yeah, yeah, there, but, yeah. Listen, it wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> if if it wasn't for the fact that he'll summon me in, he'll hit my sign, he'll walk thirty feet away, and then he'll put up like six buffs and be like, "I'm ready to fight." And it's like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I fucking hope so. Like an overlord over here. Oh man. Well, he, you know, hey. stat investment. All right. You don't have to let him buff. I, I, I don't let people do like five buffs. That's what I'm saying. If I summon him, that shit would not work. That's true. Man, this guy makes a sense. Look at him go. Hey, yo, Claymore. Hey. I'm proud of you. Hey, that's... That's a proper night build right there. Look at him. Look at him go, dude. He's... Clint using the claymore and everything. Look at that. Hey, it almost worked too, but you know. 
Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm very much of the mind that it's one and done. You get one buff. And it'd be one thing if, if I came in and Tox looked at me and he casts his first buff and then I start going at him and he dodges me and gets off a second. It's the fact that he, he summons me and then he retreats 40 feet away. So by the time I'm loaded in, he already has all of his buffs up. That's what gets me. Uh -huh. I'm just like, why, 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 why are you like this? Well, souls, baby. Souls, yep, that's it, souls. Souls. I don't know, man, you can't. At this, at this juncture, look, at this juncture, you can't complain when you're running fucking max points with fucking bleed weapons. I'm just man. saying, there's a lot of cheeky shit in this game. There's a, a lot of, that's putting it mildly, yes, there's a lot of cheeky shit in this game. Wait, why do I have 17 decks? Oh, because of Millicent's prosthesis. I butcher that word every time I say it. Prosthesis. Pros and thesis. Prosthesis. I've seen a lot of people using that shield. This shield? No. Yeah. Because it's the best small shield in the game. Yeah, is it? You know why? Because, because you get all of those resistances. Yeah, the resistance is mm -hmm. a lot of people using that. Bleed, I rot, kinda... poison, frost, sleep. I mean, there's no other, like, there's a couple shields like, oh, this one does, you know, robustness. So you're going to get uh -huh. a little bit of bleed, a little bit of frost. But right. this, this boosts everything. Right. And I think it, it compare, it's com comparable in its boosts to the, uh, to the ones that like just boost two. Right, right. No, I get that. I understand it's got that. It just sucks because I keep looking at shit. Looks like yeah. It's Rivers and the man who we know of. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh man, get it off. that you get it off. Uh oh, we got it. I was that was uh, close. I think if I if I didn't get caught with the super stab bleed there, I think that drop attack would have had him. Yeah, you're always gonna get caught with super stab bleed though. Yeah, Frost, probably. Not Yonata, baby. It's gonna it's gonna happen. It's it's a good good spear. Cause here's cause here's the deal. This is what happens there. If they proc the bleed, he didn't do it right in that that particular instance. But they proc the bleed even for you all. You're stunned just long enough for them to just L2 again, and they will catch you because of the length of that spear. So they get another 78 to 80 to even, you know, full on bleed again by doing that. So again, it's like it's like madness. They're just catching you with a lesser version of madness, but it does more damage and leads yeah. up and even all that. It's the same thing. <laughs> Which is why that is unfortunate. And I, I, if you're watching right now, I'm sorry if I'm shitting on you, but I think that is one of the most brainless ass things you can do. And that comes from somebody who's using a lesser version of it in invasions because invasions don't have rules. But if you're doing it in duels, I gotta, man, that's some that's some brainless behavior. I don't, I don't. It does not take. Where's any the fashion souls? Whatsoever. You don't like this beard? Look at this beard. Just using the bull goat, right? Yeah, I think it looks. I, I, I think it looks better than Havel. I've never liked how Havel armor looked. I prefer Havel. I don't, I don't really like the new. Super Havel. big DK. Whoa, there's a laggy boy. against an instance like this. Oh, I, I, well, first thing I'm gonna do is take on his furled finger first. You need to be more in his face. I mean, 
It's just the Thunderbolt spam. I need to space him away from his host. Or that'll happen. See, this is why I don't do invasions. It's just like cheeky shit like that. They're hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fighting fighting the the great sword guy that was that was one thing. But then, oops, I instant killed you with my thing. <laughs> cool, you, you got me, man. Now you know what I'm dealing with, baby. And I win most of the time too. So I well, know there's a reason I don't I don't do invasions. It's I, in general, I do not think invasions are very fun. Well, you're also not doing, like, it, it, you really need to do invasions pre-100. You can't really do, it, invasions after 100 are pretty garbage. Like no. this. Well, to be honest, this isn't exactly a great area for invading either. This is becoming a very popular, like, fighting spot, not no, a, This uh, is a duelist build, too. I wouldn't invade like this. Fucking I I would not invade with this at all. What did the ruptured crack tears do? You put on two of them, and then you run at somebody, and then they die. You know what I would do? I'd put on that one that turns all ma all all non physical damage into healing. If you're gonna invade. Yeah, that one's pretty cheeky. It's so would, weird to me that that's not in the fucking description. Like, how hard would it converts damage? Re how hard would it be for it to just say converts non-physical? Like, you go, however, physical damage cannot be converted when you look at it. But in the, the first item effect, like, would that yeah. be hard? Converts non-physical damage. Yeah. I'd use, I'd use that on... Um yeah, I'll let you let you face tank mages and shit. I gotta put off my Moon password. Veil too. Visions are hard, but nothing is more satisfying than killing a two v one or three v one. Yeah, and I have a tendency, and this is stupid of me, Jester. This is very dumb of me. I have a tendency to go after the summons first because I like I like to watch a host panic when their buddies are dead. See, I I do that too, and it usually doesn't but, work out for me. The problem with that is Elden Ring, in one minor instant, you're dead. Because you got stun locked into three different bleeds and it's just gone. So all of that toying around and fucking around now just cost you the whole invasion. And that has not really been the case in the other Souls games. So it could, it's if, it could be a frustrating experience. Level frostbite pokies. And I'm dead. Wow. Original. Who would have thought? I never. Yes, bow. Great. <laughs> like, is this what the dueling scene is? It's just people using one shot combos? Some of it, yeah. Like, why even bow? Why even, like, ah, oh, yes, I used my thing. And, that, like, it'd be like, a, I don't know. To me, I know, I get it. That's not, it's not an exploit. But I'd feel the same way if I used carrying retaliation. And then it was like, good fight. Like, no. <laughs> it wasn't, though. <laughs> it was a fucking terrible you, fight. You could have rolled that. Well, once you the thing hits you, me, it's, you're, you're done. Once it hits you, it's over. Yeah, I get that, but you could have rolled that. Yeah, coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't. The point I'm making is, is you you get too aggro in your head in this game. You're gonna have to watch a little bit more. That's just, and yes, again, you're also dueling at 150, and there's gonna be people who have gone up to like 175 just to fuck over people who went to 150. So it's just it's just gonna be that way. There is a reason that the 125 people exist, because they're tired of this one-shot bullshit. They're just tired of it. I'm surprised y'all even go that high, because you can do most of the same shit at 125. I feel like y'all should be at, like, 100. Yeah, but you get punished a little bit in certain stats. And you can also actually kill those people. But at 150, it becomes even harder to do that. They have more options at 150. Especially if they're using, like, 
I mean, it's it's not even the insane damage, Cody. Because when he was fighting me with the spears, it was one thing. It's it's the it's the swap to the glintstone poke to guaranteed heavy. Mm -hmm. It's the guaranteed, essentially instant kill tech. This guy probably has the same fucking thing. Pretty much anytime I see somebody now that's using like a claymore, I'm like, well, I know what you're probably using for your fucking Ash War. And people at a and people invade around 80. I don't know if people duel at 80. I haven't seen people. I mean, there's invasions at every level. Yeah, really? Glintstone, Glintstone poke, honestly, uh, it doesn't have any right to do the damage it does. That thing should hit for like 300 damage, not fucking well, it's, 800. It's, it's it's another example of a weapon art scaling off the weapon and then just not giving a damn and doing it. It's, yeah. it's, it's the same thing as carrying retaliation. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's a all, weapon all art of that. Like, carrying retaliation needed a buff because getting 300 damage off of it, that was a little measly. I think like five, five or six sounded good. It doesn't need to do 2,000, obviously, but. It does more than that. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to start putting stuff into int to really see it high. I don't know, man. <laughs> I've seen plus 25 shields just fucking. Oh, yeah, here's. I think, um, I don't know if somebody's shit was glitched, but I think the highest I saw was, um, that fucking Lich Dragon. Someone hit it for 9k. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound I was like, right. yeah, well, all right. <laughs> Green television, baby. You just need three invasions? Yeah, you don't even have to win the invasions to do that quest. You just you can just leave. Yeah, you can do them and leave. You don't have to. You don't even have to win them. You can invade and then immediately hit finger sever and come back home. And you're good. It is unfortunate that there is a PvE quest that involves PvP for connection reasons. That does suck, but that's just the way it is. I mean, you can you can get to that zone without like honestly, the only thing that you really get for doing that invasion is you get to the zone early, and then um, you get Vare's Rose Mace. So I don't think you can invade him without doing the quest. Oh, so there you go. In terms of PvE, that's the the only thing you're missing out on is a, a hammer you weren't going to use anyway. Damn, you're running, you're running out of people. Dude, none of the summons are working. This is why I'm usually doing it with talks, because we'll just sit there and people will come in. And I don't gotta, like, refresh signs and wait. Uh, so I'm gonna just get to it. But yeah, I know. I know you can get a somber ancient dragon. That's why I said you can get a plus 10 early. But you can also reach that zone without doing the quest. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Where is... Why can't I get nobody in here? I don't know. That's weird. Moonvale is hardly the most annoying weapon. Right now, it's Rivers of Blood. It's that's, it's, that's the most annoying weapon. The, the the strongest... The strongest weapon right now, I think, is the Cross Naginata. You're going to have to have two of them. Double, double poke Cross Naginata is... Probably the strongest right now. right now is probably the strongest. Where where do you think fingerprint great shield ranks? I don't really I count that more as like a build strategy than I do an actual weapon. Yeah, I mean it is. You have to have what forty eight strength just to yeah, use. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean that you're gonna. It doesn't matter what you're using as your weapon because the actual shield itself is what's carrying you. But that's you fine, need a but... better internet, Edgar. You're watching a live stream that's being pushed out in fourteen forty. With zero lag, and you think my my internet is the problem? No, it's fucking Elden Ring's netcode. That's what it is. That's how it is. What's the other guy talking on this stream so I can follow his YouTube? He knows as much as Calgary. Ooh. Took that charged heavy to the face. There you go. Did you win one? No. You did not. <laughs> I thought you you did not. Never mind. It was going okay, but that sort hurt. You're pushing too much, man. You I know. Gotta, I know. Gotta... I am. I don't do. I don't do this. I just do I like casual. Well, what PvP. do you think? I'm, hey, hey, I'm here to give you. I'm I the know. Man. I know. I know. I'm just saying. I'm like, the man. You can't. You can't expect much. Okay. 
I, I can. You gotta I can. Ex I can. Gotta, I can take take your expectations and tone them down like by about fifty percent. I hope we remember this conversation when you want to act like you're better than me in this game. I hope we remember that exact phrasing. I hope we do. Hey, but, I I would like to point out. Um, I am a walking Wikipedia for this game at the moment. Okay, I I have that is my. Be a fucking is, Wikipedia. Doesn't make you good at PvP. Mr. Sat there a couple months ago talking about how rusty I would be because they added jumping attacks. Okay. All right. Maybe I overestimated your rustiness. Hey. Okay. That's fine enough for me. I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad we can admit that. But my point is, I'm giving you solid advice. Just try and take it. Man, people really like using that in PvP. The rock. Oh, the fire. Oh, so the fire rock. strike, yeah, it's a good it's good for like Oh, because you roll through the flame and you get caught by the swing. It has it has very um PvP. Are they not viable in Elden Ring? It's pretty safe to use. And it also it also covers people's advances. Int builds are are fine. They just uh they, I mean, spells in general right now are iffy to begin with because of carrier retaliation. They're they're boring. The answer is they're boring. A lot of people are not using in builds because they're boring. They really are bad. Listen, man. All right. If Who's you, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Okay. Who's yeah. saying you're bad? I don't Hold know. On. Some, someone chat. Listen. If you, if you have come to this channel to learn how to beat a boss, do not talk about my level of badness. Okay. It's not my wheelhouse. I am a teacher. He do, he I'm like, do I'm PvP. like, listen, you got to think of me like the coach, okay? I'm the one who's going to uh. teach you how to do stuff. That doesn't mean, uh. that doesn't mean I'm going to be scoring all the fucking, the baskets, okay? I'll teach uh. you how to score the baskets in the, 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 the PVE NBA tournament. PVE. NBA let's tournament. Let's, let's, let's emphasize my, that. My, my PVP days peaked back in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, they were real peak, getting your ass kicked by every other content creator. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I had very few content creator battles back in the day. That explains where we're at right now. <laughs> that explains a lot, but all right. I really wish I could coach you on this, but you can't seem to... I'm just... I, I don't know. Elden I just Ring's don't... Fucking, it's not you. I'm saying Elden Ring's netcode's not giving you a fucking fight. Yeah, that, that's another problem right now. It's, it's, yeah, see, now this is why I'm, I'm frustrated because I can't do my normal content because of what you're looking at right here. Because that's what I used to do. See, that's, that's, I, I know I'm being too aggressive, but yeah, that's just how I play. Take a second. No one's, think, no one's bitching, Alyssa. Think. They're talking about that smooth brain fuck on Twitter. <laughs> I muted that guy. I was getting notifications today. That man has been arguing after being muted by me. He has oh, shit, that same dude. He's still fucking going. Hey, I don't say this normally because, you know, it's normally like a joke. But if you're watching right now, please go touch some fucking grass. Please. After No one cares. After 24 hours, this man is still in replies just da -da 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 It's pretty pathetic. I, I don't know. know. I don't know what's more impressive though. The fact that he's still going at it a day later or the fact that when I initially metered him, he continued on for Eight straight hours. That's impressive. Eight straight hours. Like, you have a tweet from when I muted him, and then just like a laundry list of like tweet, 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 tweet. This man just. That's that's this, this thing. I want to try this in PvE. I feel like I'd beat some bosses up pretty hard. I think you and I should collaborate on a video for basic PvP strats. That's what I think we should do. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I can make a man out of you. <laughs> okay, calm, calm down, Mulan. We don't need to go. <laughs> if I could train Cowboy to be good at PvP, <laughs> I could train anybody to be good at PvP. I, 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 I really... 
I want you to be my special project. <laughs> yeah, is that, is that it? I want to be like those fucking drill sergeants in the army who get passive aggressive instead of yelling, and they're just like, you're my special child. Why are you standing there and type shit? Like, instead of making you scared, they just make you feel stupid. I want that all day. I bet you do. You're my special child. I'm just too Why? I'm just too aggressive. And I feel like with a build like this is a build meant to be aggressive. This whole build's idea is like no. I get in your no, face no. and smack, isn't it? This is a build that will allow you to be aggressive when they are moving away from you. But they have to be in a situation where they can't take advantage with a weapon art or with a poke. You can't just run so should them I, down. So should I keep Raptor Mist, or should I just drop that? Is Raptor Mist just not good? The Raptor here? Mist is kind of fine. It depends on the Raptor Mist is good when they want to fucking get in your face. Don't walk up in Raptor Mist. Don't do that. But oh, I need to get a fight before any of this fucking matters. I, I know that's that's part of the problem here. That I, I you're actually disconnecting more than I've seen anybody today, and I'm, I'm starting to think that Elden Ring is having a problem right now. Um, no, but this is a build that can make mistakes or trade with its melee up close and not have to worry about it too hard. That doesn't mean you can rush them down because everybody else still does pretty good fucking damage. So just for me to be aware of that. This build allows you some freedom. It does not allow you to walk and face tank everything. At least if they're using something meta. If they're not using something meta, you could probably beat their ass. But if they're using like those... Of course, then again, to be honest with you, if, you use, if they're using the double spear combo, you're dead. There's not a whole lot you can do about that, but other than parry them, but... Yeah, hardest boss in Elden Ring is the netcode. Second hardest is gravity. I have a good one there, Turner. Yeah, freedom to trade when the time comes, yes. And we'll give you that. I don't think my trades are even that high. They will be when you proc the bleed. Yeah. I'm just not if getting you're, fucking If you're emotions. attacking at the right time, you'll be proccing through their rolls anyway. So. Which right code now, is Dark Souls 1 some... netcode was just laggy more than anything. Building yeah, in the same place and not having any problems. Chain. I mean, maybe it's... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not. It's not working for me. Resetting the remedy. I can try that. We just spent more time. I feel like looking for invasions and fights, or, or duels, or whatever. Welcome to my life. No, my favorite is the blue glitch. That's my favorite thing so far. The what? The fact that when a host is wearing the ring that summons blues, uh, uh, it actually fucks the connection pretty bad because yeah. it's constantly searching for them. And uh, both their summons and you will start disconnecting. And it seems to have a cascade effect because I have watched many summons that seem to be totally fine. And as soon as I got there and looked at them, uh, <laughs> They start bugging out and then they disconnect and I and I know I've only got about maybe 20 seconds before I disconnect from the host too. It happens every single time. Every time a, a, a summon fun. starts disconnecting, that's what happens to me. Every time. So I rush down the host as quickly as possible because maybe I can kill him before the netcode kills me. <laughs> maybe. Then I have two enemies. The host and the system. You do a beast build? Oh, nah, man. Just look up the bestiality build on YouTube. <laughs> it's, a, it's a super OP thing we, we found the other day. Yeah, yeah fucking... It's, it's 100% <laughs> agree. <laughs> that uh, shit fucking wrecks, man. <laughs> He's got a combo called the Donkey Show. It'll blow your mind, man. It's so good. Oh, uh, so ridiculous. <laughs> Poor dude. I could put on a password and just try to do viewer duels or something. Maybe there's uh, just too many signs over here. I mean, you're probably gonna get hacked if you do that. And it's not like this is in a backup save. 
I guess that's true. But the laughs, I don't want to look it up. There's there's this dude who he uploaded a a beast incantation focused build. Um but <laughs> the video <laughs> Oh do go on, please. <laughs> the, video, the video opens and he's all like What's up guys? Welcome back to another Elden Ring build video and today is a build all about beasts. This is my bestiality build. <laughs> like just dead serious, not understanding the connotations behind it. And he's like, this build focuses around the bestiality dagger and all of the bestiality incantations. And it is truly a beast of a build. And like immediately people in the comments are like, bro, stop, 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 don't. And like the guy, he had to like update, like he changed his thumbnail, he changed the title of the video. But like the damage is done because you don't want to pull your video down. And now it's just the bestiality <laughs> build. And that's not even going into the fact. He was like, this is, this builds uh, 267. And, and, and we, <laughs> he just has like, just like, just like stats that he doesn't even need. There's points in and like shit maxed. And I'm just like, this is, I don't know. I, like, part of me feels like this is supposed to be a fucking parody. All right, chat. Passwords PVP. Come to Lake of Guild North, and we'll see if it works better. Level three eighty-seven. <laughs> Level three eighty-seven. Level three eighty. Sit the fuck down, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spam things. <laughs> I was actually telling Tox. I was like, if we if we were gonna do a parody of the overpower PVP video today, would have been the day. Yeah. Make it as like an April Fool's upload. No, what you'd have to do, you still have to get. I don't, I don't remember who it's from, but you'll know immediately because he's like, "This is my bestiality build." <laughs> he's so, there's so much excitement in his voice, and I could tell he like, he was really excited about this like beast combination. I'm pretty sure he was abusing like RKR to boost the spell damage too, or something like. It's it's just a hot mess, man. It's, but you know what? I gotta admire his passion. The guy, ha he's definitely passionate about it. The idea of. You know, his his bestiality set up. Being passionate about bestiality, you know. It's certainly a passion. There's certain countries I guess you can do that in. <laughs> <laughs> this build is illegal in America. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Alright, I'm gonna work on I'm gonna watch my spacing. Does he have the Giga Chat face? I need to. He kind of does. It's hard to see under the helmet. You could now. You could have rolled there. They don't stun lock you there. I probably didn't even try rolling. Now you need to roll a little bit. It's certainly something. Bestiality build. There is nothing wrong with resetting to neutral. Nothing wrong with that. This guy's gonna wake up and wonder why his video suddenly has like a couple thousand extra views. <laughs> I mean, he, if he comes in the stream, I would tell him, like, what, no, the build should not be that high, too. You should not use exploits to try and showcase a build, because it's silly to, to I mean, in, in my opinion, it is not only kind of pointless, but it's, it's actually kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's like aimless to upload something that you know... Like, hey, this is this cool build I made using a mechanic that's intentionally broken that will not last and is going to get nerfed. Check it out. Like, that's... It's like, why would you, you know... Because if you know it's going to get nerfed, and especially if you know it's a bug, it just seems like a weird thing to even upload to begin with, you know? That's a good time for that. See that chase down there? Give him a little bit of that. And then back off a little bit so you can see it coming and mix it in. That was a good trade. 
now would be a good time for throwing. He's level 370 in the build. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, and that's, there that's you go. the level you 370 never... thing. To be fair, I didn't understand that concept when I first started making build videos either. So, you know, I, I can... am of the I am of the opinion that if you're going to showcase something for a community, you need to do some research into what that community is. You do, but as, I mean, as a new YouTuber, you might not know that. And it looks like he has a, a you know, a smaller channel, and he's probably I just think, getting. I don't think game. that comes into play. I think that's normal, common knowledge between yeah. people. Like, I don't know. I it's. I mean, as, I as a variety creator, I didn't really look into I other stuff in the Dark Souls until until after the fact when, you know, I was like, I need, you know, it took a while before I actually was like, I'm going to learn more Why about this. Why am I this. getting these fucking comments? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that last fight, no, seriously, that last fight, you did what you were supposed to do. It wasn't clean, but it's what, it, what you were supposed to do. This is a good trade, because it's not the Navi Nada. I need to get blood out and stuff, so it's really bad. <clears throat> good trade. Yeah, it's not a good trade. Seems like you're always on the cusp there because of your damage with these people's vigor, so I would I would pick up some throwing mines at some point. Well, that's what the Beast Roar swap was for there. There you go. There, see, look, you did it! You poise through. I don't know what they. The damage was a little bit low there, but you did it. Look, you did it. See? I did it. I did it. I'm. You, you're winning duels. Look at you. Level three eighty seven. Level three eighty seven. <laughs> Sit down, yeah. kid. You fucking idiot. Level three eighty seven. I wish I could quote the rest of that video, but I cannot. I have four different sets of balls I on my hate, hand. I, I fucking hate your chat so much. I hate the chat so much. I have to look over. I see you win two, 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 two duels, and it's duel god. <laughs> god, the Naginatas hurt so bad. Oh, they sure do. I told you. That's so stupid. It's all. What do you even do against that? Just parry? Nothing. Pray? The only thing you the only thing you really can do is the fingerprint shield. That's about the only one. That's where you yeah, you just die. <laughs> uh oh, you lost dual god status. I lost no dual god anymore. You yeah, can but parry honest, it? honestly, no, you shouldn't I mean you shouldn't use exploits in your gameplay in general, because you're just relying on something you know is gonna get patched, but showcasing it in a build I mean, it, it's like, it's putting all of your effort and work into something that's going to be invalidated in, like, two weeks. Yeah, and if there's one thing of just, like, trying to show people the exploit, you can do that. You'd be like, well, guys, check this out. This is a thing that needs to get nerfed. Yeah, like, like Fighter, Fighter did that. Does. Fighter put up a video that was, like, you know... This uh, sucks. Eclipse Shuttle is, is fucking broken. Bandai needs to fix this shit right now. Right. And it was, like, that's, a three-minute, like, look what this does, fix it. Right, not which like, is not, this is my new uh, super instant death build. Let me show you all how this works. Like because yeah, it's you can not. count on this because it'll be here forever. If it's not, it's not gonna go. Exactly. Do that. Oh boy, I rolled backwards into that instead of forward, and that ended very poorly. Hey, yeah, you like this cap? You can get it right now. Get your own maidenless hat. That's true, it is for sale. Don't tip your cat. Don't Cowboy loses, you. didn't happen, he's the dual guy. Uh -huh. dual, dual guy. Uh, I don't know if the fists are... I don't know. I don't think this is, this is doing it for me. You you also have to use a thing for more than ten minutes. That's that's. that's well, I mean, how, I've been I've how, been working with this build for like an hour and a half now. I'm just I'm just not sure if the fists are <laughs> as aggressive. I don't I don't know. I don't know if they're meeting the mark for what I wanted. Is this a different person named Giga Chad? No, it's the same person. He doesn't have the helmet anymore. Dude, it's been an hour, not ten minutes already. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. 
practice. Uh, get a slow walk on. Oh man. <laughs> oh, dude, super Got him. You're doing it. See all that slow walking gets you? You talk shit, you get hit. That's what it is. Don't fucking slow walk on people. Go, dude, man, go back to fucking Telegram. You want to RP with people. Get the fuck out of here. Telegram? Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm, I'm waiting on the dude in the chat. Go fuck yourself, Dragon. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting on it. <laughs> Walk up like that. You guys better be careful with the chat. You keep throwing around that duel god shit. And one of the actual duelists from this community are going to be like, What's this fighting cowboy dude says he's the duel god? Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to go get some views. Let me go snipe this dumb motherfucker. <laughs> no, I think I'm and pretty well. I mean, I don't know. I think you I'm guys in well chat are just going to have to start. Point. You guys are just going to have to start sniffing up on some copium after you watch Cowboy lose fucking a best of nine every single time. <laughs> That's all right, Cowboy. You'll get him next time. <laughs> Ha ha ha. You're still my, you're still my favorite content creator. Oh, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> what comedy Dragon has. You were, you, were, you were definitely known in the community, I will say that. You were definitely known. You know that, that tweet I made about, like, stop shitting on new players? I had people uh, making videos about my tweet. Yeah? That's, that's intense. I've never seen that before. That is intense. So, all right, it's a duel, but he's he's doing the magic shit. Does this mean I'm allowed to just magic parry him, or is that a no? Hey, it starts with ruin. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, parry that. Absolutely, that's free damage. Just using stars of ruin in a duel. That's that. Yeah, parry that for sure. That's what I was using on my, uh, on the walkthrough prep build. The scavenger sword, or did you use the other one? Uh, by the end of it, I switched to scavenger. Because you make it cold, okay. you get the same scaling, but you just add a little bit of bleed in, which for PV is obviously great. Mm -hmm. But this thing is, because the, the, the cold makes the damage comparable to, to wing. Um, it just works well. I mean, if you don't want wing of a stealth, double cold scavenger sword is obviously great there, too. Well, yeah, scavenger is very good. It's the best, one of the best curve swords in the game. One of. The double parry looks fun. Yeah. Yeah, I did get a double parry. I was happy about that. They must have been very upset. The summon and the host being parried at the same time. Yeah, I think adding bestial sling into this seems useful. Sure. I yeah, know. I'll finish dudes off. Bestial string is really good, so. The whip would function greatly on this build. <laughs> it would, I mean, but... I'm not necessarily sold on the fist weapons, so I could... If you start using the whips, I'm gonna make fun of you. I'm gonna have a piss, I'll be back. Two videos about you. The video in response to your tweet was cringe, pedantic over the. Yeah, no. I mean, the guy was civil. Who's who's chasing you for clout? Who is this? I don't know. 
You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to think of that later. I, I don't. I mean, I, I literally don't even know the guy. I've never heard of him. They made a oh. hole. All right, look. You can use the whips, and I will not make fun of you if you don't use Bloodhound Step with the whips. I wouldn't do that. No. All right. As long as you don't do that, then we're cool. Spells aren't allowed to do it, but stars. It's my first time doing PvP, I don't know. Uh, anything that basically gives free damage. Um, and it's not about it being allowed in duels, it's just something I, I find it particularly weird because it's you're going to get free damage if the dude is not a football field away. You literally can't dodge it unless you're using Bloodhound Step, which is another problem. There's a lot of Oh no! I think I'm dead. So like, to me, that, that felt like he parried too early. I'm just bad at. at Timing and oh no, that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, because like it seems like he parried and then I attacked. Yeah, but, yeah. That's I guess that's that's soul. That's soul's game. In general. It's not like no, he got you. That was a beautiful parry. Comet Azure is OP. He's a low level no. and he makes a balanced video, but he missed the part in the first video. The second video was a response from the clap back in the comments on his first video. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm just tired of the discussion, honestly. Like, just who cares? There's yeah, people that are gonna be relevant to you, like, you know, like, like, what's okay? So what's like? Your tweet was stop shitting on new players, right? Oh, well, well, so the the point of contention was, I basically said like, listen, you want to use Comet Azure and you know infinite FP and kill something? Congrats, it's still a win. You know, right. you, you still beat the boss. You know, right. don't, like, uh, if somebody's bitching at you saying you're cheesing, you know, don't let someone devalue your win. Who cares? And people are like, well, that's, that is cheesing. I, I think that's cheesing. And so it, it turned into a, it, a lot of people got into that part of the discussion. It stopped being about, you know, like, people were like, well, I agree with his sentiment about not shitting on new players, but this is cheesing. And it's like, why, stop. Like, that's, that's missing the whole point. Like, like, the whole point was that you feel the need to call out other players for doing stuff, and that's... It's PvE, who gives a shit? Yeah, right? What's like, who, who cares? I don't give a fuck. PvE. Yeah, what do you care what people do in PvE? Who gives a shit? I do not care. And that's the that's the thing that we saw a lot, is, is a lot of people are... They... Well, no, but but it is cheesing. It's like, why does it matter? Why does it matter if, if you think it's cheesing or not? Why, why do you... Because cheesing... The word cheesing has a negative connotation to it. And so that's yeah, but the those whole... But those same, those same people watch, like, the spiffing Brit videos, and they're like, wow. I yeah. love it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that's that's what I think a lot of people aren't getting. It's like, even, even if you want to argue over the semantics of what is cheesing and what is not cheesing, the fact of the matter is, if you see someone using Ashen Summons or Comet Azure or a weapon or whatever the case is, and you feel it necessary to be like, hey, you beat it, but you know, that's, that's cheesing. Just so well, you know, it's like, you it's, put, like, you're instantly, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, mo the moment yeah. you put restrictions on PVE, the moment you start doing that, uh, you, I mean, when, when does it, it's like, that's the, that's the slippery slope fallacy, right? Because yeah. someone could be like, oh yeah, you used Comet Azur and you cheesed out the boss. Uh, and someone's like, no, actually I didn't. I used the, uh, Claymore. Yeah, but did you do it at level one? Yeah, like where, where does it stop? You know, yeah. Where does it? Yeah, where does it fucking end? It's a PVE experience that affects no one but the actual player themselves. Why do you give a shit? You know, honestly, it's just a, what, a, what a fucking waste of time. Like you're not affecting anybody else. We could put all these fancy rules on PVP. And we could talk about what's rude and what fucking isn't, or what's overpowered and what isn't, because it affects other people. A PVE experience doesn't affect anyone but the dude doing it. So who gives a shit? If you beat the game at level one with a fucking club, good for you. That's great. Upload it. Make some fucking money on it. But don't act like the dude who just started playing Elden Ring and hadn't played any other Souls game can't be excited about killing Margaret with a blood weapon. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Because who, who gives a damn? That's it's stupid. That's, it's, and that's the thing, is a lot of people get... They, they are... 
It's so- it's so weird to me, because people are getting upset that no, newer it's players problem. are celebrating victories, and they don't- they don't feel no, those victories are valid. their game. This and that's- and the, that's- that's ultimately what it comes down to. And I think the- the ironic thing is, honestly, Souls has never been hard. If you want to really get into it, uh, know. you know, you've had- you've had- <laughs> No, but for real, like, if you look all the way, look at, there There have been ways to almost instant kill, but like, like look at, uh, uh, Yumfaha, or whatever, I don't even know how to say his channel's name, it's like Y-F-A-H-M, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, guy comes up with builds designed to literally one-shot any boss in the game. But there's a ton of work, and a ton of conditional requirements that go into those builds. Yeah, you gotta go and get those things, it's yeah. like... But so is that cheese. Well, I mean, he's because he's one shotting. He's one shotting the boss. No, yeah, who cares? He's one shotting the boss. If the boss is dead. The boss is dead. He didn't get he to used... experience the boss mechanics. But there is so much that goes into that. So does that still fall into cheese, or is it? Well, you know, Comet Azure is really easy, so that's cheese. But what he's doing is like it's, it's too much of a slippery slope, and ultimately, what it comes down to. Is people should just not fucking care. Just let people play it's however they want PvE. and yeah, celebrate their victories all the same. It doesn't affect anyone else. We can talk about PvP all day, but it does. But that's that that comes into affecting another's experience. And if it's PvE, it doesn't fuck matter. Who gives a shit? I just don't understand that. And that's again, it goes back to it's our game. We're the ones that play demons on the PS3 and blah blah blah. Who the fuck? Fuck you. That's that's really? what it is. That's what it is. It's people that are upset that, and they're the same exact people. And I know this for a fact. They're the same exact people who will go, oh, uh, you know, I really wish people would would play Souls games and understand what it is that we're talking about. I really wish they would do that. They just make those comments and then get mad when it actually fucking happens. Why is whoa? How is this person running in place? That was weird. Hey. I'm lagging out. Yeah, but they're not special at all. I have a friend of mine, Chet. His name is Saiyan. And Saiyan went to New Game plus 69 in the first fucking Dark Souls. Did it, scale, did it scale past New Game plus 7, though? No, it doesn't. Okay. But he did it, but he did it all the way to New Game 69. He beat that game with a level 1 build 69 fucking times. Okay, that man doesn't lord shit over anyone because he knew at a certain point you go through the motions of the muscle memory and it becomes just as easy as making fucking coffee in the morning. That's all it is. And he didn't fucking sit there and go, I'm the best goddamn player the world has ever fucking seen. No, he went, yeah, look at this dumbass thing I did. This was stupid. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> and that's it. You was, can was be the, good at something without being a gatekeeper. the reason for the 69? Just his uh, funny number? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He didn't actually know when he was going to stop, but he had already done like 40 of them because it was just easy for him to stream them and then just keep doing it over and over again. And people just kept watching it because they're like, why is he doing this? <laughs> what is the point? But you can be good at something without being a fucking elitist. And I say that as a PvPer who is an absolute fucking elitist. Yeah, Dragon's, because... Dragon's more elitist than most people I know, but see, he doesn't act like a prick. I as well. Well, not in this circumstance, he doesn't act I like I act prick. like a prick when it affects other people, but when it comes to PvE, I don't give a shit. Some dude, some dude was like, yeah, Elden Ring's my first Souls game. It took me 87 tries to beat Margaret, but I got him. I'll be like, good job, man. What'd you do? I used the... Uh, infinite points my buddy dropped for me. <laughs> and then and I fucking annihilated it. Oh dude, that's a six drag. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But when it affects other people, that's when I get upset. When I know something is unbalanced and stupid people get away with dumb plays in multiplayer, that's when I get upset. Because it affects other people. But a PvE experience, that doesn't affect anybody. No. Nope. If somebody one punch man the whole game using cheat engine, do you really care? Does that bother you? No. It's not even. It doesn't do anything. You don't even see it. Yeah, it's just him doing his thing. Fuck him. Who cares? Cowboy is an elitist in HMR to Dragon. What is? 
I don't, I don't even know what that is. Hunter monster rank or something? HMR. Yeah, I don't know. It's a YouTube term. Are you are, are you saying that he's an elitist about how big his channel is compared to mine? Is that what you're saying? Probably. I've changed, well, man. Million subs changed. Yeah, once you hit a million subs, like we stopped being friends. Yeah, changed. I remember that. Monster Hunter Rise? No, he just liked a big dick on Monster Hunter Rise, which is multiplayer, by the way. He liked a big dick on Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, because he needs cheap wins for his ego. That's that's the only reason that was there. Wait, cheap? Wait, what? Monster Hunter Rise? Mm. It's not competitive. It's just the man who puts his DPS on a fucking mob. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought like that was a good setup, Harry, but it wasn't. You sat there playing that game going, come on, Dragon, keep up the DPS. I'm doing it all. And you're going to sit there and talk about how it wasn't competitive? Are you seriously going to sit there like that? My fucking ass. Oh, yeah, and by the way, he had 200 hours more into the game to grind shit out than I did. Yeah, man. He was tearing it the fuck up. Yeah, I feel like doing, dude, because I like the idea of the Raptor Mist thing. I feel like whips would be good here, because I don't have range. So, as long as you don't release the Bloodhound stuff, you can do whatever you want. But if you do it with Bloodhound Step, we can't be friends anymore. No, I don't. That's I don't even like that's... using Bloodhound Step. Well, there you go. Oh, but even idiot that was telling people to go to Limgrave and drop down to a ledge and start summoning people for PvP. Only, I actually saw a video of somebody trying to do that, and the dude saw him and he jumped off the cliff and did a mid-air, mid-air dragon breath and fucked the kid over. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that was. I was like, oh. This is good. Did I back up this save? Before, after getting the all the armor and shit? I think I did. Let me make sure though. Mule 916, I did. Awesome. What's wrong with whips and bloodhound stuff? Just cancer? You're unpunishable. You're unpunishable and you get bleed off like nothing. I mean bloodhound step is unpunishable anyway, but whips can't whips can't even be fucking uh can't parried. Be parried. They can Yeah. They're They're right through counter. shields. Well, they won't. They, they will they. The status will go right. The status the will, yeah. The status yeah, like will. they just don't care. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying. You can get your own hat, Danny. <laughs> now available. Well, I've seen this before. Y'all gotta really stop using that bubble in PvP because a single bestial sling pops that shit. And yeah, then the bubble's you, not very good, guys. Then, then you're looking silly. Information to infuriate my friend. You well, need, aren't, aren't you, you a need fucking to peach? Go level vigor. How much is shipping to the EU? I have no idea. But you can use coupon code Fighting Cowboy to get 15% off. My man put 80 points in the fucking arcane. <laughs> <laughs> no vigor. I'll, t I'll tell you what, though, he gets drops like you've never seen. <laughs> that man's item discovery is through the fucking roof. We made a good video for a strength incantation build. I mean,. Not really. I mean, the strength builds, all the strength builds I've done, <clears throat> I don't know. Just thematically in my head, when I play dex, I think fast and zippy. When I play strength, I think zug zug. And if you're going to go all zug zug and unga bunga, you need to put a shit ton of points in endurance. And if you put a shit ton of points in endurance, you can't really put a lot of points in mind. Like even here, we have 24 mines, 124 FP. It's enough to like... And I still think that's too much. Summon Tish and... That's about too it. much. Tisha is really good, though. Yeah, but that's too much. Base, base mine gang for melee builds. Base mine. Oh, more than a hat with a million subs. Someone's got to have art skills to make some sick merch for you. I've actually been talking uh, with Crow Smack for a bit. I think we're gonna we're gonna do something, but he's been just as busy as I've been, so we haven't had a chance to actually like link up. I keep getting parried. I'm lucky you were late on yours, Dragon. You got any ideas to get past the parry? I'm sorry, Dark Leader. I don't actually know what fight that was. Uh, oh, a lot of times, got Ichimonji. A lot of times, people who are looking for a parry, uh, if you just run up in their face and wait like a half second and then attack, you you'll they'll fuck up their parry. That's that's a good way to get around that. Is that Meteoric Blade? Does it just have the default Sekiro moveset on it?
Because that instant Sekiro vibes. I had not seen that before. Damn, he got you. Best katana in the game. I, like, I kind of like his fashion, too. It's the, uh, the, the moon? And I gotta yank one of these out and fucking try it out. It's fair, I'm mostly a speedy strength person. The R2, yes. I'd never look. Every time I looked at that, I was like, oh, this isn't even that good. But the idea of vacuuming people in and popping them with an Ichimunji, that's actually pretty cool. You're not gonna hit, you're not gonna hit that. Just let me have this. You're not gonna hit it? I don't know what to do. All right. You wanna know what's really, please. really disappointing? Morgoth's Cursed Sword. Super disappointing. Even max level, it's just dookie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Ash of War has like a five second wind up. Doesn't even deal that much damage. It's just. It's pretty decent for a chase, though. I've. I've. I mean, but why would you use it over Bloodhound's Fang? When you, you wouldn't. Get, yeah, you get 200 AR extra on Bloodhound's Fang. I'm pretty sure Bloodhound's Fang is going to get nerfed in the future. I mean, it's a phenomenal weapon. I don't the think thing, it's going to get nerfed anytime soon. The thing that makes sense but... to me is the AR on it. The AR is, like, on my quality build, it's it's the only weapon that can hit higher AR than Bloodhound's Fang. Because it's scaling is lying. Was the, um... Uh, God, what's it called? Um, the axe from Horalu. Godric's axe. Godric's it's axe, and that's why you're two-handing it. It's a, it's luck as it's lying. You can fight this guy. Yeah. And then I died. It's your munchie and Ash of War. It's just a, a thing. Be a good Ash of War PvE for dual Godskin Peeler Dex build. Uh, probably Flame Spinny to Winnie. Black Flame Tornado for PV is pretty nutty. Yeah, let me try making the- let me try making this a whip build. I don't know, the fist weapons are just... Eh. They're very eh. You know what's a fun weapon right now? Fucking Moog Spear. It is, weapon. it is fun weapon. That Ash of War is slow as fuck, but it's Yeah, but, in, but invasions, it's not too bad. If they want to chase you down, oh, if yeah, you can you get it off, get, get, get into a hallway, dead. dip into a corner and pop it, and everyone dies. They're fucking dead. Yeah. And that is a great feeling in invasions, because fuck invasions, dude. No, I need to make an arcane build, but I'm waiting on the patch so I don't get too fucking OP. I don't want that. Because <clears throat> can you imagine what I would look like if I was using the cheesiest shit in this fucking game? I'm you sure. Just imagine that. I'm sure it would be good. Anyone keeping Man, track I... of wins and losses? No, because these are against random. Why, why would about? it? Why would it matter? He's not fighting me. He's not fighting one singular person. He's fighting his uh, viewers. But who cares? I need a second Hoslo pedal whip to do this. Chat, who has a Hoslo pedal whip for me? I've got one on my level 9, but my game's not open. I'm gonna open the game. <sighs> I mean, I could just max this out and then drop it for you and then reload. Unless somebody you can't, has. I'm on my level 9. True. My level 9 is the only one that's got that whip. Someone in my chat dropped it for me. It was like, test out the whips. I was like, ooh, whips. And then I went, this is broken. <laughs> this is this is some bullshit, and I feel bad for using it. And that's coming from the dude who was using ant spurs. All right, I'm going to go pee. Somebody um, somebody summon me into the their world, and please give whip. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, chat, he's away, and I'm still smoking. But I'll be done in 30 seconds. Now... Is the time for you to do the AMA. If I ignore your questions, <coughs> it doesn't mean I ignored it on purpose. I either just chose not to answer it, or I was leading into a better question. You're just going to have to deal with that. But right now, he's having a tinkle. So it's time for you to ask away. Ask away, chat. Take a look. Dragon. Plan on getting normal love on your 
uh, YouTube fam to your YouTube. Well, I, I, I uploaded videos. I did it. I up, What do you want from me? I did it. I uploaded one hey. last night. What do you want from me? You make CB a better PvP player? Uh, not without a lot of practice, but but we could do it if we really wanted to. We could do it. Dragon, what do you plan on playing next? I don't really know. I'm probably going to stream Tavern Master because I need a break from this game. <laughs> and it's, it's making me go fucking crazy. Slowly. It's putting me in the worst headspace. Hardest boss in Elden Ring, in your opinion? It's probably Millennia, just because of her regen. It's not even her moveset. Her moveset's not that bad. Her Just her regen is... It, it just counters the shit out of, like, poor strength build users. They just die. It's so bad. Um, Dragon, your PvP vids have been fun to watch. Not a question, but I appreciate the comment anyway. Dragon, can you explain the story in 30 seconds or less? Yes. Uh, there were some dragons, and they were having a lot of sex. And everybody was like, whoa, stop that. And so they made a big tree to make them stop having sex. And then the big tree was like, I need... Uh, to pick a waifu and another guy and so they did that and then after that so this one lady off base this one lady was like you know what would be cool is nobody died so she messed around with the tree and then ba boom they were done and and that's what that's what started the game there you go so gotta go kill the furry who took the 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 rune of death and you're good to go that's the story <laughs> that's that's the story Tell you. me I'm fucking <laughs> wrong. You can't. I can. That's, Let me go that's here. I'll go. I'll, 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 I'll go. Uh, I'll go over Bloodborne story real quick too. So, a couple of DeviantArt characters decided to be in a video game, and they were werewolves in trench coats with guns. Uh, and they said, "My OC is really fucking cool, and I really love Lovecraft, and so let's make everything look real spooky." And um, they did. And this one guy in a wheelchair got really mad about it. So we started talking to one of the old gods. The old god was like, I, I, I don't like furries either. And so then they, they created the dream where furries die a lot. And that's, that's, that's the story. Enjoy. That's Bloodborne. So these are DC. It was longer than 30 seconds. Oh, well. Keen, heavy. These actually look like they're a quality build weapon. Dragon, what's your favorite build? Uh, fun ones, like rot or poison, but then again, I mean, I'm just gonna say quality build because you need a lot of stuff. <laughs> Name the top five meta PvP builds. Oh, you got it. Uh, Rivers of Blood, uh, Fingerprint Shield with Madness, Blood Build, Blood Build, and then Cross Naginata Blood Build. There it is. That's the meta. Enjoy. So this will go to DDC. What about if I make you blood? You would think if someone talks for so long, it starts to make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, does, it doesn't work out that way. What's the best build at 125 for a PvP and PvE experience? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. No. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, but. no. Those are different. Those are different things. It's like asking, "What's the best sports car that's also going to be able to fit my four kids like a minivan?" Yeah. Uh, the Ford Focus. <laughs> Eighty-six point nine. Is it thy Is it true that all the characters' names start with G R M because of George R. R. Martin? Uh, no, that's actually incorrect. But it is true that um, Berserk was one of the worst animes of all time. Don't, don't start. Don't do it. <laughs> don't he do just it. started laughing in the fucking don't background. Fucking do it. He just started calling in the background. <laughs> don't you do it. I know you want to. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. God, that was fun. 
Oh, shit. I'm getting two points out of that. That's damn near blasphemy to say. And to Cowboy, definitely. Cowboy loves that thing. I do not, but... Uh, that's just me. I don't really like anime in general. Does Arcane so. help the buildup of all status effects? I don't have that information. I don't use Arcane builds because they're broken right now, so I don't even know. Can you actually uh, sniff and scratch the sniff at the bottom of a pool? Yeah, you definitely can. Mm, it smells... Yummy. <laughs> Do you think it makes sense to make both of these frost blood whips, or make one frost and one blood? I honestly would just go with both of them being blood. Just no frost? No. Does it make sense to do blood to get up to the 83 or just stick with the 50? Honestly... The whole... I mean, it's not gonna be easy to hit people the way that you're thinking it is, but... When you trade, you wanna trade good. Bleed. Bleed, bleed, bleed. I'm just telling you. Balls deep on bleed, huh? Bomb balls deep on bleed. If you're asking what's the most effective use, then it's bleed. Mm. Without a doubt. Sorry, man. Gives me D, C, and D. D, nuts. Oh. <laughs> a fucking funny dragon. God. So funny. Oh, my God. Every oh, time God. dragon makes a nuts joke, I... Almost Sorry, that should have been a myself. I'm gonna fuck your mom joke would have been a lot better. <laughs> what up? I love those. They're my favorite. I know you do. So I love the, the mama Xbox. jokes. I know you mama do. Mama jokes are the best. 14. It costs 14 to do this thing. So, let's see. At 90, that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 uses. What balance yeah. changes would I give to bleed? I would lower player damage across the board on damn near everything. I would lower status bleed. Uh, I would lower status build up on literally everything, literally all of it, and put it more in line with Dark Souls 3. I would also, and I don't know how I'm going to do this because the way they've set this up, this net code is not great, but it would be really great if we didn't stagger through a status proc, even if it didn't hit us while we're rolling. That would be cool if we didn't just stagger for no fucking reason, even though I dodged your attack. That would be cool. That would be that would be neat. But I don't think that's gonna happen, so what I do think they need to do is lower across the board all status buildup. All of it. Every bit of it. That's what I think they should do. Two, one. So that's 399 on them. 99 on them. Would you guys want the next FromSoft game to be back to the old Soulsborne formula or stick to the open world format? Like no, I brain? want something brand new like Sekiro. Thoughts on loot being underwhelming because of crafting? Um, Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what? Thoughts on loot being underwhelming because of crafting? That's what they said. What? That doesn't make sense. What, how is crafting. One, loot is not underwhelming. Two, how does crafting of anything? I don't even know what that question means. I do not particularly like crafting in this game. That's my personal opinion. I know I'm not a big fan of crafting. But again, uh, I'm a PvPer, so I just that's just more work for me, and I don't like it. Um, the whether or not it's an open world game or a regular Souls formula doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I would s somewhat prefer the older formula to an open world but they seem to have done open world kind of well finding a melted mushroom instead of a weapon i mean <laughs> yeah but you're it's see it's not it's not a a b comparison to previous games because the amount of loot in the world is significantly more way 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 more like you can't oh you mean finding it like on bodies and shit being crap instead of a weapon well i mean you can't just like what do you want them to do? Make 700 weapons for each body? Like, that's not, that's a fucking nightmare. They're not gonna be able to do that. So they put in some junk. That's all, that's been in all the other games. All the other games have junk. It's, 
I mean, finding a, a, a rune one in the mountain place kind of sucked, but other than that, like, I mean, it's it's just, I don't know. Though some areas felt like filler. I, I don't know. I, I feel like you get through them so quickly. See, that's the problem with the Souls games. They always feel really big, even this one, until you start realizing where everything is, and everything shrinks significantly in your mind. I mean, it's very this, overwhelming this at first, still feels but... pretty fucking big. Well, it shrinks for me because I realize I'm just going to skip through all of it anyway. Because I Any uh, weapon suggestions for strength decks besides Bloodhound Fang? Literally anything. Yeah, anything. It's a quality build. You can you can pick anything you want on a quality build. Aside yeah. from like something that you need to use like fucking faith for and use it. Yeah. That's that's the whole point of the quality build is you're getting the freedom to like switch weapons on the fly. You want to have two curved swords that do bleed? Great. You want to have a giant fucking hammer that smashes? Great. You want to have Bloodhound's Fang? Great. You want to have a halberd? Great. I had by the end of the let's play, I had four weapons that I would regularly swap between. I had the Bloodhound Fang, I had the Great Stars, I had my Halberd, and then I had uh, Godric's Axe. Oh shit, I have the bubble on, don't I? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I don't know if you guys know this, but r slash place is back up. r slash place? Yeah, they have a new one. I've been watching it for quite some time now. What is r slash place? r slash place is a online community art project where a giant billboard is being made. One oh, the, 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 Reddit, the Reddit the Reddit thing. Yeah, I saw a thing about like place your thing. You put in one pixel and then it gets overwritten by someone else's pixel, but people are like, it's it's a big giant group of things that people are making as like a giant group. So... Are they, is it just dicks? Some of them. Other ones are... Uh, there's an Elden Ring one on right now that actually has a jar. People are trying wow. to make it... Dude, came in, came in hot. Someone is trying to draw a dick. On Alexander, but it's not working because they keep fixing it. So it just you know keeps happening. But you're only allowed to put down one pixel every five minutes as an individual. That's all you can do. And then watch the chaos. And then watch as the rest of hundreds of thousands of people are trying to make art on this thing. Oh, that hurt. the passwords pvp only got you yeah his whips aren't doing much maybe you're doing the jumping attack with him jumping attack mm. with him is pretty good mm, i don't think uh, it's kind of slow to come out i'll try it jump. some more mm -hmm. jump again jump attack pretty good mr whippy Sure. That sounds stupid? No. It's a it's a look into the internet. It's like an art piece. It's amazing. I think it's just Reddit trying to drive user interaction, but yeah. I mean whatever, man. I think it's great. There are stories to be had here. Wasn't that Godfrey's axe, not Godric's axe? Yeah, what whatever. The big the late game one, not the shit early one. You're not getting bleed procs with them. I'm not, you're right. You will with those jumping and things. Hey! It's not like an interesting concept. Well, it's happened before. This is just not the first time the place has happened. And, uh, that was an interesting experience back then. Uh, the place has happened again. It's 500 whatever damage right there is a jumping attack. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's just looking at the sheet and seeing they're only 400 AR. I'm just like, ugh. You yeah, look at clown on that dude. What do you do? He didn't have a lot of vigor. 
fucking true, but yeah, still ain't shit. Sounds stupid? Fine, don't participate. I will watch the stories of the internet unfold in front of me. There's hundreds of thousands of people from different communities try to carve out their corner of the internet on a fucking canvas. People not struggle. Use shields? At 60 bigger, but they do. Well, oh, that'll do it. Hey! Yeah, don't. Don't use source seal. Don't, hey, don't hey, try, hey. don't cast. Don't try casting. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't want to have to spell parry you again. I'll do it. So help me God. Don't make Cast that more so I can casually walk to the side and it misses Standing in that, it was kind of dumb. Oh. Beastling! Can we must unga booga zung zug? You can't do both. You're either, either unga booga or you're zug zug. Saying unga booga zung zug is like. Saying I smash, smash, smash. Like it's just, it's. Don't need it. Y'all should not put your signs right on top of the grace because it makes them really fucking hard to grab. Should like, see how that guy's is not on top of the grace? That makes it easier to grab. What are you playing on? Uh, this new platform called Maidenless. You can get I'll it. I'll buy the hat now. Buy the hat now. Well, coupon. Put in Fighting Cowboy. To save fifteen percent on your entire order. You can save fifteen percent on getting a hat with maidens on it, and then people will stop you in the mall and say, "Hey, Dark Souls." Do you play? Do you play that I game? I play the Eldans. That's cool of you. Wow, that mage. <coughs> I don't know why. He thought he was gonna trade. That was that. Was, see that? The problem there. You shouldn't have traded that. You got it. I, I have the armor. You do not have the armor. That's, and you had the flask. And and that, yeah. That, you could uh, you could have you could have been naked. <laughs> <laughs> it would not have mattered. You had the flask. Uh, you gotta wait that out, guys. See, it told you whips, man. You just. Well, that to be fair, that guy tried to just. Yeah, but you did. That damn was. I did. I did. No, crossplay is cross not Crossplay is not getting enabled. That's not a thing. You can play PS4 with PS5. Much to my unhappiness, but you can do it. Um, why don't you just, if you can't get a PS5, why don't you just get a PS4? I have a PS4. It's fucking damn near broke. Oh. Uh. Arcane, would it be better to have more bleed build up or higher damage on a weapon? What do you mean? Like making a weapon dex or putting bleed on it for an arcane build? Is that what's what is what exactly is the question? Because if you're playing an arcane build, making a weapon blood is gonna give you some arcane scaling. Yeah, that's what you want. The alternative would be a cult. Which you'd only do on targets that are immune to bleed. I'm gonna have to do something. <coughs> it's Solaire. Thank God I only have to go up to plus six. Thank God. Revenge! Just Arcane on Netflix? It's pretty good. You could, have avoided, you could have avoided so much damage there. Yeah, I know. There's lots in this game immune to bleed. Final boss is immune to bleed. I'm pretty sure gargoyles are immune to bleed. 
think the gargoyles are immune to bead. I see. I mean, they're gargoyles. Can you can you bleed something made of stone? I don't think so. There's a there's a phrase I'm pretty sure around that. Yeah, they're immune to status effects, so you can't bleed gargoyles. <sighs> Squeezing blood from a stone, something like that. Yeah, something like that. You can't bleed. Something, you can't bleed the gargoyles. You can't bleed. Uh, final boss is immune to all status effects. Um, trying to think. I don't think you can bleed the. Uh, the uh, the falling star beasts. Pretty sure they can't bleed those. Yep, they're immune to hemorrhage and frostbite. Uh, yeah. So I mean, there's there's stuff. Can't bleed the pope. Who's the who's the pope? It's ability made for the walkthrough prep. Good to use a ability guide? Hey, sure. Death right birds? Probably. But you should be using holy damage on them anyway. Hey! He's got a bow. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, get I see you using that thing. Pretty sure I can just hold a small shield out and block all of your damage. Yeah, I can. That's sad. If you jump while he's in, while he's firing. He's in sleep right now, so. Yeah. Oh, my bleed didn't, didn't bleed. This is definitely probably the most inventive build I've seen. It's all right. Captain Crinkle's got me. Well, that's because you're playing against a bow in a really dumb way. <laughs> I mean, also, I hate that name. That is the worst name. That's the worst name. name. That's, that's the one. I just, yeah, that's a really bad name. I feel like I need, I need, a. Uh, I feel like I need something to, uh, um. Yeah, G no, it's G absolutely GG. Yeah, I just no, I just, I need, I need a chase down on that. I don't have... Whoops can chase. Got jump attack at him. Uh, I mean, well, that that playstyle. I don't know what I could have really. He, he would just wait for me to attack and then jump shoot. And that's you got. You got to bait it out, man. GG, bro. I've been working hard on your bow build. Yeah, was, that's good. Why do you call it that? Why do you? Why do you do that? I do not like that name. Multiplayer symbol me on the map. It shows activity, but we're not sure if it shows activity for your level range or if it's just overall activity. We don't know yet. Yeah, I wonder. I'm kind of curious how that bow build would have done against like the fists just chasing and punching. Oh. <laughs> what? That Malekith cosplay did not go well. Oh uh, no, no, it did not. <laughs> oh, shit. I just don't think I'm gonna get you with whips. I think I need something that's more of a chase down weapon. Because the other option is like try to trade as you're attacking. I've told you how to deal with it. Listen. 
How do I do? With the bows? Walk up in his walk up in his face. Get him to roll. Jump attack. Proc through bleed. You have the timer. I told you. God, I hate that man. Have to roll twice to see advance. I feel like these are just not favorable. Well, that time I got the bleed. twice against the sword dance. I thought I did. He did get you, GG. I did, GG. He got you. You were taking some hits you didn't need to take, but... Oh. I don't really know if this build is going to be what I want. I think I need to, like... I don't I'm know. not advocating for the build. I'm saying that... I just think, I think, I think part of it is I like builds that are, I like having flexibility, whether that's, you know, multiple weapons because of quality or, I don't know, I just don't feel like this is, it's just not getting it done. Huh? I don't know, maybe, maybe have this and the fist weapons, just two. You know, two opposite styles of play. Two different styles of play. You cannot backstab with whips. No, you can't do any critical sort of attack with whips at all. Because the whole idea in this build is just to create a poise monster. But I feel like if I'm gonna poise monster, I should just pick a big fucking hammer and do like RKR and then just bonk. You could do that. If the build isn't good in 10 minutes, it'll never be good. <laughs> I think it's just like, you know, you look at, look at like the builds I've done so far and it's like, here's five different weapons for you. I think that's the problem. I'm like limiting myself right now to like, I have, I have bleed whips and I think I need more than, I need more than bleed whips. But I'm trying to stick with like light weapons to offset the crazy heavy armor I'm wearing. So we tried. You know, we tried the daggers that just, I don't know. The daggers were okay, but they weren't really hitting what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say earlier. The only build that I could fight you with is my Karnian one. Otherwise, all that it does is magic damage. So as long as you pop that flash, so it's like big trouble then. You're a good slash weapon for strength focused builds. Uh, I mean, maybe? I mean, in general, slash the, is kind of a beast. Beast cleaver? Beast cleaver is okay. I mean, really, none of this matters. I, I, I hate to break it to y'all. I mean, yeah, scaling is a big deal and it helps, but a lot of this comes down to move set, whether or not um, you know how to use them. I mean, the, and it comes, you know, you could do slightly less damage than the guy next to you, but if you just roll catch him constantly, I mean, they're dead. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Maybe I need to like shift the paradigm here. Make like a strength build that's not all heavy armor. Man, you remember back in the network test when strength builds had equipment weight tied to strength? That was cool. It also would have been broken. Every single strength build would have just been thick as shit. Yeah. Which I think would have been nice. Ooh. No, the, we, he's got another thing with the Ansel Rapier. Dark Leader, he's, he's got that. I'm dead. Here. Yeah, catching a full Vike weapon arch to the face, that'll uh, that'll get you. That'll do <laughs> that'll do it. Could have finished you off too and he didn't. What's your opinion on new game plus cycles being not as fun as previous games as it's just a horseback simulation? That sounds like a you problem. You're running through the game because you know things, but Yeah, like you don't also you don't have could also to. Be yeah, yeah. You your could, second character. <laughs> you could not run through the game. You could, you know. That's a that's a decision you're actively making. Envoy's Longhorn is amazing in PVE and hot doo doo in PVP. Double it? Guardian sword spears are not as good as you think they are, the editor. Yeah, I they're think okay. One Guardian sword spear is, is good. Double, the double move set or the the, the power stance move set for halberds on running attacks is not very good. I mean, just the the hal the halberd power stance set in general is not very good. It's very slow. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. It's just not. It's just not very good. Um. There are no Elden Ring Tears of Denial. I mean, there's a flask effect that's kind of like that, but... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there's no... Is this a double Senpuku? I'm not gonna let you get the second one off. That's, that's why you level your bigger, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Friend. Who are you in chat? Listen to me. <clears throat> Listen very carefully. You cannot run around PvPing in this game with fucking. God, what, what? That had to be like 20 vigor. That had nothing. 700? I think that was the second hit I, I did on him. But yeah, it wasn't, wasn't good. Can't, you can't do that. No, he is not using cheat codes. The other guy did not level vigor. <laughs> cheat codes. Oh my god. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> There's them cheat codes. You need to not use Sword Seal after level 50. It is not a good idea to use Sword Seal after level 50. That's not, it's not good. Sword Seals are for low level twinks and only low level twinks. Do not use them above that. The damage in this game is insane. Taking 15% more damage from another Shit. player, oh God, oh God, you're a dead man. Pick it up. I don't have the fucking thing. I keep forgetting this build does not have Bloodhound stuff. I'm gonna put it on claws and have them as a secondary weapon for when whips aren't working out. Oh. Why are you using whips? Because I already have Raptor of Mists on my whips. Just duplicate it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Dude, just, just duplicate it. Let me, let me see what else. No, do. I want to be unpunishable and have iframes <laughs> okay, through okay, my attacks okay. and my other and my recovery. <laughs> okay. I want to be able to not be punished for being bad at this game. That's my name, Fighting Cowboy. Okay, calm, calm down there. That's me. <laughs> Check out my guts build. <laughs> You're such a prick. I'm not. You fucking doing this. <laughs> you know what it is. All right, I don't. I look, you know, 
I, I, I make fun of you a lot, but I know you're not that dumb. You know Bloodhound stuff is a problem. Okay, 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 okay. You're going to hear it from me all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only time I use Bloodhound Step ever is I put it on the Misericord and switch it over when I have to dodge fucking dragon attacks because they're broken as shit and ganks. That's the only time I ever use it. And I really, and I would be okay tomorrow. I would be 100% okay if FromSoft said, that's a prank, and they removed that art from the game entirely. Or they made it cost like one fourth of your health to use it. I would be totally fine with that. No fucking way. Yo, if you want to farm runes, you can do this thing just called playing the game. Yeah, the game, the game will throw runes at you like crazy. The g beginning feels a little starved, but then you start getting into the last stage, you're like, oh, okay, everything drops like a thousand. Yeah, late game, you just have like an infinite fucking supply of them. And they go all the time. You're a big old hair thing, Jack. Got a big old hair. Yeah, one of those. Where'd you get the? <laughs> Damn, who did your hair? Thick boys versus thick boys. Thick boys. the best invasion spots wherever you feel like invading all right I'm gonna get you here we go oh no not the lightning Seems like a fun spacing combination. Hit them with whips, don't get parried for it, and when they walk away, yell at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good there. <laughs> get, get fucking mad. Like, <laughs> quite a Stop spacing me! <laughs> Quite, quite effective, I think. <laughs> What's the best spot in the invasion spot for level 125? Reduvia? I wouldn't use Reduvia 125. I wouldn't do it. I mean, it, I, you could invade in the capital probably at 125, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. Rithuvia is going to get you in trouble. Parry City and uh, Karium Retaliation can parry that weapon art. Just no. He's throwing some, some lightning. He says, yeah. You yelled at him. He's got 
to eat some food. Guys, stop using that bubble. It's not good. Man, Beastor is kind of Beastor, kind of nuts. It's okay. You know what his best line? Was the just the knockdown <laughs> in the air? Uh, Phantom Slash on a Scythe wouldn't do that. In fact, I wouldn't use Phantom Scythe at all. It's cool, but you want the Sword Dance on Scythe. Tell you what, Beast Roar, it feels like this is getting pulled together more now. It's it solved my spacing concerns. Yeah. I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. Now I install Beast Roar to counter all the River of Blood Shoals. It's a thing, you can do it. So I'm trying to find like <clears throat> names I have not seen. New meta yell. It's okay. Beast Roar is alright. But I have a feeling that a lot of the people that he is summoning currently are not duelists. I have a feeling. Welcome to the casual hour. Talisman to enhance yelling. I don't have that, but I should. It's it, You're super close to it, aren't you? You just have to go into the mines right over there. And, uh, no, I have it. Stop that. Put up four fucking buffs, Jesus Christ. It's like Tox. Tox all over again. <laughs> It worked the first time. I ain't gonna work again. The bike's not over yet. Cowboy V2. Ah, uh, he's just a real webcam. I don't think he needs to be a V2. Yeah, no, I have a nice webcam. I'm the guy who's more likely to become a VTuber, and uh, let me tell you, that's probably not going to happen because VTuber, bad news. I just, so the thing I responded to on Twitter, like in the last few minutes here, with somebody who was confused about my follower account, was trying to see if I had a not safe for work artist group. And, uh, yeah, if I became a VTuber, that would be much worse. Because people are like, I like you. You dragon, you dragon, a cutie boy. I want to see pictures of him naked. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take them jeans off and send me a picture? <laughs> sounds like a uh, sounds like fun. I am not kidding. How often that happens? Because they well, because there's like furries that'll look at my profile and they'll be confused as to what I am. They don't realize like I'm just a fucking streamer. And they'll be like, oh, he's got all these followers, but he's a furry. Is he Is he an artist? No, he doesn't post a lot of art. Oh, maybe he does, and it's like, not safe for work. I better find that. Let me, let me Google that up. Mm. Or a medallion. Or maybe he writes fanfics. Oh, I gotta look for that, too. 15% on Beast Roar. Last to heavy and charged attacks after using War Cry. Oh, I see you naked. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I ever told you this, cowboy. Mm -hmm. There was a dude. You've, you've heard me a long time ago. You heard me say Gorilla Meat Horse Money. Yeah. That I was Gorilla Meat Horse Money. That name actually comes from a YouTube comment from a person who commented on my YouTube, and his name was Gorilla Meat Horse Money, and his question was, what do you think the average size of a dragon's penis is? And then he replied to himself and said, never mind, how do I delete a comment? <laughs> Sounds like a, uh, like a fun guy. That was one of my favorite comments I've ever seen in my life. You know, I never saw him again. Gorilla Meat Horse Money. Never mind. How do I delete a comment? That's 
kind of comment you pinned. Yeah, it was, a, it was a special one. Jesus, that guy's life would be weird. I think he was just fucking around. I very much doubt that, you know. Besides, you're talking to a, a furry right now, hippie. My life is pretty, pretty weird. I'm pretty fucking weird, and I'm very upset about it. It'd be so not, not much better if I was just a straight, normal guy. No furry, no set. I'd rather just not have that. What's the answer? I don't know. Go talk to DeviantArt. They, they seem to disagree on it. I'll pop into for affinity and take a look. This is a fight. What's going on? Sling. Wouldn't mind having a little more FP. I feel like I could probably cut off. I mean, I'm not exactly getting a ton of fucking scaling out of my strength of decks here. What do you mean more FP? You get plenty of FP. You get double what most people have. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> Man. Melee builds don't need FP. Base FP is fine. Base mind. Base mind game, baby. I am a beast or build. Oh, alright. Why are you trying to spread it? Spread them cheeks. Whap. Wapa. Wiggity wah. Tome Silva says, don't want to get too deep into the discussion, but could do research on dinosaurs and extrapolate the size. Tome Sylvia, I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit on that. It seems like you really want to be part of that conversation. Something has been awakened within you to talk about Dragon Dick. You can't just say, I don't want to get into this, but I would look at Dinosaur Cock and try to find the answer. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if that's the same thing, but man. Fridays are wild. You guys have fun on you. Okay, we got it. Hmm? Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. I gotta be awake for the next 12 hours. Yeah, I woke up earlier than I, I thought I did. So what's gonna ha you're, you're sure they're gonna be there though, right? This isn't like a, you're gonna camp out the store and they're gonna be like, sorry, the shipment didn't show up type deal. I mean, they said it would be there. I had a note. There's gonna be a note. We're going over there in a little bit. Just having fun trying to get some more out of me. That's not hard to do. Getting me to talk is pretty fucking easy because I'm an egotistical nightmare and, you know, all you gotta do is talk about something I remotely know anything about and I'll pretend I'm an expert. That's, that's what's gonna happen. You start doing like 70% of your damage? Well, I mean, everyone's spacing my whip, so yes. Yeah, they're not rolling through it. I don't know why. I have no idea what's happening there because I've been destroyed at and I normally dodge that pretty well. I don't know what this is. I think it's people not expecting the... A whip person to use Beast Roar? I don't know, man. They're watching the stream. They have to be. So. Oh, oh we shit. got a poker. Oh, we gotta, he's gonna chase you down. Not a lot of damage. Oh. This, guy, this guy seems a little underrated. Don't carry in that with the damage you did, you asshole. <laughs> that you was saw... more damage. You saw how hard he hit me. Why should I not carry in that? I mean, he's doing Elden Stars. Come on, you want me to not Kari in this? No. Thank you. I don't care what you're doing. But it didn't seem like he... Uh, he's disconnecting. Damage. Nope, he's not. Gotcha. He's running in place. Oh. Kari in bad for netcode, confirmed. You were about to either just annihilate them <laughs> or about to eat shit. <laughs> He's one way or the other. Uh, this is no, uh... <laughs> you guys want to see a magic trick? <laughs> <laughs> about to go down. Oh, he just DC'd. Okay. 
Dude, I swear, I swear to you, right? The same thing happened to me, right? And I was at the academy, he DC'd, and for whatever reason, I couldn't fucking rest at the bonfire. And I was like, what the fuck, right? And I waited and I waited. And then my character just took like 1800 damage and died. And I was like, oh, sick. That's great. <laughs> I love this. Thank you, FromSoft Netcode. You are the best. Probably pull out, pull out your bow build. I want to fight that bow build again. <laughs> oh my god, there's hot singles in my area. Yeah, there sure are. They're like, man, I'm a hot single. In my area. I'll meet you by the wall. But I'm a little bit low on gas. If maybe you could PayPal me a couple of bucks, I'd be able to go to dinner tonight and get some gas. My name's Trisha, by the way. And I've got double deeds waiting for you to give me some gas money. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, real question, Dragon, when did you find out you were a furry? Uh, before furry was a term. I was pretty, I was pretty young when I realized that I had some odd thoughts about some characters I saw on TV. Oh, oh I fucked it doesn't, up. It doesn't seem shared by the community at large. <laughs> that feel when you're out of FP and then you just Drink nothing. The Elden Ring will get DLC, maybe. Who knows? It might. It was about the time that Disney released Robin Hood. I'm not that fucking old. Jesus. I'm older than most people, but fuck. Jesus Christ. I'm not that fucking old. Dragon is a dinosaur. I wasn't sitting around when fucking Walt was alive going, do, 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 do. I don't know what it is about Robin Hood, man. It's my favorite movie. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. Yeah, that's that whole thing playing over and over again in my fucking head. They knew what they were doing. They owned me. Oh no, he's Lucky. fat rolling? No! No, Zilfi. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Man. You can't. <laughs> no. Man. Oh my god. That fat Ava Mile just ate no. shit. You can't. You, do you that. need to have the stats to wear thick boy armor. What's your fursona dragon? Let's. Let's take a moment. It's a crocodile. And think about that. It's a crocodile. <laughs> Let, let's take a moment to think about that for just a, for just a second. I want you to use critical thinking skills to break that question down. It's it's a. What's implying question? You're implying me. Dragon implying my name directly. Persona. <laughs> let's think hard on that. Is it a protogen? Oh, fuck no, please. Jesus Christ. Shut up, Tacky. Shut the fuck up. We oh, okay, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. You fucked up. What's a, what's, what is a protogen? A protogen is a fatty fucking thing going on right now where there's like personas with weird techno pieces and like this eye covering thing because it's easy to put on a fursuit and give it expressions and shit. It's, it looks like a it looks like a really bad deviant art OC of someone trying to make like a So it's Punk like OC. it's like it's, uh, it's like one of those uh who's that that DJ the mouse guy? 
Mouse. <laughs> Kinda. I. Uh, whatever. If you remind me later, I'll send you a. What's the name of the shield? Here. The spirally horny shield or something. That's the whole name. Miyazaki. That's it. That's you nailed it, guys. That's the name of this shield. <laughs> Wyvern, but dragon No, I'm. I, my persona is not a fucking wyvern. Got four legs and two wings. That's not. That's not a wyvern. That's a dragon. Ow! What the heck is a sorgle? It's a shark wolf, and it's also a fad and used by garbage people. They live in dumpsters behind the Applebee's, and they talk on the phone and they all they're like. Ooh, I love it, man. Someone put it in my butt. It's my favorite. Give it to me. I love it. Me be behind the Applebee's hot singles in my area. Damn, that was that was very disappointing to have to do to that poor man. Yeah, dead mouse, that guy. It's like a dead mouse meets furry it's mask. Not, I mean, kind of, but not really. It's a I won. <laughs> you did it. You're I, you're the dual I god over here. It. Dual god. I dual god. Dual god over here. I'm dual god. That was almost too accurate, Dragon. I'm telling you, I've been in. The, I have I have been around this community for a very long. time. I know way too much about furries. And I hate like 80% of them. <laughs> it's just, it's just I hate them. Applebee's is pretty good. Oh, do you, so what happened when you were a kid? Your mom just take like a, <laughs> a, a fucking tire iron to your tongue? Is that what happened to you? I Did will you say, I will say. Hang on, hang on. I, I worked at Applebee's for a bit and I don't think they have it anymore. But back in the day, they had this thing called a quesadilla burger. It was basically a burger just smashed between like two tortillas. Uh, mommy irons the clothes with this. I'm gonna lick it. That's what happened to you people. The dragon is basically the boomer of furries. Yes, that is an accurate. Point. That's what I'm talking about, cowboy. You guys are gross. Applebee's is disgusting. I've been to Applebee's three times, and every time it was trying to appease a fucking client. And they were like, Try the fucking potato skins, gross. Way better than TGI Fridays. Great vibes. I love you, the Applebee's. And every time I got fucking sick, every single time I went home, I'm like, I feel like absolutely. I kind of feel bad. He had his whole America's hammer, and he never even swung at the damn thing. I feel bad. Outskill. <laughs> 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 Got him! <laughs> Fucking winner! You get food poisoning every time Casey you eat. Casey Burger is still I, a thing at Applebee's thing. and it's amazing. I don't even think there's an Applebee's in Nashville, to be honest. Good. Scare <laughs> Nashville. <laughs> Let me see. It's disgusting. How are you going to sit there and talk no, to me about there fucking is. Applebee's? No, there is. There is. Let me see where it's at. Wait, I don't want to get a quesadilla burger. Oh, it's like downtown-ish. Uh. Or there's one in the middle of nowhere. There's there's one out near, uh, what is this place? I don't even know what this town is, near like, Reddyville. There's one going Apple. all the way down near, there's one in Columbia, which is far. There's one at, in, oh, there's one in Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro has one. And then there's, it's okay. Applebee's is the zoon of fucking, Family restaurants. That shit sucks. Dragon Ball restaurants you like then? I like uh, Texas Roadhouse. That's a nice restaurant. Jersey Mike's is okay, but it depends on what you're talking about. Like, are we talking? Are we talking about real restaurants, party style restaurants? Because if you talk to me like party style restaurants, I'm gonna think about TGI Fridays, Bennigan's, and Applebee's, right? And out of all of those, those are shit. If you're gonna talk to me about like breakfast style places, I'm gonna think about Cracker Barrel, uh, 
Waffle House, Denny's, Perkins, things like that, right? I'm gonna talk about those things. So what are we talking about? We're talking about like an actual for real restaurant because I normally go to hell on the wall for that. I don't really go to make a chance of that. I did it! You did all you did. You beat the poker, you did it. You did it. Look, he's walking away, he's so excited. Look at him, he's like, I did it. I beat double Naginata because I yelled at him. Look at him, he's so happy. All right, chat, he's gone. It's my stream now, what are we talking about? I hop is whatever, that's from place to place. It depends on who owns the franchise in that particular area. I hop can be good or bad. So. You like Dave and Buster's? I haven't been to Dave and Buster's in forever. Golden Corral the best? You must be another child who licked a fucking iron while it was hot. Golden Corral is I'm hungry and I don't care what I put in my mouth. That's what Golden Corral is. 100%. Oh, no. Whoever, whoever? Oh, man. Whoever said Golden Corral is the best. <laughs> oh, boy. Yo, Dragon, uh, what's your stuff? I'd enjoy to see your content. I'm I'm the dropout dragon on, on my I, I, and I just Twitch. peed all over the toilet because I was in the middle of peeing at a nice steady stream <laughs> and I just hear Golden Corral is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Corral's pothead food. Golden Corral is that place that you're like. Your grandmother, who's lost all her taste buds, wants to get the early bird special after church, so she just drags her ass there. And it's also one of the few places that continue to just, like allow people to have healthcare seminars. So there's like a big group of people on like a Monday afternoon that show up, and they're like, "Oh, and as you can see with your PPO plan, you can find out that you get the access to your own doctor." Ever is everybody enjoying the meals? We sprung for that. Is everybody enjoying that? So I'd like to thank Dave. Dave's over there. He he sprung out a deal with this franchise so you could all have a wonderful golden crown meal. That's it. That's them. Mm. And these isn't bad, though. No, the joke from Family Guy is the only accurate joke ever, and that is that you have a bad Denny's and a good Denny's in, in your fucking town. That is what so you're you gonna have food. I need to order food, but the delivery time shows an hour. Ugh. Well, we can sit here and talk about it until Dude. you get there, because I got nothing better to do. Do I get a later. hot honey chicken sandwich? Hot time sandwich. Get the hot time. Oh, they have a limited late night menu. It looks like I am getting a hot honey chicken sandwich. Love me some rallies. Rallies uh, is okay, and I know it's called Checkers on the East Coast because I used to live there, and I know I know Checkers is Checkers was all right. I didn't mind. I like the fries at Checkers. Did you guys hear? And you might get a kick out of this too, Cowboy. Did you hear there's an, there was this big fucking article about a Popeye's chicken opening up in, like, the UK for the first yeah, time Yeah, and ever. the line was huge. Right, but all the motherfuckers were complaining that it was so fucking spicy. They were like, it's like putting fire into my mouth, despite the fact that they stole them from the rest of the world. Like, there they are. Cinnamon donut they holes. These sound good. I'm gonna get some cinnamon donut holes, too, because I'm a fatty. Cinnamon donut holes? Yeah, sure, why not? Wendy's is too expensive for fast food. Wendy's has dropped in quality quite a lot in the last 15 years. But they used to have the meat cube, and I've ordered it. I've ordered the meat cube. Any Sonic fans? Oh, no. I'm, Damn, uh, hot honey chicken is currently not available. I'm not a fan of that. That's That hurts. That hurts my soul a little bit. I can't get hot honey chicken. One time, they um, used to have... They used to have at Sonic, they would sell corn dogs for a quarter. I don't think they do this anymore. It was like a Tuesday thing. And I was going to a party, and they were like, Hey, man, I, uh, the food's going to be pretty late for the party, and I, I've got like no appetizer or anything like that. I was like, Dude, I got this. So I dropped like 25 bucks at Sonic for 100 corn dogs. Jesus. And I took it to the party, and I was I was Mr. Popular, handed out them corn dogs. I, like, hey, I you drunk you ass! Hey, drunk motherfucker! You want a corn dog? Hell yeah! I want a fucking corn. Who are you? Hey, sick! The corn dog man. <laughs> the corn Passing dog man. Corn dogs. 
All right, we're gonna get the burger. If it also says the burger is unavailable, I'd be very upset. Now I can Chili's. Get, I can Hi, get the welcome burger. to Chili's. I'll be right back. Um, welcome to Chili's. We've got um, the Applewood Bacon Burger, which has as much saturated fat as seven 12 ounce steaks. That's for you. You want that here at Chili's? Welcome. Anyone want any margaritas? Yeah, let's go. We're paid two dollars on the hour. Please tip. I can't keep this up anymore. It's terrible. My manager was hired from some place. I think he used to work at a laundromat. Now they hired from the outside, and we're fucked. Please, please, God tip. Chili's is slightly better than Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Dre, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, it feels that way. <laughs> feels that way. McDonald's got those amazing... Someone I can't who, eat McDonald's uh, anymore. Someone who used to work at both Applebee's and Chili's. Oh, damn, look at you. I, I, I was... I was <laughs> Chili's I was a is just a slightly man. better Applebee's. I was... I was a Carrabba's man myself. I worked for line chef at Carrabba's, and then this other hole in the wall place with fine dining. I was a line chef there too. I can't believe these people from Bar Louie are, are actually going to bring me my food. You can't believe. I mean, Bar Louie is a. Uh, my thoughts on Chipotle. I used to like Chipotle, but late recently, that just it's just getting more more and more bland. I, I don't really know. Bar Louie is. Uh, that's 20 minutes. Someone's driving 20 minutes to bring me a cheeseburger. Outback or Texas Roadhouse? Texas Roadhouse, because they Outback, actually serve... Outback is overpriced. The Texas Roadhouse will actually bring you a steak over 20 ounces, and Outback will make you thank them for paying fucking $14 for, like, a six-ounce baseball cut. I got no time for that. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I would like to be full when I leave because I, not everything has to be about your goddamn onion bloom. I'm yeah, so tired of it. The onion bloom not even that good. You guys want to start off with the onion bloom? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine, whatever. The only McDonald's I eat is breakfast. I, I can't eat their beef anymore. I only get their breakfast. They're, Every time I eat their beef in some way or another, I just, I just feel like crap. It oh, no, don't, don't do that shit. Come on now. Has super button. Don't use that. That's that's two fucking inches away from. Might as well be an exploit. <laughs> He's doing that. Come on. It's <laughs> pretty funny though. Super mega insta blade. Why is everybody getting hit by Beast Roar? <laughs> it's funny, I don't know. I don't fucking understand, dude. I dodge that shit all the time. People put it on like a fucking heavy infused bandit dagger. Like, I, I don't understand why they're getting fucking hit by that. Oh, I couldn't work at Chick-fil-A. They, they're, they're not very nice to my kind. I couldn't work there. Which sucks, because I would love to have a free Sunday off. That would be sick. Like, always know I'm getting a Sunday off. That would be cool. Hardee's fried chicken? I haven't been to Hardee's in a while. Do you want to give Dragon your blooming onion? Oh, man. Like I said, I like to leave a meal when I'm full, not when I'm just disappointed. Got him. What's the best entree at Panda? I don't know. I don't eat Chinese food. Taggy does, but... Not nice to furries? I can't imagine they would be, but mostly gays. Talking about that. They're not very nice to gays. Who? Uh, Chick-fil-A. Mm, no. And of course, because I'm like a really confrontational asshole, the first day of work, if I went in there, I'd be like, Hey, everybody, how's it going? Thank you for the opportunity. I just love that. How do you like my new juice? I've got them over at Chairs, and they just were on sale for 20%. I just love them. What do you guys think? I would do that. 
100%. Have you tried a sleep build yet? Maybe sleep errors with the pulley? No. Sleep, or, not good. No. Well, actually, no. That's not true. If he's talking about the sleep arrows with pulley, that is good. It's just boring. Hey! Do you know what that is? Have you seen that? I'm guessing you use sleep bolts with the pulley crossbow. Well, yeah. Do you know the combo for it? No. So you get it, you use an ultra. And you're the ultra with a spy hander or any kind of thing heavy stuff. Oh, so this is it the, the, the poke into. You do the poke into the pulley, and then you can get a full charge right too. Wow, two beast roars. That's intense. Why is it the name of the goddamn beast roar? <laughs> Dodge it, you beast fucking roar. people! Beast roar! I can't understand! Not overpowered, just that combo is sleep is a word. <sighs> Guys, listen to me. Sleep is not overpowered. Listen, sleep. Caesar, Caesar, if you can come in right now and beat me with a sleep build, I'll give you. Don't say that because he's going to say to the pulley crossbow. $50. Well, $50. Well, to a charity of your choice. Oh, wait. I mean, well, how am I supposed to? I was trying to think how am I supposed to actually send him money, and then I figure that's probably going to be I mean, hard. He, he can probably pay value. Yeah, you'll hit it here, bro. <coughs> Couldn't, I guess. Anyway. Yes, this is 150. If I knew people couldn't dodge beasts for. No fucking kidding, dude. I, I swear to God. Give it a dragon for charity. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, do that. Someone in chat thought I should be a comedian. How do you feel about that? Yeah. 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 See, your friends never think you're that funny, Chad. That's just what you have to deal with. Your parents neither. That was the worst thing I had to learn growing up. Everybody was like, oh, you're so funny. You're making it by whatever. Oh, it must be delight to live with you. My parents are like, he's not funny. That boy has never made me laugh in my goddamn life. 100%. Isn't this guy technically? Oh, he's not anymore. He's using now he's using Frost. You see, he's dodging the beast roars because this guy's got a fucking oh, extra third brain cell. Look he, at that. I don't, I don't know if he. I think he may have spoke too soon about him. Oh, dodging. of course he gets hit by. What are y'all doing? <laughs> got him. <laughs> beast roar. <laughs> so, what are y'all fucking doing? It's so dumb. It's so amazingly dumb. Who wants to come in and stand for a second while I test something me mechanically? No, not me. I don't, I don't get it anymore. Either. $50 Applebee's gift card. <laughs> I will give you $50 Applebee's gift card. <laughs> <laughs> And then you two can eat fucking slop out of the garbage <laughs> they pulled out from that slime Honestly, bucket no. of fucking acid rain in the backyard. This, this does make me want to go get a, a quesadilla burger because they're good. Uh, I need to see if Alexander. Are you tired of food having <laughs> flavor? <laughs> Have I you mean, ever said wow at the table too many times? Well, time to go to Applebee's. I need to see if I can use Alexander's with my beast roar. I need somebody to let me hit, let me hit you with three beast toys. That's all. Just hang out for a second. <laughs> oh, is he good now? All right, so it's four forty-six. Five twelve. Four forty-six. And three sixty-eight. So we yes, indeed. Beast Roar build is happening, chat. Oh, War Medallion <laughs> Shard of Alexander. That shit is Let's not gonna go. fucking work against Zulus. You look like an idiot. But it's gonna, it's gonna be fucking hilarious. I hope to doing God PvP they, with Tox. They're gonna, they're gonna fucking like point down at you so bad. <laughs> You're gonna go to the academy gate and be like, "All right, Beast Roar, is pretty strong. I'll pick up this sign." That dude's gonna doo doo in your mouth. And Beast be Roar, like, Beast Roar, what a fucking idiot! <laughs> Beast Roar, who's your dusk? I mean, it does have kind of a Skyrim-y look to it. 
Shut up. Skyrim man. I made an OP Skyrim build. Top 10 reasons why you should be using Beastro. Beastro. <laughs> Alright, I hope you're ready for this. Here it comes. I'm not gonna be nice. I'm gonna get you. It, oh wait, it, I'm, getting where, I'm getting to the point where I think it's glitched in the next scene. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I am using it a lot when they're attacking. You are, in fact, spamming it. I'm that's what's I'm making it. That's what's making it more confusing. I guess. <laughs> I'm spacing. This is what you told me to do. I did tell you to do that. I don't know if I told you. I, I, look, I'm not blaming you. I'm saying I don't get why no one dodges the fucking thing. Because <laughs> base draw. <laughs> Who's, uh, ah! <laughs> yeah, basically. It's, it's honestly kind of fucking funny. It's gained its own persona. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we're using a dual whips, but it's not really about that. Let me tell you what it is about. <laughs> oh, I decided I got so fucking mad at this game that I'm not just going to yell at opponents until they fucking die because they won't dodge it, and I have no clue why they won't dodge it, but here we are. It's basically... Uh... <laughs> just shouts a bunch. <coughs> Start of fists and throwing. Yeah, you just summoned Will Smith. I hope you <laughs> really hope he comes to his back. Hope he comes like to his back. That's part of why I summoned him. I'm like, please be this. Uh, should I also put it on my my bloodhound claws? This might be a hacker, and if it is, I'm gonna laugh. He's got, he's got Cheat Engine open to hit you one time. Probably. <laughs> oh, he's got dual whips. Let's go. No, he, he definitely has Cheat Engine, I think. I'm not seeing him oh, take okay. any damage. Yeah, he's not taking damage at all. Let me try, uh... Yeah... We're not doing that shit. Fuck off. Leave. Don't come back. He said, "Keep my wife's name out of beast drawer." He wasn't taking damage. I mean, none, none of that stuff did damage at all. Yeah, I think he would. Yeah, that, that looked weird. That or that was the absolute most laggiest dude I've ever seen. Oh well. Sneaky silent assassin going for backstabs to your man so pissed he's screaming his opponents to death. <laughs> oh, what's really confusing there too? This is true. Like, this this actually this started off as a uh, a stealth miser cord critical build and like sneak up behind people and and get crits for like fifteen hundred damage. And now we're just shouting. Sneak up on people. Well, we, so we were doing our 2v2, like always, and I'd wait, and as both of them would inevitably engage Tox, I'd come sneaking up from behind. Wait, alright, wait. Just to clarify, you don't gag people. <laughs> but no, I, I'd only, I'd only come in with the stab after, while Tox was fighting one, I wouldn't do anything. So, a lot of what I was doing, so Tox would be fighting one guy. And if an invader came in and immediately tried to also jump on Tox, I'd just run up and I'd hit him. Uh -huh. If he didn't, I would creepily get behind him and I'd wait while he was just patiently waiting his turn to see if I could get a backstab. Uh -huh. But I wouldn't just run up and backstab people that, you know, wouldn't engage in the gank. Right. It sounds like you were ganking. I think we have different definitions of gank. Well, it sounds like you hid from an invader and gave them the impression that the host was by When themselves. there were two invaders... Because they were tonguing, right? Yeah, when there were two. Right. And I'd only attack if 
one of them. You know how like some invaders are like, oh, this guy's solo, I'm gonna fight him. And then there's other invaders that are like, I need to fucking kill. And they don't care who they hit. It was, right. it was, I'd kill the thirsty ones. Right. Wait, is this two people with the same fucking... Oh, they both had the same head, different thing. The whips are bleed. I don't, I don't know, chat. What do you think? I think was cowboy. I think if was Tox, cowboy if, ganking? Listen, if Tox was fighting and then the whole thing was I run up and just backstab the guy mid fight, yes, that's a that's a gang that we are planning on on doubling up on this man. But I'm waiting until it's a two v one against Tox, and then sneaking up while someone's distracted to try and get the kill. Right. I don't. I see that, and that thing. That's the thing. It's not. That, what, what are you doing? I know you really like the hammer, but you're gonna need to not do that. That's not how that, yeah, that, that does not work like that. The Sword of Milos, I don't think it's very good. Because you need to have somebody that will just like stand in it and let you do the, got, the weapon. Did have like iframes while he was doing the weapon? Or I, don't, I don't know. I think he was just laggy initially. Yeah, so and I, then... I don't see that weapon a lot, so I didn't know if it had like something there. You don't see it a lot because you get stuck in that animation and then people hit you with stuff. Well, yeah, I'm not, it's, there's clearly better options for a faith weapon. I think, it's, I mean, it looked like he used it as soon as he got it. So I think he just came in while he still had his. Uh, you know, the, the spawn in iframes. Right. The double slash is good on Navakiba. It's okay, but still Sword Dance is better with that. Sword Dance is just better for any status thing that you can do with multi hit. But the double slash is okay for roll catching, but to be honest with you, I'd still rather go with Sword Dance if I was using Navakiba, which I wouldn't be because I'm not Leo Jones, but. Actually, I've considered making a Leo Jones build, but I'd be so fucking bored of it that I don't know if I would, I would could stand it. There's so many katanas and so much shit. I, I, I'm just so tired of seeing katanas all the time. So I don't, now I've to what? Now I gotta use one to even make a joke build? I don't know. Not unsheath? Unsheath is garbage in Perry City. Do not use unsheath in PvP. You'd be surprised. I wouldn't be. I am. This is something I'm quite versed in. I'm just saying, we, you are comparing the experienced mindset against that. Listen, you see how many people are dodging Beast War? Okay, I'm saying you need to. You need to understand. Yeah, because yeah, because your viewers suck. I'm sorry. That's they the way it is. They do not. Well, they're not dodging. <laughs> you goddamn night, you got your I right am. Now. They come in here and they're like, "What's going on, dude? It's fighting cowboy. I can't believe I'm on the street. This is so oh, he shouted at me. All right, well, I'm jumping in. I'm just gonna try to train with. Oh, he did it again. I can't believe it. Come on now. <laughs> Dying and losing all your souls also means you're free of that burden. You don't have to be stressed about going to get them anymore. It's kind of Catherine's, if you will. But cathartic is the word you're looking for, and yes, that's a quote I said a long time ago. For rage, this isn't rage. You'll know when it's rage. Nobody expects the beast roar from behind the bush. Oh yeah, you're sick. <laughs> it must be good. They're just eating it. What is happening? Why are they just eating that fucking attack? <laughs> no, but it works. Can't handle the sight of an iron bearded goat screaming at us. It's scary. I don't exactly. understand, man. I don't fucking get it. I was using the claw talisman, and then I went over to a uh, shard and roar for double angry man. The screaming goat. Oh, that's the name of the build. That's the name of the build. The screaming goat.
Well, then you know what that means. What? I gotta open the video with the like. No, that means you gotta have the other one has to be the the lightning roll, the goat roll. That has to be, that has to be the other one. I think you need. I don't know if that's gonna work with this. Doesn't matter. You want theming? There you go. People are gonna people are gonna question why you're not using it if you're gonna if you're gonna call it goat anything. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you. You look, see someone in there is like, you gotta use lightning ram then. Man, he's really trying to get that off. That's not a good idea. You, no, stop. It's not a good idea. He wants, what does he want to get off? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> All that thing. It, it does do a lot of damage. Yeah, if I'm it, gonna, if, if you can go through the fucking 10 second <laughs> dance and then. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't do that against a bleed build, and seeing as how 95% of the game is bleed builds, that's So the thing is, good. if I use Lightning Ram, I need to give up blood on one of the whips. Oh, well. Mm. You're doing most of your damage yelling at them anyway, because they're I not am. fucking... I am. That's a good point. I am doing a lot of yelling. I really... I'm, I'm not joking, though. Like, you... This is not something that anyone that's concerned with PvP is going to care about, because they're going to be like, Beast War is not great in duels but it's funny yeah but it sucks so but it's not gonna actually like i mean this would be a funny i wonder how it works in pve we haven't tested that we need to test that it's pretty good it's actually not terrible How do I keep doing it? <laughs> you cannot beat me! You cannot win! Feel the wrath of the ram within! It's <laughs> fucking dumb. Alright, so, <laughs> ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> so fucking dumb. I just want to throw a little tip out there. A little tip. Just the tiniest tip. Okay, are you guys listening? Are you listening? Jump over it. <laughs> Literally jump over it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I... Oh, man. The great horn one's in. Fame Knight of Assistance. Please. Please just jump over it. My viewers don't suck. Y'all suck. Y'all are terrible. Good God. You oh, can't shit. possibly escape. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Oh god. I'm a dual god. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> so dumb, dude. That's why I love it so much. <coughs> oh my god. Dude whose name I super hate. Hey. Is, he seems somewhat confident in PvP a little bit. I'm, I'm just talking to God. Somebody with any remote experience, please. I'm, I really don't want to turn the game on. You legit not see me looking jump over it? Just jump over it! Oh shit, he goes and he goes back. It's not glitch because I can clearly see his. Oh. 
How are you gonna complain about Moonvale and we just love to use this like for real? Buddy, if you think Beast Roar and fucking <laughs> Lightning Ram is on the on par with Moonvale or Rivers of Blood, you are out your fucking mind, bro. I'm gonna get you. Don't cheese him out with rocks. Go fucking fight the man. Don't I'm gonna fight him again. with the roar. Dragon don't hate on the ram and throw up an OP. In like what? Brain dead invasions of people who don't jump over it? Like what are you? All right. Got him. Victory. I still, that's honestly the best comment of the night. How are you gonna complain about Moonvale and Rivers of Blood and then <laughs> Totally joking, I hope you guys are joking. <laughs> like, yeah, his poise is ridiculous, but- like, this, this build is, is a gimmick, it's a fucking huge joke. Like, this is like, the poise is a problem, <laughs> but, like, that's- Rolling, smacking with whips, beast roar, and lightning rams. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. So I was just fucking. I was just so winning. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Buy the maidenless hat today. Uh, <laughs> you can do things like this too. Man. Top of the edge of this. I'm, I'm, I'm actually having the edge of this. Do you want to come in and fight the ram? I'm not turning my fucking game on. <laughs> on my fucking only 125 on the carry, and I'm not doing that. I'm not fucking turning my game on for this garbage. Beast roars and fucking <laughs> goat. Are you kidding me? It's so fucking Are you amazing. fucking kidding it's so me? Amazing. You know exactly what would happen, and then you would passive aggressively complain about it. I don't know, man. That's a pretty scary build. And the only thing, you would get spaced, and then I would shoot fucking some bullshit at you, and then you'd carry and retaliate it, and then I'd get Oh, he jumped it. it! He jumped it, but then he missed. Oh, oh. Oh my god, someone missed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. I fucking hate this. Ram game. God. <laughs> There's more of a chance of me just uninstalling it than there is of me turning it on. I'm so tired of these brain dead ass plays and these brain dead ass people. And then they're gonna come in there and try to give me <laughs> PvP advice and they can't deal with Lightning Ram or Beast Roar. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm losing it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Go into Beast Room. <laughs> this is truly garbage. It's, it's amazing. This is the new bestiality build. <laughs> it honestly does have a lot of like really cheeky shit just meant to tickle you down. Double whips, lightning ram, beast roar, fucking claws, like... This build is literally just like a cornucopia of like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna call it the goat fucker. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, you stop running. I got... I did it again! Oh god! Oh! 
the other guy with no vigor? <laughs> I don't know. Is that that dude? <laughs> Maybe. Was that that dude? Go to the academy gate right fucking now <laughs> and go fight some real duelists. No. You guys. They wouldn't connect earlier. <laughs> All right, fine. I will. I will take off the password and I'll go try out Academy Gate. <laughs> so, so, just so fucking angry. I can't. It's amazing. You, you, you can't, can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> One of you has to have a brain cell, please. Oh god. Y'all are gonna actually make Dragon turn on the console to stop this. Briar you know Armor. Fucking, you know how much fucking Elden Ring I'm gonna have to play on the PS4. A lot. PS5. The remake, all that shit. I mean, my PS4 is, uh. My PS5 I know, saves and I will end, be. So. I, I, I will. Huh? I Man, I'm at the end and I have every item because the 100% walkthrough was on there, so. Oh, uh, well, I will be asking for some drops because I can't do this again on 10 characters. I've deleted more characters than most of you guys have made, and I'm I'm telling you. Dragon Ball a new Rage video tomorrow. Oh, apparently, if everybody's going to be ki getting hit by fucking Beast War. <laughs> Beast War, Ray! <laughs> I mean, this is fun. This would be funny for, like, invasions, but I, if you duel with this and, and with anybody who is remotely competent, I, I don't know. I... I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the gate. I can't get adversaries here. It keeps failing. Maybe there's just too many people here? I don't know. That's true. Just keep smacking it up. I don't have that problem. Like, it's not, it's not, to it's not every two seconds. Yeah, I've had... I mean, I don't know why. Just people here aren't. Oh, we got one. You gotta be quick over those signs. You can't, you can't like look at them. You have to just bang, 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 bang. That's right. <laughs> they can't keep getting away with it. I didn't have any vigor either. What was the fuck? I was a Christmas. I don't. I don't. I was a cross nugget, not a player. Oh, well, fuck. he didn't have the. He didn't, he didn't do duo. Oh duos. my god. <laughs> New medicine. Oh god. <laughs> this is too fucking funny. Where well Dragon said I have to fight some real duelists, so I turned off password and came over. I here. don't understand <laughs> why these people Go wrong <laughs> It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. This is too funny. Oh my god, this is getting a build video. This is, this is absolutely getting a build video. This is stupid. Oh god, I mean, technically it's a ram, but I think roar, the roaring goat sounds funnier. Oh my god. Nobody understands greatness at first. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh my god. It's your poise. I think people are just intimidated. They see this and they're like, what the f what do I do against that? Well, that's doing so much damage to some of these people, which is really... Oh, no, yeah, it's bull goat armor, so yeah, roaring goat. Roaring goat makes sense, yeah. The roaring goat.
I could I could turn this into the the PvP builds. Like, Sit down, kid. <laughs> you could. I don't think I'd be able to stop laughing the whole time. It would take it would uh, it would take a lot of effort to not just be giggling like a fucking idiot the entire build video. Why not rolling goat? Because the roar is the real killer here. The roaring I'm goat. I think I'm thinking about messaging Steel. <laughs> I'm just being like, "Hey, Steel, you do me a, do me a, do you do me a solid? You need to be a real solid, because you've got you're the only one of us that has like a dual build right now. Could you, could you just do me a major solid? <laughs> come and come and embarrass this man. <laughs> come, please, just, just embarrass this man for me." <laughs> Actually, I think if they use that, I got me another one. Woo! Champion of the world. Oh fuck! Why does someone <laughs> roll it? <laughs> This is this is too good. Oh. I'm speechless. Nothing can stop the roar of the goat. I guess he got upset that I, I did a cerulean flask. Oh, well, sometimes some people don't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, and in fairness, it just means all you he knows that all you're gonna do is just roll and not be super punished for it. Because the problem is, is that even though you could just jump over the fucking thing. You keep doing it, and you can't super be punished by it unless they're using that flask. So you just keep going and going. But it depends if you get all those flasks; they know it's just gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, I could, I could add some more FP into the build. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be. Uh... I mean, it's not like I need 25 strength here. Like, what's that really giving me? You know. <laughs> Does blocking work? <clears throat> A great shield, yes. <clears throat> Anything else, she'll just get poised broke. I think you're supposed to hop over it. I always just used a great shield and went poke the person to death. 
Oh, yeah, any of the shield builds will stop this for sure. But that's that's a whole other problem. The sh the shield stuff would shield stuff in this game is pretty bad. Period. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he could have just used something else and gotten more damage in the bleed. Yeah, that's weird. What's that thing in, like, uh, in, in, uh... What's the thing in, uh, Gladiator where he's like, ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED?! <laughs> Is there no worthy challenger for the Rao Goat? <laughs> Dragon is unbeaten so far. With yeah, you know, he's, he's actually getting do He's But these aren't... Th these guys here are not exactly what I would call up there, actually. I'm kind of surprised late night, because they're also using the group thing. I am the Roaring Goat. And use this build with the fingerprint shield? No. Part, no, part of what makes this work is that I'm using, I mean, look at my weapons, 3.5, 3.53. 3. I'm using a lot of like really lightweight shit. If you were to try this with like <clears throat> a super great shield, I mean, you'd have to put your endurance up to like 60 or something insane. How Tox reacts to this build? By dying, of course. Oh yeah, I don't think Tox knows how to deal with this one. It's gonna be fucking funny though. <laughs> yeah, the claws are there as a backup. Cause you get like a free dual wield out of them. Steel's getting online to come beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Is he seriously? He's gonna, he's gonna try it, yes. <laughs> Do you remember Steel? You remember Steel. Yeah. Steel through yeah, Steel 369. Now known as Steelovsky. Now known as the thickest accent in Dark Souls PvP. He had a very thick accent, yes. He, he had, he does. he does. He has a very thick accent, yes. Who is and the cowboy in the PvP? <laughs> <laughs> you know who is huge scrub? The scrub, <laughs> dragon. He is a huge loser, and I use different words which not demonetize you on YouTube. You suck, and I'm going to eat dick. <laughs> <laughs> So what happens? What happens if this beats Steel? Well, then I don't know. But then, do I get, then it's do be I get like an award? <laughs> you can, yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, you are stacking full poise. That's the. I am here, the but. PVP god. <laughs> and then, then crap. <laughs> oh man, the duels aren't working he that is, well here. Un he is unfortunately he's been editing all day. Which we all know is draining his shit. Cause I just messaged when I first messaged him, I was like, "Hey, are you around?" And he's like, "Yeah, dude, I'm I'm ready to go to bed. I, I've been fucking editing all day." I was like, "You want to kill some somebody in front of a bunch of people?" 
<laughs> I mean, this shouldn't work. It should keep working. No, it really shouldn't keep working. Well, and I'd love to see the like the dual cross blades or any 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 shield build like at all. Oh man, it's just he it's... he says he says the goat roll is decent, which I, to me, I have anybody who's everybody who has used the goat roll on me has not worked because I just I just jump over it. Um, what level is this build? Three eighty seven. <laughs> <laughs> level level three eighty seven. No, this is just a one fifty. You could do this at one twenty five. I think that's the scariest thing because we don't. Oh yeah, you could do we this. We don't. Could we do don't this. need you, the stats that we have in Dex or Strength at you, all. You can do. You can do this at fucking level fifty if you wanted to. You could do. This. Actually, to tell you guys the truth, you could do this at level twenty. Because there's a flask in the game. Boom! Basically, another victory! There's a flask in the game that literally gives you fucking unlimited equipment. What was that guy doing? I don't fucking know. I think he, I think he really fucked up that, that, that buff. That was bad. I mean, once he started the third buff, I was like, no. I'm not, no, sorry. I'm not sitting around and waiting. We're not doing that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what was happening there. I think he did like a fire cleanse me instead of a fire grant me strength and then was trying to fix it. But by that point, the ram had spoken. Hey! This get, so this is like turning out to be the 11th brain dead ass thing you can do in this fucking <laughs> game. I cannot believe Elden Ring has this many. You can shield poke, you can fucking get away with that with a limited fucking stability. You have this fucking <laughs> free, <laughs> this, there's, there's free fucking attack damage on magic with Stars of Ruin. There's, I mean, it's just this game. Just this can't, it can't keep, it can't keep getting away with it. Well, I don't know why they keep trying to trade with it. What are they doing? <laughs> so stupid. What are they fucking doing? Oh my god. Does Crimson Bubbles here work against this? Maybe? It's non it's non physical damage with that lightning, isn't it? I think it's I think it's part lightning, part physical. Yeah, but the <laughs> Then they're just stun locked, but they're invis invisible. <laughs> this <is> like, <laughs> yeah, this is getting a build in the morning. This is stupid. This is getting ridiculous. It's nobody's nobody's trying to do anything with it. They just see it and try to do that. Um Unlimited FP in the flask? No, but that would make it even cheekier. Right, hold on. Hold on a minute. I actually think I have, I think I have the poise flask on just for extra lulls. Is the poise flask even needed when you're already at 100 poise? No, not really. Uh... Can't we just hold sprint and then run away from it? You can't. You can't outrun it. Alright. This iron jaw portion? Oh, yeah, then I can't on, walk. Hold on. Alright, cowboy. Steel is joining your discord. Okay. I'm gonna pull him into the call. Does does he know does YouTube no no calling uh, calling dragon dick eater person? Well, let me. Yeah, maybe. Make sure. Make sure. All these real tools have been working on their spacing and neglecting their jumps. I told him that, I was like, you have to be on good behavior, it's, you know, we don't get fucking monetized, so, you know, none of those jokes are saying bad words and things like that, and I told him the bad words, and he's like, well, <laughs> like, just fucking, like, this guy, this guy seems like he right, has an idea, hang on, we might, oh, we might have one, 
Oh, wait a minute. Did this guy, did this guy have a brain? <laughs> he bloodhound stepped through all of it. Wow, what? Damage on the rip. No, not much. Oh, he ran so brave! Oh my god. This man can't be stopped, ladies and gentlemen! The fucking goat of PvP! If he had been a bee's dick closer, that would have <laughs> fucking... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. it Unbelievable, he ladies and gentlemen. That was... I that had was three... Eight. Three HP. Right. Three right. HP. Steel's gonna avoid, pull him in the lads. Pull him in here. Okay. Pull him in here. Okay, I got, I got, I got to... Alright, alright, let's do this. Here we go. Hello, gamers. Alright, alright, come to I am the Come come yeah, he's, he's, Come he's to Lake tired. Come to Lake of Guild North. That's hey, wait wait a moment, I gotta have to finish build. The three health survive. <laughs> that, that was his to lose, and he just was like, Yeah, I'm gonna throw beast sling from half a mile away and hope it works out. What the hell was that? Oh, man. oh god! <laughs> so stupid, dude. Even God didn't stand a chance. <laughs> but yeah, Ram is actually viable. Maybe not in the, you know, in the duels against decent players. But yeah, that's what I was saying. And he's and he's just he's clowning on his viewers. You suck. You all suck. All but, of you but suck. Then, but then, but then I went to the. Academy and everyone kept dying. And then he went into the fucking he went to the academy gate and he ran into the worst people I've ever seen. And it's just been this like and now he's sitting here with this fucking Yeah, I'm a goat and I'm the fucking guy to go. And I just thought I mean I was, maybe maybe we are actually wrong. Maybe it's like fucking another meta dude. Yeah, maybe. I, I will I will not be excited to ever play this game again. This becomes, <laughs> this like, becomes the, meta, the, the stupidest meta. fucking thing. I am the meta man. Okay, all right. Put I'm the on. one who suggested lightning <laughs> ram, and you're gonna sit there. <laughs> okay, I'm just, gonna go crazy. Let's do uh, just do PVP two for the password. Oh, you have to give me a moment. My okay. brain is just not working very fast, and I have to finish the build. Yeah. I have. Uh, make sure I have. Yeah, I have cross region on. All right, chat. I'll do. I'll do some more duels with you while we while we wait for steel. To... No, no, no. The duels. The duels. They need like five more minutes. Yeah, no, I was just having people are just gonna put their shit down. Okay. <laughs> if you guys don't know who Steel is, Steel is a uh, long time. Loser. No, 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 no. That's true. That there's as well, but he is also a long time PvP guy in the Souls community and has lots of decent information on his own YouTube concerning actual duelist shit. Uh, and not like cowboys, which will teach you how to kill a boss. So you could do that. And if you're interested in PvP, you can learn a lot from Steel. He knows what he's he knows what he's doing. Stop shutting me out. Oh uh, well, too bad. But can he beat? <laughs> can't. But that is the question the yelling, tonight. Dude. The yelling goat. The screaming goat. Dude, he's hit so many kills for it. I can't figure it out because I swear to God, I've only been hit with that once. I've had three dudes spamming that on me, and I've dodged all of them, and I don't understand why everyone's getting hit by Beast Roar. What is that? Why? Are you trying to outrun this? Rivers of blood? I think not. You will die. Got him. <laughs> it's, so, it's so fucking stupid. It's so <laughs> oh my god. Why are people being hit by Beast <laughs> I'm gonna get some more FP, hang on. <laughs> I need just a little more. Oh god, it's so dumb.
It's so, it's so fucking dumb. It's a great counter to move Ale spam, that's for sure. Oh. Uh, my burger is almost here, so we'll probably wrap up after the fight with Steel. Oh yeah, definitely. You guys gotta do a best of three too. You know you gotta do that. Uh, 55. Let's see where I can pull points from. He's putting, he's giving himself more FP. <laughs> That's 396. 388. It's like 10 damage off my whip. It's kind of irrelevant, I think. Just a, just a pinch more. Oh my god. I'll tell let me tell you tell you chat. Let me tell you. Some people some people want me to drop Steel's link. If Steel beats Mr. Cowboy in a in a best of three. I will spam that fucking link. <laughs> I will absolutely do it. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure Cowboys viewers not going to like the content though, to be honest. No, they, they, they gotta learn some PvP, it doesn't matter. Learn some guys gonna learn some PvP, I and I know I know they need to because I saw y'all fighting Cowboy on the fucking at Ag Heel here. And change need change some the lessons. physic? Should I go? What are y'all thinking? The the infinite FP? Just to make the goat even deadlier. That would make it even cheekier, yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna I wanna try it in PvE while we wait for steel. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go fight the uh, tree sentinel with it. <laughs> actually, actually actually wait. I need to see it. I'm gonna put it on the side. <coughs> oh there we go, alright. Lightning damage boost? Ah, uh, no. Because part of part of what's making this so cheeky is the the crimson world bubble tier. It's like if people try to just they see it and they're like, oh, and they just use magic. The magic doesn't do anything. Mm, but by that point, there is there is a very simple way to take it off with the fun daggers. No, no, not that. I'm talking about the uh, the one where you absorb magic to health for like ten seconds. Alright, this is actually like pretty fucking unreal. Wait, this is playable, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Boom, baby! I, I should not have told you. Should not have told him to do this. This this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it was a mistake. I I he, unfortunately he, he, I underestimated people's <laughs> I or sorry, I overestimated people's ability to use two fucking brain cells, and now they're getting hit by Beast Roar. Beast Roar, that's that's something Cowboy thought of. I'm glad for him. That's real Beast great. Roar. Because I would have told him when he said, I'm gonna use Beast Roar, I would have said no one's gonna get hit by that. <laughs> No one, no one with a brain to hit like by that. I'm ready. Just in case. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. It is my fucking fault, but you're, at the same it, time, Joe, let me go back to PvP too. It, it, it is just your fault, buddy. I, sh I <laughs> should, not, I should not have told you. There is no pass. All right, all right. I thought people knew the counter for it, and they just don't. P I put PvP two at Lake Agil North. Ah oh, shit! I don't have heavy update. PvP two. Okay. Lower case? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, PvP and we are, the, were we are going two. to the mug? Or Watch or? it like... No, no, no. At Ag Heel North. The... Yeah, just outside the gate front. Yeah, the Ag Heel North. Okay. Melon? Is this like Melon from... Ronstream Melon? Oh. Is that... Is that um, two, I... two separate? So I put my sign down, yeah? Yeah. What's your in-game name still, so there's no shenanigans? Stilovsky. It's just Stilovsky, okay. So don't summon Melon. I see Dark Knight, 
And uh, uh, fuck, I don't have I don't have the black knife. Like not no, not knife black 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 blade. It is the thingy that lets you to upgrade and use the weapons. The what? Uh, the thingy that lets you to up uh, oh, use oh, the weapons. Oh. Fuck, it's well, it's not gonna be very optimized build, but hey, let's just do it. Since burgers on the way, yeah. Like, I think, I think, I think here. the burgers here. Oh, I'll just. It can, it can, it can, it can fucking. The, bur the burger will wait for a second. I like how you guys are like. Oh man. What is it? Dun, 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 dun. Dragon, do you want to give? Do you want to give me a, a JoJo thing while I slow walk? No, I really, don't. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. I just all right, doing it. Let's go. Y'all told me to take my boys off. Oh no! Yeah, that's if you have high enough voice damage, you can pretty much smack it quite easily. So I gotta, I gotta put my poise flask back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So that is one out of. <laughs> there it is. That there's that. Ladies and gentlemen. Dragon's so happy. Stielowski, <laughs> everybody. All right. Let me. Uh... Oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh! Okay, come on. Hey, don't, if you're not steel, don't put your sign down right now, because we're trying yeah, to. Yeah, guys, come on. I mean, steel is quite a common name if you think about it. I'm just like trying to, you know, not run around between a bunch of signs. Just see the the one we need, and that's yeah. it. Oh, fuck it. The dragon's returning to his body right now. Well, I don't. I don't have like a meta build at the moment. Because I've been doing so much invasion shit and trying to get that down. And the only, like, meta level I have is a 125. He's at 150, and that one's a Karian cosplay, so it's not even, like, it's not meta. And I was like, who's got a meta build? Well, fucking Steel's probably got 13,000 of them, so I'm, I'm just going to message him. <laughs> I don't have meta build as well. See, we're both trying to have fun in invasions, and Cowboy up here at 1 fucking 50. Okay. Dragon can hear the angel both. singing. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, wait. I actually forgot to put something important. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, it just walks away. You see, chat? Take fucking notes! You gotta be oh, smart enough to walk away, though. He doesn't even have... <laughs> he didn't even have to dodge the fucking roar and just walk past him. I told you, people. See, these roars are hitting steel, though, too. I guess. Oh, oh, wait, can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh! Should have gone for a roar. Mm, the road is quite hard to dodge to me, especially right now. It's, yeah. You know, you, you need to keep close attention to this. Thing. And there it is, best of three, everybody. There it is. Fucking excellent, absolutely <laughs> excellent. Well, there's that. There's that. You check. You guys go check out fucking steel. Can we continue. Fighting? Yeah, yeah, hang on. I'm gonna take okay. I, I, poise doesn't work to stop the great sword poke, that's what I was I was hoping it would. But <laughs> it's not not I guess there's some things that even this much poise isn't gonna I wonder if I added poise talisman if it would still mm, you know what? Give me a second, I'm gonna check for you. Not fair dragon prep steel for this? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I don't need to prep steel for anything. He's better than me at this game. Uh, 100 percent Actually, bullshit. I, all right. Whatever you oh, want. Wait. This Deal. is motion values. This is this is spreadsheet with voice. Give me a second. I'm gonna tell you. So, uh, great sword, colossal sword. Here we go. And crouch is 
backstep, running, running for fuck's sake, this spreadsheet, dude. Uh, rolling, okay, there is no direct volume, it is more than 133. If you have more than 133 poise, perhaps you can poise through it. That's weird, how much does the poise, the hardened tier add? That's a very good question. <laughs> you'd have to, you'd have to <laughs> use it and look. Yeah, I thought that was enough. Let me see, leaden hard tier. And we can just do the road, we can do the, the road testing if you want. I did, oh, this, I did, this, I this did says, spam the link. <clears throat> this is, well, the, the wiki is complete trash. The wiki says, it gives seemingly infinite poise, which clearly is <laughs> not true. Um, <laughs> yo, I, I, yo, I, I, I love seemingly infinite. That's, that's some <laughs> fucking, <laughs> that's, that's some actual from soft patch you note. Testing or, or? No, we can, we can. Okay. Wait, let's just do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, you're both tired. Steel knows this build. Yeah, Steel knows these kind of shits. We've been do it, but look, Steel and I have been PVPing people constantly. <laughs> We've seen this fucking shit before. We've seen it. Why do you think I'm so upset? People are getting fucking stomped by it. Oh, that was not a good trade. Not a good trade. Not a good trade. I see. I thought something like. Damn. Split through me. <laughs> poise perfume bottle? That might. The poise perfume model might actually give me enough. That's true. That shit is broken as fuck right now. Let me, let me try and make one. Good job, Steel. Dun 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 I mean, dun, no, dun. Up to statistics, to be honest. And like, what is great about the great sword is the fact that you can slap the spirit talisman on it, and oh, yeah. you know, completely know. demolish yeah, I, people. I, I, I know, I know, dude. I'm telling you. You know what I've been doing lately, Steel? Probably that. <laughs> I, no, I, no, I don't use the great sword. Hey, I'm, I, grab my I, I'm not fast. a. I'm, I'm not a fan of berserk. Um. I've been using those uh, those spiked spears because I think that the, the Naginatas are too fucking overtuned. I've been using two of those with poison and then using the mushroom cap with the talisman to get like a 32% AR boost and the fucking spear talisman. So it's just like all of a sudden I, I do no damage and then all of a sudden, ba boom! Everybody starts getting fucking hit at like level 50 for like 400 damage. <laughs> it's just like eat shit, dude. They feel so good. And yeah, you have Bellow uh, Weapon Upgrade 20 on, on these builds, isn't it? Which one? I like on, on that build that you are talking about, yeah? Because you're no. Invading... No, I'm at level 50, so I'm, I'm, I only put, I have plus 6 on, on PC. See. Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage then. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, the, dude, that boost, the fucking poison boost and all that. Because I realized, you know, PvP right now is kind of a joke, so everything I'm doing is like, you know, I kind of fool around builds. Because, you know, poison's not good. I don't think it's good. I just want the boost from... I get it. Also, people play dumber when they get poisoned. <laughs> it, they do, man. They lose brain cells when they get poisoned. It's uh, hilarious. How that's, how that's called? The mental warfare, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not... They lose some brain cells. When they see that up, they're like, oh, no, I'm poisoned. I'm just going to keep trading for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is... If this doesn't work, I don't think the goat will beat him. Okay, you got that. To be honest, I've never seen that thingy in PvP like ever. Stop That's running me. from yeah, me! No, yeah, that that oh, person no. is... I'm it's, out yeah, of I'm out of stamina. Actually, to be honest, yeah, that, that 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 is broken shit. That person, I have an idea. <laughs> no, stop that! Stop that! No, <laughs> leave me alone! Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of juice. 
Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can do this! <laughs> uh. Roaring goat! This is impossible. I've seen everybody. Nobody can dodge roars. Dragon, what's <laughs> happening? Leader. <laughs> it's impossible! <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, but like Roar Savage, it's hard to hard to dodge, especially on uh, in the mountain top, because you know the white background. I guess in a way I could see how that would be an issue. I've dodged all of them that have been shot at me. I don't I don't know. Maybe I just that's my timing. Or my well, I think it's the real way to you. You got to use it when someone's trying to, like if he's trying to do his lightning thing and I do beast roar, it, right. it's it's basically like hit scan. It connects almost instantly. Hmm. So. But yeah, your your idea with the with the with the thingy that was poised was was good. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, Bloodhound yeah, step is gonna just because that's that's the biggest weakness here. It's, yeah, yeah. I, ev 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 everything is Bloodhound step. Yeah, like that that is everything. You just if you step walk step. away from me. Let me let me actually try a uh, quick step instead. All right, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I want I want to see if you know once Bloodhound step gonna get nerfed. If it ever does. If it ever does. I want to I see don't, if you can I don't think it will. Yeah. I think I, yeah, can. Like I was we were we were screwing around before Steel and he was like he's like I'm, I was thinking about maybe using the whips and I was like, if you use the whips with Bloodhound step, we're not gonna be friends anymore. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> like I'm just I'm done with that, dude. Try to see it, try to looking at it. Actually actually whips with the bloodhound step are not that great because roll attack with the uh, with the with the whips. What was like what was that uh that breakpoint oh, you that's mentioned? What I'm saying. No, it's not the the poise breakpoint. Do you remember what it was? Mm. Uh, was it 136 or 133? One one more than 133. There is no actual direct number okay. in the spreadsheet. It's like more than 133. No one knows exactly how much. No, they're just annoying as shit because they're not totally punishable. You can't parry them. They they can zip and zoop out of it and just keep fucking going and go crazy on the status. It just gets so annoying, the, the whips with Bloodhound step. No, we're... Those bots are getting permabanned. There's just, like... There's just more of them. Yeah, there's just more of them. Alright, cowboy, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try with the quick step now. You know, just to see if I can uh, outrun you with something weaker. weaker. Let's, let's go. Yeah, it seems like it's fine as long as I rotate around you. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it works more or less. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not as safe, but it works. Yeah. You just have, you know, instead of running away, you have to dodge behind the opponent. Right. That makes sense. With big stuff. Dun, 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 dun. These people were kind of fucking stingy with the tater tots. They gave me like ten. <laughs> there, you go. there it is. <laughs> but yeah, I think. Uh... Well, I mean, hey, it's undefeated besides Steel. That's that's pretty good. Oh, you think it's gonna go any different when I have an actual quality build on PC? Oh no, man. To, to, be, to be honest, my dude, I think it is it is just great sword. Yes, yeah, it's great sword. Yeah. It's yeah, like in, in this game is way more stats based than another Souls game, I would say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. One hundred percent. As long as you have proper tool, you can just hard counter. Alright. Well is that is that are you guys done dueling? I know you it want does. To get it does. Serious. It does serious counter uh, rivers of blood, which is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> that's oh yeah, yeah. That is that is funny. I don't get that. That's that's funny. That is funny. Mm. Yeah, but I'm. Mm. Yeah. It's been a six and a half hour stream, and I'd like to eat this burger. So. I can. I like we can wrap this. We can definitely wrap this. I think. Steel needs to go to sleep. I have to stay awake because I have to go stand in line for something. I, I, I even cannot go to sleep yet. I have to finish editing this. That's true. I'm so sorry, man. 
It's too, it's too much. It's too much everything. Well, well chat. Yeah, I, what I'm definitely doing is I'm taking that. Uh, I'm yanking the idea of the run, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to slap it on one of the weapons for random invasions. Really I told that that's, that's what I did with another one, and it just fucking like. I swear to God, when it's two people, they just smack you down. Or they jump over it or whatever. I, I guess in fucking 1v1s, people are just expecting something different. I, I don't know, man. One I've used it before, duel. and it's just... I'll do one more it's... duel. But which, have you been in here yet? I fear somebody... You. No, some of them no, chat wants to fight. No, he's time chat, Steel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dragon has, like, balance has been restored. <laughs> I don't know, man. Y'all were, he was, when he was doing y'all's viewer fight club, y'all just looked at him like, <laughs> y'all were fucking, you, he was the goat and y'all were deer in the headlights. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with y'all. Man, I think it's time for my buddy Steel to get some attention. <laughs> you actually spam that thing on the chest. I sure if I sure fucking did. He'll deal with it. I don't give a shit. I haven't even spammed mine yet, even though I said I would after I beat him, and I never did that. Cause I fucking got that one time with the with the parry cowboy. That fucking killed me. The what? Which one? The parry when you were using the madness build, and I parried you, and I was just chugging on you, going, "Oh, that's it, world's first. I'm the best. Fuck you, or whatever." Some shit. I should have. I should have fucking done it. I should have just spammed the link to my channel over and over, and when you got mad about it, I just changed it to the Twitch one and then linked that too. <laughs> I should have just done it. But I didn't. Mostly actually, I actually for, the, the... for the, the walkthrough episode, when I get to that dragon, I'm like, yeah, it's probably a pretty cool fight. It was uh, especially cool, uh, you know, being a world first to discover it now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I had to throw it out there. Of course. <laughs> oh, I'm the world's first god of law. I'm the best. And I just disappear <laughs> off your screen. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, gamers. I'm, I'm going to edit. Alright. Hey, good luck, man. Good, it good editing and good sleep. cool to hear you all after like eight years, I think. I know, yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. Well, you Something saw me, like, like, what, four years ago? Something like this, this situation yeah. was dire enough that Dragon was like, I need to call it reinforcements. I need, I, well, I don't have a build for it right now. I was like, I need to do this now. I need to, I need to do it. God. I, I thought, like, I thought, I thought you simply want to test it well. And you need, like, a, a companion. To do no, we're not, well, no, he's not like that. Yeah, he's very casual. He doesn't know who's like, I don't even know what testing is. Yeah, I'm asking, I'm asking, like, you know. Like, why? This person actually had a, a pretty good strat. This person just they just stood there and just kept swinging a long sword as I rolled in circles around him, <laughs> <laughs> which worked. Elden Ring PvP, everybody get yours today. Fucking pick it up. It's great. It's awesome. We're all loving it. Fuck you. I know you're not gonna try and oh, see that's that's what you get. You can't you can't try and use light and flame. You can't do it. We were fine just swinging the sword, but once you decided you were gonna try and hit me with a weapon art, uh, that's no. Can't use that weapon art in PvP. Parrying dagger? What are you gonna parry? I'm a I'm a ball. I roll, and I have whips. There's nothing to parry here. Anyway, chat this has been fun. Big thanks to the folks that sponsor the stream. Vapor 95. Get yourself yeah, a maidenless hat today. today. Yeah, dude. The goat build was sponsored by the maidenless hat. So, uh, go get you one.